Star series was filmed across three nights and includes conclusive paranormal evidence of the spirit realm, apparitions, demons, the devil, cryptids, elementals, and a newly discovered force more powerful than we ever thought possible. Thermal imaging, numerous apparitions captured on camera, high quality screams of humans, and demonic sounds, physical attacks upon us, full conversations across numerous devices, discovering campsites, and far, far more. Each night we went deeper into the forest and did everything imaginable in an attempt to create the best paranormal investigation we possibly could. Binding ourselves to the forest via ancient ritual, performing a six hour long summoning to open a direct portal to the underworld, sleeping in the center of the forest, going alone, miles deep and beyond. By the end of the third night, I was left without any doubt and am clearly saying this now. I firmly believe there is existence on this earth that is beyond our human form. Everything built up as each hour passed and each step deeper into the forest we went with the conclusion of this series leaving no explanation other than concrete proof of the paranormal. A team was assembled for this Japan series that was willing to do whatever it takes to document proof of the paranormal and after spending over 32 hours investigating with more than 100 hours of paranormal footage, we have done exactly that while exceeding any expectations of what could even be possible. Corbin, five years of paranormal investigations with us across the world in some of the most demonic locations known to exist on this planet. Jerry, filmed my voluntary possession at the Queen Mary in room B340. He began ghost hunting with us three years ago and have watched him develop an incredible emotional ability to connect with spirits. Ginger, my future wife, she joined us in the Paris catacombs among hundreds of other adventures. For years, she has worked behind the scenes to help get locations, meet experts, source paranormal devices, and acquire infinite amounts of Dybbuk boxes. And of course, Evan, our cameraman who has filmed nearly all 1,300 hours of our paranormal investigations over the past eight years. And during this series, will become a vital part of the investigation using his experience to discover something horrifying. We have chosen to leave this series as raw and authentic to the experience we had to ensure that you are able to join this investigation with the same level of involvement that we had, including the fear and anxiety we endured. Please leave a comment if you see, hear, or discover anything at all that we may have missed. Collectively, we may discover hundreds of pieces of evidence. Seven years after my initial visit, I finally felt confident that I could execute a thorough, respectful, and professional paranormal investigation of this infamous location. Thank you for joining us through all the highs, lows, mistakes, and progress. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Overnight Channel. We are already inside of Akigahara, the, the forest. The one that I was at seven years ago on TFIL that some of you may have discovered this channel from. We were here well before we ever knew how to even closely or remotely ghost hunt. We're here tonight, respectfully, as paranormal investigators. This isn't even thrill seeking. I actually don't want to be here. This is the one location that I kind of didn't want to go back to because my biggest fear of everything is to find someone. Tonight we're investigating until the sun rises. Tomorrow night we're sleeping here. I, I promise you we're going to give this everything we can oh, yeah. as a channel that is dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. And then wherever we leave off tonight, if it's four kilometers or five kilometers, that's where we start tomorrow night. We didn't come all the way to Japan, just through Akigahara. Uh, we are going to a few other locations. A lot of people are gonna say, how are you able to communicate with them? And yes. this is something we've talked about. This is something yep. I've done a lot of homework on. I've spoken to a lot of people about. I believe that in my opinion, language is a human physical construct. Mm -hmm. It is something that we as physical beings on this earth use to communicate. Mm -hmm. But I truly believe in everything I've ever read yeah. is that emotion, transcends language based on the way we present ourselves the way we ask our questions the way yeah. we respond to things okay. and the way we are here right how often have you seen someone and you're like oh like you have that connection you understand how they feel 
eye contact and motion. I think that is so incredibly relevant tonight. I swear I just saw another hand grab your hand dude, on the camera. That was dude, super weird. Dude, I, I, I feel like I'm seeing the same things that you're seeing. I'm just seeing it at different times. I'm Sorry, dude. I'm not trying to freak you out. That was super bizarre. I just, I swear I saw someone come from behind you and grab your hand uh, on the camera. And then I saw your hand was already on the camera. Okay, last rule of the night is if at any point anyone is any portion of uncertain about there being a clear path, we mark. Yeah. Right? Yep. Like, okay. at any point any of us leave anything, we're like, we're not 100% sure that we start marking it because it okay. is, I got lost last time I was in here. Yeah. We genuinely, like, actually got lost. We, we've gone uh, a tenth of a mile. Okay. 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 Fun fact about one kilometer, it is actually basically 0.666 miles. That's crazy. When I decided on one that's kilometer, crazy. I did the math and I was like, oh, that's nearly 0.666 miles. You just miles. love that's those things, much. don't you? That just that brings you joy <laughs> in a <laughs> so actually sleeping here overnight channel actually saying overnight somewhere again oh my god oh wow Woo. it's been so long since we've actually done we are about to meet yoshino and yusuke in a once in a lifetime opportunity to work with japanese spiritual experts in a ceremony to properly prepare and connect ourselves as deeply as possible to this forest and the energies within it at the base of mount fuji next to aokigahara itako are traditional female shamans in japanese culture who are believed to possess the ability to communicate with spirits and the dead. The training of an otako involves rigorous spiritual discipline, often including memorization of numerous chants and undergoing ascetic practices to enhance their spiritual sensitivity. The otako conduct rituals and seances where they act as mediums, conveying messages from the spirit world to the living. Tonight, her ceremony will be combined with the powers of the samurai. We believe this two-hour ceremony was integral to respecting and connecting with the culture and culture country we are visiting. Key moments have been left in this video, but the uncut footage can be seen on our Patreon. So sometimes uh, Ibu uh, is coming to here, to, mm. to her, so mm. and, uh, without the sound. Yeah. So, mm. so wow. then, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one day I, I forgot to play in the food, then I, uh, I skipped, and then so uh, she got uh, something so wrong words. That are, uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> so, so after one month, so I yeah. she couldn't uh, really, yeah, 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 for yeah. a month, yes, yeah, because you didn't play the flute, yes, yes, wow, yeah, you probably never. Stop here in the end of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll bring her a glass of water. <laughs> exactly. Remember that one? <laughs> <laughs> so that's when so we walk together. Yeah, how to prepare the okay. side lift? Yeah, lift, right, down, up. This is a pure frame. Pure, pure frame. frame. The sake is good and very important for uh, pure frame. We so. give the uh, beautiful uh, sake to the gods. Wedding time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Happy wedding to you. Happy wedding to you. Happy wedding, dear. Happy wedding to you. That was part of the ritual. I just happened. You guys were ready. You got pregnant. I wouldn't tell either way. Someone didn't <laughs> sing. Evan. Oh, Evan. The microphone. Evan. 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 I would have blown up the audio. Let you love energy to this area. Uh, All right, spreading uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Can> we... <laughs> uh, just sing for them. Ready? Okay, yeah. Happy single to yeah. you. Happy <laughs> single to you. Happy single. Happy single. Happy single to you. <laughs> <laughs> he always goes, I want to stay single. Thank you.
Tô, tô triste. Eu tô triste. Meu Deus, que é sangue. Então, você está ninguém no cadastro está carinho isto desse. So you you have a body, but uh, you the so exist of the light. So, like, you are very good in what you are doing. And, what is it? Powerful light that you are carrying. So you have uh, something amazing things. So then, uh, so you're so powerful mm. of light. Like, what is it? So you, like, negative things or something, I am healing. You are naturally curing the negativity and so the darkness. Yeah. So. Um. So, 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 Oh, if we split up, he's going in my girl. <laughs> I'm gonna be okay tonight. <laughs> There's a whole lot of darkness. <laughs> exactly. You're protecting in this group. Oh. The big task. You're gonna treat me right. Yeah, I can leave any time. Oh boy. I broke her. I broke her. She's broken. Okay. I used to tap a suit, I visited a pastor, it did have a suit to tie it, 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 ちっちゃいデビルちゃんがここにいて。So small devil is here. What small devil? Small devil. Oh, cute devil. Cute one. That's who we're talking about all these years. Known this for a long time. So so small devil here, but if you can see Steve, you can see Steve now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve. Steve. Like little one. Oh, okay. The very cute one. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, is there an angel on the other side? Or? Nope. So then, like, next is here, next is here, next is here, and like, she's directing you. She's directing you. She's directing you. You, you can go there. You can go there. So that's that small devil and like. Making making the this direction so help help to do that. Ah, she's helping you. Ah, oh, the devil's helping me. Yes. Hey, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Can I tell you? Pat on the head. Pat on the head. Had to get that contract with worth signing. Tell I got my million. There we go. So, but then, you know, you are a bit of a light and dark shadow being channeled by the presence. Ah, so you are exceeding. The darkness, lightness. So you're experiencing. So, 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 コミュニックのも怖くないっていうか、なんか大丈夫だと思って行っている。So you have experienced the the very very the very deep dark side, and so you 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 believe you're very good, you you're good, so you're very safe, so even everywhere, so. That's why we haven't drive. Never been an accident. Yeah. Well, thank you. Say thank you, Steve. Steve. Ah, nothing. Ah, okay. Ah, no.別に なんかいいいいパートナーっていうか。Good partner. Good partner. Good partner. Good partner. Good partner. So there's good devils. Good devil. Ah, really? Ah. 普通の人にしたら、so for for ordinary people, 
。うん。ええ、no g o o うんうん、でもなんかそのもう超越した存在だから。そう、you are exceeding so out of the darkness,、うん、so out of the lightness,、うん、so、うん、is an extra dimension, so you are next dimension, so another dimension, so y o u r very is no problem. You guys are not helping my ego. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>そう。The, so, the dark, darkness、uh, so spirit is、uh, cured by you.、Mm. Um, so, yeah, mm. yes. Saved by, save by you. Okay.、Mm. Mm. Uh, the、so、darkness gets saved by him. Yes. Because he.、Uh, yeah. I mean, say to you, like, hey,、yeah. chill. Yeah. <laughs> What's it just say? Why、well, you get so much activity in most places? Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That sense. Yeah. And why I'm so comfortable with all、yeah. the dark stuff. Because you're, you're, like, you're、yeah. so fearless. Wow.、Yeah. So. Two years ago, we have、uh, traveled the, so,、uh, Japan,、mm. so from the south to the middle of Japan.、Mm. So,、uh, each place we、uh, gather the water.、Oh. Uh, and water、mm. has、uh, some memory,、mm. so we believe. So,、mm. water、mm. can tell the memory. So, Secret water.、Yeah. So, with a so specific way.、Mm. So, we call it、uh, water of light. Water of light.、Mm. So, <laughs> so, you cannot use because、uh, so this is purifying. Yeah, I'll, I'll drown. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just, just, just joking, but. You know. <laughs> so, the dairy. <there> <laughs> oh, yes. You grab it. No, no, no. Just tell me to grab it. Oh, take it. Take it. Oh, it's giving it to me. Oh, 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 Whoa, 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 wait, what's that? Are they all getting kicked out? No f i n g way. Tents, tents. Uh, no, no. there was plastic. No, they're pulling tents. That was a tent. 
Wait, no, tent or person? It's a tent that's set up. That it's... there's something in the tent. <laughs> that means they just found someone. Yeah, that means they just found someone. All right, I'll, I'll do a little loop back. Oh my. That's very that's fast. fast. That's, and that's that's but crazy. now though, like why so late at night? All right, here we go. Best, uh, best guesses here, everyone. Oh, oh, the blue lights are like... This car just pulled up, and there's only one person in the car, car just pulled up. and another car just pulled up. I mean, they seem like they just go in the restroom, but this car right here pulled up, and it's just one person in the car. You know how crazy, crazy this sounds? You'd imagine, like, us being here is a reason why that person is there by themselves. Yeah. Doesn't go in tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the yeah. butterfly effect is like, we're yeah. in this parking lot, they see us, they know they're not alone. They don't want to get so out. So they go, oh, another day. You, you know, and then tomorrow they, they, they drive home and change their mind. Like that's the butterfly effect of life, you know? Okay, the motion light just went off behind us, which mm -hmm. according to what I have learned, that light goes off and records video of anyone that walks in, so that way they can help identify who maybe is missing. It's still off. It just went off. No one has gone in or out of the forest. Like I just, that's yeah. Motion. It's been blue lights the whole time. That one white light just went on. Yeah, Just, um, it's meant to like, like yeah. a ring doorbell. Yeah, exactly. We have first and foremost for tonight, everyone is gonna take a color of tape and oh, all of the is. rolls. Okay. Sweet. And this will be your tape, so that way, I'll do, yeah, I'll do take I'll whatever do color you want. Let's go. Okay. Those will be yours, my friend. And then these will be mine. And remember your color and each other's color. Oh yeah. So that way if Green, blue, blue, yellow. Blue, 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 we have it on cam. These are emergency flashlights. Gear breakdown, I guess for anyone that is new to the channel and just in general, because we have like everything we have ever collected, bought, acquired, engineered over the last few years. The parabolic mic, which allows enhanced hearing up to 10 times over. Uh, we have numerous different kinds of REM pods, some with larger strengths, some with smaller. Uh, we have the ovulus, which is still in here, cat balls, trip wires, laser grids, dowsing rods. We have our military grade thermal imaging goggles. These are actual like $4,000 military operation goggles. Um, we have sphere box. We have a new version of the SLS because someone engineered an iPhone to basically work the same way, but it's a lot smaller. Wow, so, that's yeah. gonna be so much better. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is this thing records flawlessly versus mm -hmm. our other one. A lot it's of times the, the files will get corrupted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, K2s, smaller coffin pods. We have a sphere box here, although I don't think any of us will be able to understand. Uh, the radio, just a speaker in general for sphere talker. We have flashlights galore. I have the Panasonics, two of them on me as well. Another K2, music box, REM pod. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah. To just make sure that like, we can conduct the best investigation yeah. possible. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And plausibly get like quadruple confirmation. This is what I'm most excited about. What? This guy right here. What the heck is this? <laughs> was custom built for us by request for the Suicide Forest and the Japan series in general. What? Okay. There's a screen in here as well, what? which was built in. So basically this is an obelisk, meets a phasma box, meets a portal, meets a spirit box, all it's paired all in, in one. with a translator. <laughs> this is like the iPhone. The translator. There's a translator oh. built into this. A translator? Yes. Huh, that's, that's convenient. This is, this is wild. This is wild. So wild. right now it is literally programmed for Japanese to English. Oh, sweet. Are you serious? I'm being 100% serious. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so I think you two lead. Yeah. I'll stay behind you. Yeah. That way you have the SLS unobstructed, you have audio. Yeah. And then I'll be behind you guys filming as well. And then you with thermal. Yep. You'll be able to see us and if anything else comes in near us, yep. you two stay together. Cool. Okay. Oh gosh. Hello cameras. I'm a little scared. Let's do it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. 
All right, it's time. Even from the parking lot, this is so freaky. Before we enter this infamous forest, the history surrounding it is incredibly important to know. The forest grew from the lava aftermath from Mount Fuji over 3,500 years ago, and Shinto priests believed this was divine punishment for neglecting their duties. Akigahara is also known for its unique geological features, including a magnetic field anomaly that disrupts compasses and makes navigation challenging. Some believe that this anomaly contributes to the disorientation experienced by those who enter the forest. The stone is hard and porous, full of tiny holes that eat the noise, which creates an eerie, silent effect. The forest is also known as Jukai, Sea of Trees, because of the high density, blocking out all light and making it incredibly easy to become lost. When you enter, there are signs in both Japanese and English. One sign at the entrance reads, your life is something precious that was given to you by your parents. Meditate on your parents, siblings, and your children once more. Do not be troubled alone. It is said that Aokigahara is the second most common place for suicide in the entire world, after the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The exact number of lives lost here in a year is unknown, as the police discontinued publishing this data. The last time it was made public was in 2003, when they confirmed a number of 105, an average of two lives per week. It is believed that significantly more people die here every year, but the corpses are never found. Most commonly, those that come to this forest with ill intent are males between ages 30 and 50, with the biggest month for tragedy being March and April, the time in which we are here. You might ask, why does Aokigahara appeal as a place for someone to end their life? This answer is important and layered with thousands of years of evil contributions. In the 19th century, it was a place where Japanese carried their elders to die of starvation, a practice called Ubasuta. Because of this, most believe the forest now houses thousands of vengeful spirits of those who died here. These tortured souls now prowl the forest for eternity, seeking to return that hatred. In 1993, the complete manual of suicide by Wataru Tsurumi added fuel to the fire when the author described Aokigahara as the perfect place to commit suicide, and even described which parts of the forest are less circulated so the bodies cannot be found later on. Movies such as The Forest have also increased the infamy of this location. Aokigahara is also considered to be haunted by demons in Japanese mythology, and is even a place where Buddhist monks starved themselves to death as a form of purification. In Japanese beliefs, if a person dies with strong emotions like hatred, anger, sadness, or desire for revenge, their soul can't leave this world and continues to wander. These souls are called your Yet the most common theory is that the forest itself has beckoned for darkness since its creation, as it is directly connected to all layers of the earth. Many that enter will leave tape and markers to follow back. However, there are stories of people finding their lines cut with the belief that a demon goes around cutting them to get the person more lost. One Buddhist monk named Kiyomyo Fuku was visiting the forest to set up an altar when he told the New Zealand Herald, the spirits are calling people here to kill themselves. The spirits of the people who have committed suicide before, with well over 100 hours of paranormal footage documented across three total nights in a row. This is our most thorough investigation we have ever done, utilizing every paranormal device available, techniques, ideas, and even rituals to ensure that we leave here with answers. No matter the risk, no matter the cost, no matter how afraid we might be, even when the forest itself threatens to take our lives, the goal was to enter Aokigahara and be fully dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. To guarantee a thorough investigation of the forest, the overnight team has agreed to these rules. One, we do not leave until the sun rises. Two, every one kilometer or .666 miles traveled, we must stop to properly investigate. The goal is to go no less than 10 kilometers. Three, a binding ritual and a summoning ritual must be completed, no matter what may happen or go wrong. Four, on night two, we all sleep in the forest. Five, on night three, Elton returns, entirely alone. Alone. Most importantly, rule six. If we find anyone or anything, we properly report it. Which, unfortunately, we did. And it's been seven years since I've been here. This is wild. Yeah, oh, you can see details. It's a little scary because 
They are bright orange and purple and everything else is like a dim black and white. So as I'm looking this way, I'm pretty scared that I'm gonna see something bright orange and purple that shouldn't be there. It is so dark in here. <laughs> he wasn't joking, you can't even see the moonlight. That beeped? Hey, that beeped. What area do you think? It literally beeped right when I was around here. Oh, I'm getting some feedback. Huh? Really? This side? Where? That. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, you just caught something. Right here, yeah, yeah. It was just happening right here. Oh. Right what? there. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. Literally right there. It had a figure. It pulled up a whole figure. This is what would have a body figure, right? On this. Right. Do you just see that? Right oh, there, there it right is. There, right there, right there, right there. I saw it. I saw it on that one. What? It's right there. I just saw it too. It's weird. Sometimes I see little splotches of blue, but it's the trees. I'm not sure why some of the trees have blue splotches. Right there, right there. Where the is. I see it, I see it. Konnichiwa. Oh wow, back is already hurting. Love that for me. Wow, that is insane. Back pain already. But that's still not my loud. Oh my god, that is insane. To have that happen already. Ow. Just middle of my back pain, like, immediately. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been running, like, five miles a day, and I don't get back pain. I just realized that I'm afraid to look up in here. I didn't even think about that. Oh gosh. Uh, I was just looking for people walking around. I didn't think about looking higher. Everything in my body just told me we're gonna find someone tonight. Really? I just had the burning instinct that like... <sighs> dude, I, I never have those vibes, feelings, whatever you want to call it, and I just got a shot through the heart. So weird, this tree I'm looking at is bright orange, only this one in the middle. That's strange. That's really strange. As I go lower, it's not, but at the top, it's just, there's, oh, it's, oh, it's already again. I can even hear it click when it finds something orange, but it, why? Oh man, why is that tree orange and only that one of all the trees? It's that one right there in the middle. Can I point this? Yeah. Why is that tree orange? Oh I'm nervous. God. Oh, I can't shake that feeling now. <sighs> Are you okay? I just can't shake that feeling. It's everything in my body is telling me that, like, it's gonna happen. Yep, I mean, it's not gonna be on this, on this trail, so we're gonna be going deep. Maybe when we go deep, but I really uh, hope we don't find anything physical. What the hell? What, 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 what? I was just gonna say how dark it is. Like, literally, you can't see in front of us. Yeah. But there was a red light. Stop it. And now it's gone. Well, I can definitely say that whatever Corbin is hearing and whatever light you're seeing is not giving any thermal. There's literally like one single red light. Probably like. I don't like where my my hand direction is, like up here. Okay. So it was like high at the trees, but it was just one red dot.
You know what thought I've had too, Jerry? Is every single time it's like mapped out an entity or a figure, I kind of wonder if like that is where someone has passed away at. I mean, it would make sense. That's where they, that was their last, like their final resting place. Does it just pop up and disappear? It just pops up and disappears. And it, it's gone. Did you see? It's did gone. you see a figure? Did you see a figure? Yes. Yeah. The it keeps saying there's something right over here. It seemed like little splashes of red in the tree, but not like before. I can't stop thinking about that one. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, hey, this one's pure black and white right here. Isn't there's a little blue, but not like before. Oh my god. Okay, I see the three of them. The spirit talker is on. Okay. I have no idea if it'll work. I'm, uh,. Very curious. It's gonna be extremely loud just so you know and it's on your jacket. Okay. Look at the way that these trees interact. Such a beautiful forest. I visit. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I, got I tried to warn you. I'm so sorry. This is scary. I don't want to be here now. This sounded fun on paper. Same time. Ohio. I visit audio and SLS all at the same time. I visit. I keep getting feedback. You visit. Why would you visit here? Okay. How is it just beeping and then it disappears? All here. No. Yeah. None. Here, map map me real quick. Just show me real quick on that. Yep. Yeah. So I'm here. Way far. <gasps> what? No way. Dude. No way. I literally Dude. went. Dude. What? Just show me real quick on that. Yep. Yeah. So I'm here. Way far. <gasps> what? No way. Dude. No way. I literally Dude. went. Dude. What? Elton, that's wild. What the actual? Dude, I literally went. That's wild. Did you hear that? Elton was waving over at this so we could see if he's on this camera. And as soon as that happens, his his machine goes wave. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, why does it, it keeps detecting but not showing up. And I'm like, is it broken? I was like, let me stand in front of it. And I go, and he goes, wave. We came rushing over because I heard the clicking on the headphones again. Yeah, dude, I'm hearing it over here. What, so is the, what does the clicking sound like to you? Uh, to me? No, it, like, it like to Evan, what's it, your clicking? It almost was like Morse code. I had Ginger listen to it. I'm getting it again. Like that. Right now. Yeah. I'm not trying to be honest. Don't go down there. Shut. Oh. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? I mean, that could be a warning, like what we're talking about, like not. Dude, literally. Don't go down there. I mean, that's. We were all pointed the same direction. Yes, but right as I just said, it's right there. Everything's linking up to this direction. Are you trying to keep us 
from finding someone's resting body? Are you helping guide us away from that because you know that's our fear? Recording. Deep in again, disappeared. See, that's what's so bizarre. It's like, it's mapping out blips of energy. Elton, should we just walk this way? Oh my God, where are you? Uh, <laughs> we can go along. We're, we're almost at a kilometer. We are. We're almost wanna, Oh, I'm getting... We won't, we won't count this as a distance. Do you want to walk that way a little bit? Heavy feedback. Should I walk that way? Okay. Deep in again. I'll be honest, I don't want to go alone. I'll go, I'll go right behind you. I'll go, I'll... Hey, you two go. Yeah, go I'll go with you, but okay. I'm coming with Yeah, I'll okay. trail the I same thing. Yeah. Wait, just press. It keeps beeping this way. Ah, uh, Spidey Fence is going bad, bad news. Haunted ship haunts. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm sorry, that scared the sh out of me too. That scared the sh out of me. <laughs> Can you read it? Oh. Eyes. Eyes? Are you ice. watching us? Ice or eyes? It said haunted... Haunted sh haunt. Okay, so that's what I heard. Run. Ha! Ah. Wow. It's telling me to run. Wow. Haunted sh haunts. Run. Run. It's all making sense right now, and that doesn't happen very often. What's scary to me is like, this is like an airplane mode. Yeah. You know, audio no, we don't get it. version of an iPhone. App. No service. Yeah. That thing in your hand was specifically designed. Dude, this looks creepy as fuck. What is it? Yeah. I think we should go in it, a kilometer. It, uh, it looks like a woman with her head like this. Huh? Can someone look in this? What's up? Can, do you want to come look in this? Yes. I don't, my eyes are playing tricks on me or something. Come look in this. Like, it's hard to say exactly where this is pointing. And it's. I can understand the angle right there. You see a white dress? And if you zoom in. My heart is beating so fast right now. Where you how that looked. Where you pointed? That looked like, oh, I wish I could show you. I don't know how to show it. I'm gonna try again, let me try again. Hello. Oh, hello to you too. There it is. Can you look in there with your one eye? You want to talk to us? Oh, what the f oh, motherfucker. You see that? Motherfucker Don't. already. No. You see that? Yeah. Talk to us. Talk to us. On thermal imaging, it's 100% a woman like sitting on the floor right here. And now our job is to see. Adventure. Okay. Uh, where did it go? It was. I know where. I know where it would be. It'd be right here. This is backwards where we came. But here's the thing. I don't want to, but we have to check. I know we have. Because to. if it's if it's if it's person, it's person. But if it's not. That's incredible evidence. Which direction? It would be right here. I know precisely where it was. In between the two trees. I don't want to see. <laughs> There's no one here. It would have been right here. It would have been exactly right here. Hello? No, I mean, I'm telling you, it would have been right here, precisely. There's no, that's what I'm saying. There's no one here. 
What she's seeing on the thermal is does not exist right here. There is no one here. Right here. Right yes. Here. Huh? That's exactly what I'm saying. She is seeing something on thermal that does not exist in the real world right now. Evelyn. 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 A woman's name, and it was a woman. She was wearing. A do, do you understand what I'm saying? I like understand what we have saying. a thermal image of something radiating energy, radiating heat, whatever you want to refer to it as, that is physically not here in front of us, but we have it on military grade goggles. Oh, that's crazy. Is that actually like a food item? No. Is that a mushroom? Hold on. Let me check. Hi, Evelyn. It's a mushroom. It's a mushroom. It's a what? It's a mushroom. I thought maybe there was like a snack or... Okay, so we know it works. Oh, so, do we still want to go? Gravestone. Gravestone? Oh, Here. I would assume so. Doko deska means where are you? That was that. Gravestone. How is that beeping, but it's not actually catching anything? Whoa. Whoa. That was straight up human ear. Whoa, that is human ear. That's not even a tool. That's just me hearing that. What, what are you hearing? Uh, the closest I could explain to it is like a person pretending to make a werewolf sound? Whoa. Whoa. That was straight up human ear. Oh, heavy feedback right here. The heaviest I've ever heard. Yeah, dude, I just heard someone go, Arr! Should we explore that way then? I feel like everything's telling us to go that way just to check it out. I think let's let's go to the 1K marker. Oh my god, it's... Let's do that, like... Jones. 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 Jonesing for something. Should we mark it at least? That's really what I'm doing right now. Okay. That's 100% what I'm doing right now. I'm pulling, out, I'm pulling out tape to mark it. Yeah. That's exactly what's happening. I, I totally see why people get lost here. Death in mystery. Okay, back in formation. Yep. Right oh, here. right here. Right here. That's like... You see that? You see that? Yeah, it's a figure right there. In the midst of the trees right there. Konnichiwa. Ohio. Whoa, two? two of them. Two. Pain. 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 Are you in pain? Whoa. Multiple. More, dude. There's like three. One right there, two right here. Very active right there. Whoa. See that bounces around. Oh my god. Do you want to tell us about your pain? Energy. We can see their energy. Energy. Right here. Especially right in between those trees. Why do I have a weird feeling this is like about to be the exact 1K marker? Oh my god. I'm gonna keep walking forward, sorry. I'm gonna block your system. Yep, it works. It, you walking by shows it works. I'm Jerry, by the way. Nice to meet you. Okay. Oh dude, so many here. Agnes. Agnes. Ancient Tone Lord. 
Ancient tongue warns. Okay. Tongue's here. Turn, turn here, here or tongue's here? If it says turn here and we're right at the 1K mark where we're supposed to turn. Tongue terror. Like tongue terror. Like to rip off a tongue. What? Like we're gonna have to, like they're not talking? Tongue terror. I'll set this up somewhere. Okay. Those two words together. Uh, I'm gonna set this up on the hill. Okay, so we're saying there's a 1K mark right now? Yep. Evan, you confirm that? Yes. Okay. I'll throw something. Oh, ho, 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 ho. don't what? throw anything at us, please. Should I, uh, should I turn off the uh, sonar? Or the I gear? didn't believe this. Oh, major feedback. Dude, literally. I throw something. You I'll throw something. No, it What's said earlier, I'll no. throw something. I'll throw something. And what just happened? And it, it threw something. And it literally said, I don't believe this. From what direction? Right, right there. Right got me, thrown. Dude. No, yeah, it just got thrown off. What is that? Okay, yeah, I should take it off. Can you look in that direction just for a moment? This is where the feedback's coming from. Hello? Sculpture. Can you tell us why you threw that at us? Okay, so to recap, so we're all on the same page. It literally said, I'll throw something. Mm -hmm. And then my camera actually just got thrown off the walk. And that's why we all panicked, which is 100% validated. Okay. But that's actually insane. I'm gonna take these off. Yeah. So we have feedback surrounding us. Yep. We have entities in the trees. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have verbal, I'll throw something in English. Yep. Yeah. Which again, we now know is transcended. And then it actually happens. So anyone that can go, oh, maybe it's just throwing random Illegal. words. Random words, random words. I'll throw something and then it actually happens. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good believing that like we can communicate mm -hmm. and they can communicate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Understands. Yeah, I mean that thing is like wedged in, dude. It's literally like in the log. Yeah. Like I can only imagine how much that took to do that. Yeah. And I don't want them thinking like we're not willing and able to like talk. It's That's fair. all. It's That's fair. all. Sal. Fell. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. And a handy dandy favorite tool. All right. Mm, yeah. Let's read this, do this thing, and introduce ourselves. Okay. And everything else. You're saying this is like a, this is a 400 year old. Rooted. Rooted. It's, it's like a, I think it's like a westernized version. Okay of what we did earlier yeah mm. but this time with exactly what we we're talking about introducing ourselves yeah the intent of that so what we did earlier is like building a spiritual connection to the earth to the ground to the area that we're in okay this is meant to specifically introduce us and and essentially bind our yeah. energies our knowledge our thoughts our everything yeah to this forest yeah mm. physically sense. spiritually all of it is is wrapped in here yeah for the moment I have turned off the spirit talker, so okay. it's not gonna okay. it's not gonna shout anything at you anymore. Okay, cool. Okay. Because I would love to see if, based on these tools, this is known as Kusari no Mori no Gishiki. Translation is chain forest ritual. The ancient ceremony is known to bridge the realms of the living and the spectral, binding humans to the entities of the woods. It is a rite not undertaken lightly for it calls to all spirits, both benevolent and malevolent. These are the warnings. The Kusari no Mori Yuki is a potent ritual that can attract spirits not only of benign nature, but also those with malevolent intentions. It is advised only for the brave and the prepared. If the circle is broken, the ritual and the bond stays open until it is formally closed, lest you risk unleashing forces that cannot be easily contained. This ritual should not be performed more than once a year, as it is said that too frequent calls to the spirits can weaken the personal barriers between worlds. Mm. 
the components which I've already packed up, a length of rope symbolizing the ties that bind the physical to the spiritual, black candles to illuminate the path for spirits and signify a willingness to communicate with all energies, whether of light or darkness, and an offering of energy, time, or emotion. Forming the circle, choose a clearing <laughs> where all can see each other living and dead, which I think we've done. The, judging by that, what it was talking yeah. about, they know we're here. So. Arrange five candles in a large circle large enough to accommodate all participants within it okay. and the central offering and light them in the center as well. Another five candles should be placed arm distance in front of this gap where each participant will stand. Okay. So one candle per person, we stand in front of it and another one so we're in between two candles. Nice. Participants stand at the edge of the circle facing inward, equally spaced apart. The rope is then wrapped around three times around each participant's left wrist and then extended and tied to the person to their left, creating a physical and symbolic connection between them. The rope should be long enough to weave this pattern without strain, with the final length tied to a tree that encircles the space, binding human to nature, life to the afterlife. Light the candles in front of each participant, and in, a, in the hush glow, one chosen speaker recites the invocation. I already have it translated, which says, Spirits of the Forest, connect with us, hear our voices, and come into this circle. The person to the left of the speaker also recites the invocation at the same time, adding one person and strengthening the call. Repeat this until all participants have said the invocation at once. After the circle is complete, all participants must close their eyes and fall into a deep meditative silence. The only sound should be the whisper of the wind through the trees and the crackle of the candle flames. This is the moment of invitation where the veil is removed and the spirits are drawn to the light, the offering and the energy of your life. They will continue to seek your energy in an effort to communicate, doing so until the ritual is closed. Closing the ritual. When ready, the ritual must be respectfully closed. Doing so will sharply terminate the ability for spirits to communicate as their energy supply and beacons of light will be destroyed. Participants connected by the rope in the same method as before, but with opposite hands, chant together, and I have the English translation. Okay. Go ahead. time. Yep. <sighs> okay. So this is big circle, one candle behind each of us. Yeah. And then we light the candles after, right? Yeah. Do we tie first? Or you hear we... that whistle? Dude, that was like to the left you right heard here. that whistle. That was over in this direction. I, I heard a whistle and then like a... <sighs> and then we light the candles after, right? Yeah. Do we tie first? Or you hear we... that whistle? Dude, that was right to the left you right heard here. that whistle? That was over in this direction. And I'll go over where Evan is. Oh, uh, <coughs> rotten eggs right now. You're expelling rotten eggs right now? I was like, rotten eggs right now. Ooh. Right behind you. Right... Tell me that was you. No, it was yeah. not. Smell that? That is putrid. That is absolutely putrid right now. Okay, you guys all know what that means? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where? Just so anybody doesn't know on not me. the channel. Okay. Rotten eggs usually mean a, some sort of demonic spirit. Mm -hmm. I smelled that. Like, I mean, I literally look right at it and go and tell me if that was you. No. Yeah. Why is that, that going is on? so active. Why is that all the way red? That shouldn't be possible. That is so there is no Evan, come over here. service. Come over here. There is no signal. There is nothing in here. Inside the circle? And now it's there. No, not camera. Camera doesn't make difference. No, but it's in that direction. No, literally. It's right here. Right here. Me? Dude, that's right on your fingertips. Wow. What's wow. going on with your hand? Wait, left hand. Left hand three times. Oh, the ritual.
Dude. Now it's gone. I mean, look, even like. It's yeah, not. It's not like. It's holding my hand. I, I think there's something inside this. You know what I'm saying? Something, Dude, it's, was, it's, something was here because now it's not doing anything. Something was here. Something was with me. That's weird. Oh, oh right there again. Right on your hand. I just love that I had the instinct to like pull out the K2 and like walk around with it first before we started this. Yeah, what made you do that? I don't know. I just was like, I feel like the K2 would be a good simple tool to use right now and see. No, see, not nothing. I just honestly just wanted to like set it up over there. And then I just happened to get lucky in it. It's something to, you, to do with you, Jerry. Yeah, this thing's on airplane mode, so I don't care if anyone tries to blame it on my phone. Huh. What the? Yeah, I literally just wanted to do this. I feel like it's in the circle. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in the middle, because yeah, I already know this won't set this off anyway. No, I think it's gonna be. Chills. Yeah, I know that won't set that off. That's crazy that, that won't that? set off. Yeah. What was that? I feel like it's in the circle. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in the middle, because yeah, I, I already know this won't set this off anyway. No, I think it's gonna be. Chills. Yeah, I know that won't set that off. That's crazy that that won't set off. Yeah. What was that? It was like a ooh. It's from that way. It sounded like a girl's voice or something. It sounded like, oh, that way, I heard that. Ooh. You heard that. Oh my God. It was that way. It's not, uh, uh. Like a female's voice. Okay. I'll grab the paper. Okay. So we can all light the candles behind us. That was creepy. There's the lighter. Okay, candles behind us first. Yep. That was weird. I can confirm. There's no humans that way, because these things see far. So it's not someone else who walked in. Okay, I'm not gonna let you guys until you this Okay. That way you're in line with yours. K2. Oh, K2 spiking just a little bit. Again, look at that. I mean, wow. like, none of us are within. No. I honestly thought these were broken. Oh, oh. It's, it's steadily going. Can you put more energy into that and actually move the box below it? If you're here in the circle. Each person wraps, picks up the rope, wraps around their left wrist three times. Person to their left, then goes next. And then after is when we light the candles. Okay. So I think you are starting. Okay. You can put your, well, that's insane. That is insane. Wow, oh wow, 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 wow. As we're starting, wow, wow, wow. as we're starting. Does that mean it wants us to start? Yes. And you have enough slack where you can pull it tighter. One, two, three. Yep. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. Back to no REM pot has gone off yet, if it happens. Yeah. Oh my god. Stop as it. we're completing it. Right as you're saying it too. One. We're almost there. Two. Three. Do you want us to say these words? Okay. Now we light the candles in front of us. Uh, I think probably I'll go, I'll just go reverse. Reverse okay. Sorry, I'm kind of attached to the tree right now. Mine is on. You're right. Anybody hear that? Yeah, the big... Hmm. Oh, so right over there. Uh, tree right now. Mine is 
on. You're up. Anybody hear that? Yeah, the big. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Whatever told you to bring that out, it's pretty insane. You just had the instinct. Okay. I really haven't had a K2 working. I stopped using them because they just don't ever go off anymore. Okay, this is a big deal. You're the last one. Please let that rip plug go off. Okay. I think before we say this, let's introduce ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everybody that's here. Konnichiwa, Ohio. My name is Corbin Reinhardt. I come from the United States, and I really want to communicate with you. Hello, my name is Evan. We are here from the United States. We mean the utmost respect. Uh, we would like to hear your stories. Hello, my name is Jerry. I flew in from Thailand. Came here to hear your stories, want to connect with you. Hopefully it could bring you some positive energy to free you. Hi, I'm Ginger from United States. Bringing nothing but respect here tonight. Um, only want happy, positive energy. Just here to learn a little bit more and have respect for whatever has happened out here. Staying constant, right in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh. Here goes. Doesn't want me to talk, huh? Can you feel who this person is? Exactly. Do you not like the person that's about to introduce themselves? Does this forest remember me? Does it remember everyone that has ever stepped foot inside of it? Hmm. Interesting. Does you the forest remember everyone because it feeds off a little bit of their energy and absorbs a small piece of them? Too complex. Do you remember his name? Okay. I'll say hello. My name is Elton, and I uh, am here tonight. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. here with the absolute most respect. I have been here before. And being completely honest with you, when I was here before, it was only because of the legends. I wasn't here looking for answers or conversation to learn anything about you. I was here for selfish reasons. To entertain people. To do something that seemed unique, yet in like the most disgusting way to choose to be here and the reasons for that. We've taken the time over the last few years to learn as much as we can about not only this forest, but your world, your realm, your abilities. And that's why we finally felt okay coming here tonight after seven years. Any piece of energy you want from me, you need from me, it is yours. We want to be able to communicate with you in whatever way is best for you. Whether spoken, through our devices, through branches, breaking our equipment, pushing things off, showing your energy, showing your apparition, whatever it is, please, we want to learn from you. We're here to document proof 
of the afterlife. And although yours comes from tragedy, comes from your pain, your misery, we hope that maybe you still being here can share more with the other worlds. Maybe you can show other people that there is more to the life on earth and that after, and you can help others avoid the fate you chose for yourself. That is all. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Once all five of us have done, we'll stay quiet for like a minute or two, see if anything happens. Spirits of the forest, connect with us, hear our voices, and come into the circle. Spirits of, of the, the forest, forest connect, connect with, with us, us. Hear, hear our voices, and come into the circle. Spirits of the forest, connect with us. Hear our voices and come into the circle. Spirits of the forest, connect with us. Hear our voices and come into the circle. Spirits of the forest, connect with us. Hear our voices and come into the circle. Back pain is back, baby. Really? Yes. Right side. Top third of my back. Okay. Side. That is remarkably quiet after when we were reading it was going constantly to yellow and then also yeah. going to red. Right. Now it's gone completely flat. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what that means. Not even one jump ever since we... Oh, it's right on cue, my friend. <sighs> Are you here with us? Are you inside the circle? The old Elton would burn the page so that way none of us know what to say to close the ritual. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you say, old Elton, old Elton. We never, yeah, we old Elton, we that's don't what have he would be Elton. doing. Are you still old Elton or is this something no, changed? I'm, I'm that new Elton. <laughs> I like new Elton. Alright, unwrap. Okay. The order in which we. Who was last? Yeah. You. Okay, I'll go first then. <laughs> Worth trying. You know what I mean? If everything in here would have just gone crazy right after Do we it. Lay it down I think, yeah, I think we can set it down. It's going right. Oh. Worth it's trying. Maybe we haven't completed yet until we unwrap it. That is also very true. You could be absolutely right See. right now. Oh my god, look at this. See. We're dropping the veil. No way, no way. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh wow, red. I want the box to go off. The box goes off and I'll be like, ah, it worked. Mm. We're trying. Okay. Well, we opened it. It's open. Hard to find out. I wonder part of it too is like, with the translation, Yeah. did we lose some of the authentic meaning? I would mm. assume so, yeah. You know what I mean? Like how some words like loosely translate. Yeah. Do you understand what we were saying? It's not giving. It's not giving much. So I don't know. Maybe it's the yeah, Maybe it's that. Do you like that we're here right now? Can we try one thing? What? Just because I'm impatient. It's my favorite tool. And we've already established that English translate. Oh, sphere box? Oh. Panasonic. Uh, 10 seconds in between questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. And then we'll just go in a circle? Yeah. 
three, two, one. Is anyone here able to speak to us? If not in perfect diction, a sound, a moan, or any form of verbal communication, can you use this device in my hand? Please, give us a sign now, if you can. What is your name? What was your favorite piece of life? Is there anyone in your family that you miss? Could you say what your profession was? Are you here with us right now? Next to us? Have you been following us? Playing with us? Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want us to be here? Do you want us to go further into the forest? Do you like when people come to visit you? Do you want to communicate with us the most aggressive, actual, full-blown red? It that maxed out the power. Damn. When it beeps, it means it is maxed out. Like, it cannot get a higher reading than that. <laughs> that is like, that's blatant. That's absolutely blatant. Yes, I want to yes. communicate with you. Now we just have to figure out what way is best. Right. Is anyone here able to speak to us? If not in perfect diction, a sound, a moan, or any form of verbal communication, can you use this device in my hand? Please, give us a sign now if you can. What is your name? What was your favorite piece of life? Is there anyone in your family that you met? Could you say what your profession is? Are you here with us right now, next to us? Have you been following us, playing with us? Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want us to be here right now, There's next to us? Have you been following us, playing with us? Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want us to be here with us right now, next to us? Have you been following us, playing with us? Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want us to be there? Okay. Do you want us to know? Why? It says either okay or of course. But it's Have you been following us? Playing with us? Do you want to communicate with us? I think okay. I think it's okay. Do you want to communicate with us? Okay. Were you saying okay? I think it says okay. The one thing that we get on the entire recording was right then. Yeah. Where it was most active. Yes, and it was the most active after that question. Yeah. Squat up and okay. another kilometer? Yeah. Ooh, what do we do here? With we these? Just, just wrap them, them up? Yeah, wrap it up. Okay. Do we, do we pick them all up? Yeah, I'd say yeah, blow out the inside good. ones and the outside ones just to invert the order. Okay. I think inside first. Probably, I would say just invert yeah. the order. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. And then we'll just put them back in the box. Thank you. No way. No way. Do you want us to leave these here? They're all gone, right? All five centers are gone? Yeah, dude. No, uh, just one left. No, but they're no, all but out. Like, they're no. all blown out. Oh, yes, they're all blown oh, out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're all blown out. Holy cow. Wow. Could that, could that, that could actually be the end of the seance. That could be end, the end of... Now we're actually ending it. That yeah. Was like, hey, Let's blow out the rest know. of the candles, because now we're going to actually end it. Yeah. It wasn't the ribbon the record, This doesn't, like, end it. I think this just, like, completes the opening. I think this completes the binding. That's what I meant to say, completes it. Yeah, it doesn't end it. It actually completes the binding. Holy Yeah, that's, that's like, yeah, this is the end of the beginning. No way. Oh, my God. I just blew it out. I blew out the Completely. last one right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. The moment you blew it out. Oh my Did you step away from it? Step away from it? It's still going. It's still oh, going. Red. That's it. We did it. We did it. Are you it's bound open. to us? We did it. 
That's it. Yeah, hey, anyone watching the video right now that has watched the channel for like however many years <laughs> we've been doing this, the last time I can remember this was Lily at Trans Allegheny. Yes. Holy cow. Yes. I, I can't remember another time. I mean, yes. this is this is absurd. Holy cow. This is incredible. Oh my god. You just max it out like three times. The entire yeah. time we were all standing here, all doing the same thing, about oh, the same distance apart, it only spiked to red on communicate. And now that we've fully finished this. Now it begins. This is so maybe it did work. That's actually I think pretty it did. Maybe it did work. We just didn't finish it. It was the it was the can that blow it. The Panasonic said, okay, finish the thing then. If you want to start, let's maybe go. Maybe it, it worked. I did not touch she, it. Yeah, I did not touch it. She was about to just close. She pretty I was pretty close. She was pretty close, close though. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let me just grab the candle. Just. Okay, that's what I did before. Yeah, I'm not. That's, that's, that's okay. If you were a foot away, I'd go, okay, yeah, yeah. red. Oh. If it does it again now, then, then it's wild. Can you make the box go off? I understand it's a completely different type of energy. But instead of field energy, are you able to amass enough to actually make this happen right here? Yeah, look at that. It does it read the same type of energy too. Well, that makes sense because the, the box time. emits energy. Right. Whoa. What is it? Oh my oh God. God. Jesus Christ. Can you activate that? Please. We're only asking so we can understand what works for you and what doesn't. So if you're able to, then we have a whole new set of tools that we can use to keep learning more about you and this place. That's the reason why we're asking. It's working on that one. K2. Yep. Wasn't one of the things the Spirit Talker said too, like there's energy here or there's en energy? It said energy, yep. Just said energy, yeah, right? Just energy. Yeah, lots of energy. And that makes sense why the trees are reading things. It's just energy. Yeah. All right, we can all put the candles in the box. I'll wrap up the ribbon and let's okay. grab the lighter. I read the instructions first before pulling up the K2, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. I read the instructions. I talked about the left hand. Yes. Then his left hand went yeah. off. Yes. yes. Do you want to communicate? Spikes all the way up. Yep. Yep. First inner ring goes out. It goes to high red that it hasn't before. Yes. Last ring goes out full blown red all the way. Yep. Yes. So it's 100% comprehending everything we're saying. Everything. Yes, exactly. Because it went left hand. Absolutely. Everything. So that would mean that, that the, the language it's, barrier it's is It's 100% like, like understanding popular. everything we're saying. Yeah, yeah I just, I'm just trying to piece everything together. Like yeah. it understood the full ritual, which is red in uh, English. Uh, uh, uh. It says, yep. Yeah, everything was red in English, other than me poorly saying the name of the actual ritual in Japanese found this blue tape with moss. Oh, that's interesting. I think this camera has been uh, face tracking something on the right of all of you this whole time. It can track something? It has like auto face detection, like just yeah. the natural camera. Yeah. And right now I'm watching it track. Over on this side? Yeah, to your left. Like this one right here, right here? 10 feet away from us? Yeah, it's been tracking something right there. Oh, that's where the SLS is popping up stuff too. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, this uh, this branch right here. It's been tracking like, like almost as if there's a face like sitting right there. Like something is. So I just down. went over to like hit record on it again, and so it was just like watching tracking watching. like right there. Right. Are you standing right in front of me? You're right here with us. Yep. Which way do you want us to walk? Do you want us to go forward this way? Deeper in? Yeah, wait, let's just say our names. And if it spikes on one of the directions that, that uh, we say our name, you know our names. All right, I'll go first. My name is Corbin. Elton. 
Ginger. My name is Jerry. I did not like that at all. Please. Did you hear what? that? Yeah. Okay, you heard a... Yeah. Oh. Cool. I heard that too. Oh. I thought I was tripping. Cool. I'm glad you said it. Mm -hmm. Ginger. My name is Jerry. I did not like that at all. Please. Did you hear what? that? Yeah. Okay, you heard a... Yeah. Oh. Cool. I heard that too. Oh. I thought I was tripping. Cool. I'm glad you said it. Because mm -hmm. the... Mm -hmm. Evan, you didn't say I, I may have. I was counting in my head, so I... I mean, I think the body cameras here better than mm. we do. Mm. I heard it. Like, honestly, from the, the ritual box, like, right that angle for me, yeah. just... Yeah. yeah, same tone. I think Evan should say his name real quick, and then I think that's the direction. Oh, wait a minute. Evan? I think that's the direction. Okay. All right. That's... Three both. Yeah. Same time. Yeah. Uh, right. Two figures right in front of me disappeared. Right oh. there. Right there. That was quick. Stomach pain. Oh no! Not already. You feel it immediately? Yeah. Mm, I hate this because I only feel like this when I get haunted things. Huh? That's literally on my chest and I just said stomach pain and oh, I just said I only what? feel this when I do haunted things. Why? And that, that really hurts right now. Oh no. Yeah. Is something trying to hurt you, you think? Dude, that like really hurts right now. And it's like legitimately right here. Uh, incredible that timing was because that really hurt. And then it, that's why we say things because then things happen after. Yeah. It's not like, oh, my stomach hurts. No. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, that's really going right now. Yeah, it's that's going after me. Oh, boy. Right on that bridge. Oh, interesting. Right on that green branch. Why does this hurt so much? Okay? Yeah, is there something underneath the vest that's hurting, or is it just inside of your stomach? No, it's, it's literally me. It's like physically, like I could press on it, like in my body. Do you feel nauseous? No, it just hurts. There's something going on right now. I don't know what it is. I, mean, I don't know if you guys know, but the last time I was here, I like just started throwing up for like 30 minutes straight. Uh, and at the same time, our audio got completely just destroyed. Oh gosh! It's very weird, and we had no idea that it was happening at the same time. Okay. All right. Let's go. Right in front of us, right here, big figure. Hello there. Active. Extremely active. Still holding. Just wow. 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 Right in, that pocket. right in that pocket the whole time. Hello. Hi there. Yep. Still there. Still there. Hello. Oh, little It's to my right, my left. Uh, definitely to your left. I will go towards where that. Oh, okay. Branchy up, it's up there. Oh, Disappeared now though. Nope, it's still there. Still there. It's big. Can you say something to me? Wow, red, 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 wow. red, 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 red. I have a body camera on it too. Red. Nice, yep, still there. Holy, Holy cow. <laughs> That's staying red. Are oh, you guys seeing this? It's just. I mean, it's, you're picking up LT. Oh my god. What? It's just staying red. You're right here, huh? Hi. Oh, that is. Wow. You said hi and it went by. I literally flipped this out of night vision to show. It's just picking you now. Yep, it's we just picking up it. you now. Yeah. We found them, it, whatever it is, and it, 
That's cool. Wow. That's really Sweet. cool. That was incredible. Yeah. That was incredible. That's like double confirmation. Yep, yep. Whoa, cow. God dang. Got big. Gone. Gone. Nope. It's so. What an interesting spot for it to be, too. Like, look how the trees are just. They have like an arch right there. So, what we talked about earlier, my only thought is that every time it keeps. Dude, literally, I don't know what it was. So, like, okay. Yeah, it so, hurts. I, I just like had the jingling. loudest sound in my ears. The la oh man, that hurt. Yeah. No. I don't know. What? Dude, he's going off. Oh. It's gonna pull the power out of it. It's killing it right now. I can hear it. It's oh literally ripping. God. It's ripping the power out of it. Actually, what might be happening? It's ripping the power out of me. What, what are you? What are you this feeling? This is collateral at the same time. Hey, what are you feeling? It like genuinely feels as if someone is taking like a, a the handle of a butter knife oh. and just pressing it into like right between my like my vertebrae. A butter knife. Oh. It, it just feels like that, you know what I mean, that dull end of the handle oh just God. being pressed in. Yeah. What I was saying earlier to Jerry is I think he keeps flipping and I wonder if every time we're seeing these blips if that's where someone took like their final yeah. moments on earth. Do you think we should so start? that was one and that was one and that was one and because it's been hundreds of years and thousands of people. Do you think if we move out of this area, do you think it'll still continue with your stomach? Let's find out. Is my back kind of my stomach? Uh, this is crazy. Jesus, Elton, that is going off. It's not stopping. No. Yeah, once you get out of this area. Have you ever seen Elton like that? No. And how long have you been together? Five years, five and a half years. I've never seen him like that. That's crazy. Not from, you know, something that's obvious, like a food poisoning yeah. or something, but that's I've seen it in the videos, but not in real life. I mean, yeah, I've seen him get sick before, but never yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's how he is when he's sick with food poisoning, or like I've seen him like that, and it's that's that is it. That is him in pain. That is him feeling. A stomach issue. Like I've seen that before. He seems like he's ready for it. He seems like he's like, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna get attacked and it's all right. That's insane. This is way more terrifying than I could have ever imagined. Really? You think so too? Yeah. Okay. Because I... Because I think that too. Stopped. We left the area and it stopped. Wow. I'm getting feedback. Still on. Oh, never mind. I'm getting major feedback. Yeah, it just stopped too. I'm telling you, I think it is ripping power out of me and this is just like yeah. the digital tool to prove it. Sticking with us. Okay, with us. this force is way colder than this. Can you point the audio gun at me and see if you hear anything like beyond this? I was getting some feedback when it was over here, but not as okay. much. I just imagine if like you could just hear yeah. like, it on me. That cat would be terrible. Either way, whatever you whatever is happening, this is a real sign. Like there's 100%. something that's walking along with you. Hundred percent. 
Well, Jerry, at least it's not you anymore, huh? Yeah. This is insane. They might be more familiar with you, you know? You've well, been yeah, here. You've been here before. You've been here. I really thought I'd be a lot more chill on this. Human noises. Yes? What did you just do? Huh? Why did you just bark? Bark? You just went whoo 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 Absolutely did not. What? What? No. All, all three of us yeah. heard that, right? Yeah, I thought that was you guys. Because there was something over here. All three of us just heard you go whoo 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 whoo. What? No. You heard all that, three right? Of us heard that, right? I, yeah, I, I, I turned around guys. because there was something over here. All three of us just heard you go whoo 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 whoo. Dude, I what? turned around specifically because I heard something over there. All three of us, dude. I heard them say something. And I thought Ginger said something. Well, I turned around. Am I gonna die? You're still Am going I gonna off. Die? Why are you going off One so much? Am I gonna die? One day, Elton, not right now. Not right now. What in the world? You guys can hear this, right? Oh, yep. yeah. Dude, I've never seen that going off like that in my life. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Put it on me, yeah. Who wants this out? Test this out. No, you're good. Here, let's 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 walk around a little bit and see what happens. Now that we're here, now that everything's happening, now that one's getting attacked, this is a lot different than I thought it was gonna be. And we may possibly have visual of a spirit on thermal. Yeah. I hope this is recording because that was insane. That's why I needed someone else to see it. Yeah. I needed, and as soon as he saw it, what did he say? Oh, we found someone. Yeah. We found, we already found a dead body, done. But then we went there and there was nobody there. There's nobody there. Which, uh, thermal, I, again, I hope it's recording because the thermal just looks so different. Like you can't, did mine start blinking? That's weird. You can't tell if it's, um, I don't know. It's just, you just have to see it and show you. I feel like it's ingrained in my brain forever now. Ugh. Oh, you're a mother. It just hurts, dude. Oh. <sighs> All right, let's do a little test. I'm gonna take the K2 back and see what happens here. It's not gone off. Sorry, I'll hit you in the face. Crazy. Okay, we're back. Wow, this flashlight is dying way faster than it's supposed to. K2 is not going off anymore. That's crazy. It was going consistently off on that. Yeah. Uh, is that really just bleeping for certain things? Continuously, but no figures. finds like something like the boys it makes a click mm -hmm. noise in here but I'm looking at the trees and I don't see anything but I heard it go click click but I don't see anything 
That's strange. It's like I can feel it too in my yeah. eyebrows. Like click, click. I don't see. That. But it's above where they're looking. Do you want to move up a bit? Kind of. Get a yeah. better view. All right, pain coming, which means K2 is going to spike in about 10 seconds. Figure. Heavily, two. Oh, wow. Going bananas over here. Two figures. Yep. Yeah, what did I tell you? How, wow. What did I tell you? Wow. That is incredible. Maybe that not 10 seconds, but damn close. Absolutely incredible. The moment that we start seeing things, too. major fever. Ow, ma, dude. And it's hurting at the same time? Yes. Like we walked and it kind of faded away and it was fine. And it's hurting at the same time? Yes. Like we walked and it kind of faded away and it was fine. And it's hurting at the same time? Yes. Like we walked and it kind of faded away and it was fine. And then I felt it and I'm like, let's watch, ready? k is gonna match it. Still bouncing. If you guys are seeing this, it's still bouncing. And what if that's what's like as we walk by them, they kind of like doing this to us and just like pulling it out. So I'm curious, are they the same two? <laughs> guys. How long, can, how long can you take that? It, you know, it's my job, so we're gonna do it. I deal with it, I guess. Curious. The thing is, it's like, it's not, it's like almost like knocking the air out of me. Okay. Like it's not, like, it, it's, very annoying and dull pain and it feels like it's actually like you know like on a kid in the playground you fall on your back and you're like ah. it feels like it's almost that okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hello now i'm curious are these the same ones from back there or are these just like as we walk these are different i don't know spirits you know what i mean yeah i do know what you mean should we walk a little bit further ask them to like oh there, what, yeah, look at that can you we want to see if you are the same entity or person that's been following us, or if you are different. So maybe we can create a way to show each other. Earlier you said wave when I waved. Can you wave now with your right hand? Can you wave with your right hand? Yep. Wow. It's trying to do it, but there's just so, there's like three of them. Okay, well, now. Sorry, as you say that, that's going off. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I'll deal with it. I'll stop complaining. Okay, now later, to show you the same person without us asking, can you just wave with your right hand? Then we'll know you're the same person. Or multiple. Or multiple. Let's go up there. I want them to look yeah. up. I want them to look up. Okay, now later, to show you the same person without us asking, you just wave with your right hand. Then we'll know you're the same person. Or multiple. So from back there, I was looking at you three, and nothing abnormal really happened, but then I started following up along the trees, and it noticed something. It started doing a clicking thing in here that it does when it finds something. I couldn't find it after that. But it was it up in the tree. It, it was something? like above you, but like above in the tree area. She keeps seeing things that are above us. That was the last thing that you said about the trees as well. Yeah, I just as soon as I started following it up, it just went click, click, click. That's weird. 
。ありがとうございます。It's because we've been getting so much. Dude, there's one right in front of me, right now, right here. Yep. I I think it's every time I acknowledge them. You, how you feel? Okay. Hey, hello. Ohio. You're right in front of me. I just want to say hello. Gam means no harm. Here to communicate with you. How are you? You're sitting right in front of me. Oh, you have a friend. There's two. Yep. There's this one right here, and there's gonna be another one to the left. All right. Feel free to come with us and and right along the journey and say hello to everyone else. Arigato. Yeah, I'm gonna lead this time. Okay. And if something like, maybe something will pop up next to me at the same time the K2 goes off, I feel fine right now. So that phase has gone by. Wow, very clear. Hello to you too. Oh, that is the clearest one I've seen. Very right. Right here. Hello. The gone. Just one. Ohio. <laughs> I wonder if we look like a witch to them. I don't like when they just leave the spirits behind with us. <laughs> They're like, okay, see you later, spirits. So I'm starting to get back pain and like a bubble in not my, I don't know if it's my stomach, but like my center. It feels like there's like a balloon. Okay. Okay. You're a bitch and stop doing that. That hurts. I did tell them they can take energy and do whatever they want, so I asked for this. Yep, wow, that is just. That's crazy. It's incredible, Elton, every time. Did you hear my voice? Yes. Whoa. Absolutely. <laughs> we hear you loud and clear. Whoa. Holy cow. Uh, take as much energy as you need. All I ask is that you utilize it to communicate with us at some point tonight. Ground got mushy. Fresh. Fresh. As I said, the ground got mushier. Fresh. Do you hear my voice? Fresh. Pagan, do you hear my voice? Fresh. And I'm getting the chills this time. This one's not pain. I'm getting like those something's about to happen chills there. Wow. You're calling it every time. You are calling it every time. Uh, this does not happen. There's a little bench here. Yeah, it's just, I'm just trying to, it's, it's, it's very inconsistent. So it's kind of starting to catch me off guard sometimes. Innocent. Innocent. Fresh, innocent. Hey, can you take a look at uh, motherfucker. All right, guys. What? Now it's getting real. No. Oh, oh, look at this. Ribbon. No. Ribbon for the first time. No. First ribbon. No. We found a first ribbon. And I got a, uh, I got a beer bottle. Oh, no. Okay. All right, we're officially on high alert. Oh, bottle no. right here. That's a big bottle. Emptied out. But ribbon, I guess it's like if you change your mind, but the ribbon seems cut and it's, okay, I'm gonna do the thing I don't really wanna do. I'm just gonna look. Sit and listen. Sit and listen. Well, oh, wait, what do we just got? Fresh, yes. innocent, yes. sit and listen as we come across our first ribbon. It's almost like balloon string. Are you talking to us? Is it tight? 
it's cut here and it's cut there. Is it tied onto the branch? Yes, it is tied around the branch right here. Sit and listen, isn't there also a bench like right? There was a bench right Bench is right there. Yeah. Like actually right there. It's like the only place you could actually put you to go sit. Right there. Okay, I think that's too obvious to ignore. Yeah. Let's like, go to the bench and sit and listen. For, I mean, that's just way too obvious to ignore. The living. Over there might be a rope. Don't worry, guys, this is me getting the life sucked out of me. Yep, check on him real quick. Oh, we're fine. We're just a K2 going up. That's fine, don't worry. Please take off and should we go deeper in there and see if we can stay in lesson. Stay in lesson. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't want to disrespect us. Give me a command. <laughs> So ever since we left, I've been starting to get gat, uh, middle back pain. Nice. And it feels like there's a balloon slowly expanding in my stomach. Welcome to the club. Wow. That's crazy. Welcome to the club, dude. That's really? exactly what it feels like here. It's just this weird pain, and it just feels like it's like pressing your ribs out. How long, how long do you, uh, did you oh, feel wait, like on your stomach? I didn't describe the pain. Did I describe the pain when I was around you? No. I described it to you. What does it feel like to you in the back? Uh, from, I would say, middle back to slightly lower upper back, it feels like a, a stabbing, almost. Jeez. Like, if you had to, like, describe it with an item, like a common item that everyone knows, you know what I mean? I don't know. Knife of some sort? <sighs> cool. Sweet. That's crazy. Fun fact. That's literally what he said. That's like verbatim. All right, let's wait at least like 20 seconds between okay. like actually sit and listen. So one yeah. question, that's it. Does taking energy from the living help you in any way, shape, or form? People. Huh? Burned. People? Actual? Light. I'm Light. pausing. What's up? Light. Oh, there are people. Yeah. Light. People coming. They're moving in fast, yeah. too. Yep. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm, I'm going to take this off. Yeah, I'm picking up my One person. Go on. Take it off. Nope. I see it. Oh. Oh. Hi, Ohio. You know about the surge? What's the surge? The surge is when people know it's like their final moment that they are in like almost like a euphoric state of happiness. Just Doma, just smiling. Like almost zoned out until he saw us. Yes. That's what makes me very, very nervous. Oh yeah. yeah. Nothing. 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 And nothing I looked. I don't know. We'll keep an eye for him, I guess, but there was nothing in his pockets. He could just be on a night hike. Yeah. It is still a Saturday night. It is really pretty. That is weird, though. 
I mean, being alone, Saturday night, I would never be, I would never be here alone. I'd like, I would have a whole time. You know what I'm saying? It's like past midnight type of stuff. Mm-hmm. You know this? Yeah. What time is it? It's a it has to be past midnight. I mean, the cameras have been on for two hours. We need to start to like ten thirty-five. It's gotta be like twelve forty. Would be my guess right now. One ten. Okay. Um, yeah, Ginger, you can see him, huh? That's lost my vision. Now he's gone. Yeah, he was just walking. You still got something right there with you. Okay. Back to the questions, I guess. Oh, he's coming back. Is that him? Yeah, he's coming back right now. Yeah, yep. he's walking right back towards the front. Okay, good. I hope he's not going to ask for help. But I found something or something like that. Oh. Wait, that's something different. Is that something different? I'm hearing this like. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. I'm gonna turn this off right now. Okay. I wonder if you focus on sitting with him. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna take this off. Oh. Ah, I'm not going to pretend that I didn't just see what just happened paired with what just happened. What did you see? He walked away fully out of vision, even out of thermal imaging vision. He started praying Yeah. that he was like, please don't let it be a night hike. Yeah. This is a loop path. He turned around. Oh, yeah, right. 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 As he got to saying, right there. You literally like where I saw you like praying. For this to not be a night hike. He was gone. This loops. I know this loops for a fact. And he turned around like 20 seconds. Out. I mean, we're, we know how far in we are. That was really quick. Like he turned around right there. Right after you were praying. Yeah. And then what? what do we get told earlier about him? That he like brings happiness to the land. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want to like just like completely disregard. You're pulling things together. You're pulling things together. So. But, but. The thing that doesn't make any sense is just going there, coming right back. It was not even, it was within, what, 40 seconds? Yeah. There and back. It was a minute, yeah. And he, he That's came what I'm in saying. not dressed like someone who goes on a night hike. He wasn't in a no, puffy jacket, shoes. like I'm going to be out in the forest doing a 5K. Like he just, in jeans and a button. He's gone. I the worst thing I could pray think. because if he turns around thinking that, we are going towards that way. And they were just, you know what I mean? You get where I'm coming from? He's I get what you're saying, but I think, you, I think, I, I think hope. what just happened, he just changed his mind. I hope so. Yeah. I truly 100%. hope so. Bro, I think he just like straight up changed his mind. If he was on a hike, he would have done the loop. Yeah. It is a loop. Yeah. And it takes you right back to the same place. Like, it's not like it's like a, you know, it takes you right back. I, I hope my prayer really did change his mind. I'm more scared about him turning back because he realized we are going that way. Nah, I don't think so he's going to go that way. I think. If, no, I don't think that's it. I think if he turned around, he turned around. Yeah, he did. I'm curious to see up there. What if the trail is closed up there, just mm-hmm. past our distance? We're going to definitely see that soon. And he said, oh, okay. loop trail's closed. I'm going to turn around. Okay. Two, two of you go look, see if it ends. The rest can do Panasonic here. Sit and listen. So don't disrespect us. Yeah. We haven't done that yet. See if it's closed by the time you're back. Whoever wants to do it, I don't care. Yeah. I'll go with someone. I'll go. Okay. You two go then. Bro, I literally saw you like praying and I was just like, and you're tearing up. And then 
I mean, I had, I'm gonna go with like 20 seconds later, I see his flashlight again, like completely yeah. 180. So casual. If that, if that path keeps going. Yeah. Like. I hope so. I really hope so. That's the best case scenario. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Like, like it's, it's, no, it's, I don't one, it's one in the morning. It's we're about, scale. we're just about 2 Ks in. So we're slightly over a mile and a half ish, I guess. Was mile. he in jeans? Yeah. Like, jeans. nobody yeah, goes jeans. on a hike at one in the morning in jeans. That's not a, that's not a normal thing. Yeah, he's not even wearing it. And he like laughed when he, he definitely like kind of understood what we were doing, but he kind of like chuckled. And yeah. was, what does Domo mean? Domo. Was Domo like, hello, hi, like mm -hmm. slang for. It's, I mean, we don't like need to know right now, but. It's like hey, probably. Isn't it Domo? Um, we learned that like our sushi chef from the uh, Mr. Roboto song. Yeah, it's like very, Domo Arigato, thank yeah. you very much. That's it's it. what I thought it was, but that doesn't make sense that he'd Domo be saying. Like a, some sort of like a, I think it is like a, some sort of greeting. Yeah, I think yeah, Domo is some sort of greeting. Isn't it wild that if if that was someone who spoke English, we could have just said, "Oh, no, you're turning around already." Is taking energy from the living help you communicate? He went pretty far. And now it goes up higher. Maybe that's why he See, now, look, you see where their lights are? He was past where the lights can go. Yeah, because I couldn't see him, so. Yeah. Is what we doing right now disrespectful to any of you. Okay, now we're probably starting to get to the point where he was. Oh God. <laughs> this is not a normal hike for someone to do in the middle of the night. This is... No, definitely not. This is frightening. I can't believe you did this. How much more energy do you need or want? Okay, we have to be nearing the part where he just was. It's That's gotta right. be here. Yeah. All right, should we start turning back? Yeah, I mean, look, we can see that far ahead too. It's definitely not closed. No, he just, he literally just went back. Something in this area, this is the moment he decided. Could you tell us why the hiker turned around? Should we follow the ribbon? Why would he go all the way to where we are, pass us, come up here, and then come right back? Unless he's like looking for something. Is taking energy from the living help you communicate? Sounds like the K2. Yeah. It keeps going. Right there. Is what we're doing right now disrespectful to any of you? I feel like I can hear beautiful. Because what he said was beautiful. Because what he said was beautiful. Dude, he literally goes, because what he said was beautiful. Oh, you're gonna cry. Oh. 
Oh, Evan's crying too. <laughs> oh no, oh no, let me see. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh my god. Holy shit, dude. What the? They're hell? both crying right now. <laughs> oh, that's insane. That's so insane. <laughs> I'm like happy, happy laughing. No, it's good thing, good thing. What is what? We did the whole questions, everything, and I mean we have it, things the whole time. But Evan goes, can, "Can you tell us why the man turned around? The hiker. Why the hiker turned around?" And you hear it go, "Because what he said was beautiful. Because what Jerry said was beautiful." Oh. Evan literally asks. Dude, it literally, he heard beautiful, and I go, yeah, we all heard beautiful, and then he listened back, and he goes, because what he said was beautiful. It's like clear as day. I mean, they're both like, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Take that, please. Yes. I can't wait to hear that. Wow. Oh my god. I really hope so. <laughs> oh my god. Really so I'm not like so. laughing like as it's funny, I'm like, it's in, that's in, insane. I really hope wow. so. Yes. <laughs> Let me take <laughs> That's probably why oh my he used God. to sit and listen. It knew he was coming. Oh my God, it's so quiet without the headphones on. <laughs> so glad. I really hope so. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do too. Yeah. Hope it was okay. <laughs> That's great. That's great. It, yeah. Don't be disrespectful. Sit down and listen. And look, okay. We literally sat down on the bench. A random solo person walks by, goes off. We all kind of assume the worst. Jerry says what he says. Yeah. 20, 30 seconds. I just prayed, dude. I just prayed. I, I just didn't want anything bad to happen. No, of course not. Yeah. I just prayed. I just hope it didn't happen. It doesn't happen. You know? yeah. But I just felt this gulp of energy and like, tears just started coming down and I was just wiping it off and sat down. And then he came back. Yeah. yeah. And was it a dead end? No. Mm -mm. It still keeps no, going on. My theory is wrong. It is not a dead end. We went all the way up there. It starts to go uphill and it just keeps going. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I got to go. I'm a... <laughs> yeah, it said sit and listen. We thought it meant use the Panasonic and listen, but yeah. it didn't mean that. It meant something's about to happen. But we did. We also sat and listened, yeah, and then but it wanted us to sit to see him show up. Yeah, we weren't ahead of him. We were here. That's true. We would have kept walking. He never would have missed us. And yeah. he might have made that turn right we're there. Made the turn anywhere. But it right said, "Hey, you need to sit right now and listen." And just we we listened. We saw the light. We saw him come. Something more divine. And don't be disrespectful when you come. Yeah. Just like you said, butterfly effect. That's right. Had we not gone back to the bench, we. We never would have ran into him. We would have, would have stayed waiting. ahead of him, and he could have very well made that turn. He could have done it right here on the bench. Who would That's be going insane. here in the middle of the night? Nah. Reason? Yeah. Dressed like that. Dude. Exactly. With nothing. With nothing. Just a smile and a domo. He was so happy. Was so That's happy. like the surge. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen you cry. Yeah. Like on camera. <laughs> <Not Majaro. laughs> That's all you cry. Yeah. Yeah, Holy sure. cow. Yeah, only two times ever. Kilimanjaro and then one time we were just talking during a hitchhiking oh. challenge. Yeah. Huh. Great question. I'm so glad you asked that question. Wild. I think it's worth it to investigate the ribbon. I think, I think we owe it to something. Your call. Yeah, I mean, I'll say yes to anything. Yeah.
Yeah. Well, uh, you you prayed, right? Yeah. To whom or anything at all? Oh, just, you whatever, just whatever that was there, dude. I don't know. I just prayed. I just didn't want anything bad to happen to that guy. You know? Yeah, of course. And as a living human being walking right in front of us, happy. The surge. I don't know. Yeah. It was just it, the feeling was just bad all around for me. I had to, I, I, you know, I don't know. They say also that sometimes happiness, just because they're happy on the outside doesn't mean, right? doesn't mean anything. God, that was crazy. Well, no, I just, I'm just, I don't, I'm, just yeah. I'm just processing. I'm literally just processing. I wish we could like talk to him. You know what I mean? And like, I, I wish, I wish, yeah, he would And then he was like, I wish we could just talk to him and translate. And he was like, I don't know why I just changed my mind. You know what I mean? Imagine he said that. He was like, yeah, I can't. I'd lose it. You know what I mean? Like, that would be just, I don't, I don't, un yeah. I thought Domo meant like, hello, hi, uh, like, much. good evening. But, but he just said it solely, just that. So thank you. And then he said it again on the way out. Yeah, multiple times. Yeah, Domo, thank you. He said Domo, and then we all said, hey. And he said, Domo, Domo, Domo. Imagine if that was the feeling I, I got when we first walked in here. Yeah. When we first walked in here, I said, I was like, we're going we're gonna to find someone tonight. Yeah, exactly. Where I literally was like, I with absolute certainty believe we are going to find someone tonight. And it's completely... What if that was the someone? Yeah. Completely. That was the someone we found tonight. I hope that was... Changed someone's was life. It. Yeah, I'm not trying to be like self-righteous here, no, believe no, that you have the power of God in your hand or anything like that, but that is bewildering circumstances across the board. Yeah, who comes here and just says thank you? Yeah, that, that's like the cherry on top between everything that just you happened. You know what I mean? And we're like, oh, it's a greeting. Like, oh, don't know, right. like walking by. Yeah, no. But thank you as he passes us. Thank you, thank you, thank you as you leave. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I think he still thought about it when he was going up. Okay, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's insane. Should we, uh, should we investigate? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what? Yeah. I think I think we need to definitely go through and go off track just to see what's going on with the ribbon real quick because yeah. whatever's back there deserves to be acknowledged. Yeah, anything. <laughs> it, it's just so surreal. Like, so, yeah. I'm, I'm but it, like, talking to Ginger as we were coming up here, how terrifying this is because it's so dark. It's the things that happened back there with Ritual and K2 and everything. But now it almost seems like that has lifted. And now it's like a sense of joy. It's no longer like fear. It's like... Yeah, I know what you mean. Like happiness almost. The tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything's just like shifted. Yeah, I just hope there's nothing. That, I hope when we investigate, I hope there's nothing. Yeah. Wow. Let's find out. What a yeah. change. What a yeah. change. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. To you, sir. Got it. But I'm gonna recap everything it said in this time. I don't know when it said what, um, because it's been on mute the whole time. Oh, during the last. Correct. It said, "Someone's watching. Bad entities here. Powerful. I know I am dead. Crying. You're scared of me. Stabbed. Danger. I don't know when it said what, but that is the list in exact order." That I, I have. Like any of that. I do not like any of that. No, that sounds That's portal. Like portal. That's everything I have listed. Do we believe that um, there's more ribbons kind of as time goes on or as you go through? That's the theory. There that, should be more. Yeah, and only the deeper you go, they're more necessary. Why, why only? There's only one. Yeah, why, why would there only be I one? I mean,. If someone wants to be found, they put that one. Way. Well, the, normally the ribbons are for the people that think they might change their mind. Yeah. Or it's, people like us. Yeah. yeah. It's just the full bottle. That's kind of scary. I think it just go, we should go just a little bit and. Okay, you know. I'll follow your lead then. Okay. I don't see any more ribbon. Yeah. 
I'm not even yeah, seeing I the ribbon. I think we need to adapt a little bit. We should, you know, turn back. The only thing I can think is that ribbon led to somewhere and they cut it as like, hey, we we found this person. Mm, like they, like they, they uh, all the ribbons the, in this one. Yeah, no, or like they left that one to like identify like, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm just thinking maybe they, that's what they do after. He said there's a portal also following danger. Are you saying there's a portal of danger here? Portal of danger? Or do you know about our idea to use our portal later? Are you warning us in advance or of a location where one exists? Maybe, I don't know if you're- What do you guys think? I don't, I don't know, they're just like... Amusement park comes alive. What? Amusement park comes alive? That is so different than everything else that's been seen. Unless, I mean, if it's just being real sarcastic. Oh. This is a public park that people come to for amusement. If you, like, if you want to be like real sarcastic about it. This is like an amusement I mean, think about how many people are in the parking lot right now. It could also be a translation thing. That's true. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, we can mark it with blue tape. Yeah. And if you're feeling that same exact sensation later. No, if anything, I, I feel like that's a, it's a good thing that there's no more ribbon. Yeah. The child wants help. What? The child wants help. Help. The tenth uh -huh. more and then we'll bring out the new device. Yeah. Which is so bizarre that our two kilometer mark might be exactly where that guy turned around. Okay. You see us. You see us? We hear you. We, we do. We've seen you by the trees. Are you trying to be seen? Yeah, this is where it gets dicey. Yes, that's right. That's interesting. Wow, I actually remember this. You remember this? Yeah. Because I know coming up soon... This is where it gets really dead. It'll narrow out, and then that's where we started ribboning our way out. Mm. Robert. And something happened right here that made him turn around. Yeah. And if he found someone, I feel like he wouldn't have been so smiley but upon uh, leaving. You know, you're right. I've not been looking up. It's pretty dense. You get some pockets that open up. That was her. Where is she? We were all pointed in different directions. What were you guys right here. I was this direction as well. That was her. Oh yeah, this is getting really narrow now. No ribbons. So this would have been where he turned around at like absolute max. Definitely. Sure. There's no there's no doubt about that this would be this this is almost too far. Yeah. It said a pact. Oh a pact. Oh interesting. Like a binding ritual. A pact. Many deaths. Many deaths? Here. Yes. Pause one moment please. Just heard something. Where? What direction? Forward. I heard a phone. Hey, someone turned their K2 on an accident? You heard like a bang? Feedback major. Yeah, I love that back pain same time.
Oh, what is this? It's a... Yeah, it's a summon. Oh, the, so the loop is back to the left. And deeper is to the right. Whoa, this is two kilometers? If this is where the loop, you know, goes... Yeah. The, why would he go back? Yeah, he turned... Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, because this is... This is where... This is where you go deeper. Right here. Yeah. This takes you further in. This goes to the lake. Yeah, it's over an hour. Yeah, this is the direction where he goes over an hour that way, all the way to the lake. This, this is this. I remember this. You do remember it? Yeah, I remember that. Like now that we like one, I think we sped walk it when we came here because I actually remember doing like our entire. I think we're only in here for like five and a half hours. I think we I went from I think we went from like midnight to like right. five in the morning or something like that. No tools. I I remember this being the place where we were like. Thank you so much. I just remember this being the place where we were like, okay, once we go this way, our odds go up yeah. exponentially because we're no longer in the loop trail. Yeah. Maybe go in lesser travel a little bit, and that should be two k, okay. two kilometers. The children are listening. The children are listening. A lot of stuff on the children. Yeah. They're helping, they need help. Yeah, this is where your odds go up significantly. Dude, I think this is where our friend was headed. And he turned around before he even got to the fork. Yeah. I'm going to use this rock as our uh, place to set up here. We are friends. We're friends. I like this. Yeah, this one's going. Did we save somebody today? Are you alone or are you... what's alone? You want one of us to go alone? Do you feel alone? to the shadow. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. That means what I think it means. That's what you think it means. Yeah, what does that mean? What happens when you commit suicide? Oh, like give in to the darkness. The deepest darkness in you is, yeah. They didn't so. say that the, this is where you fall. This is all connecting to this place. Right? You feel alone, you're wandering, you succumb to your shadow. This is where you fall. That all makes complete sense. Do you want people to stay here with you? Oh no! Oh no! Here. So it does not 
Wow. Well, I didn't stop it. Didn't Bro, stop it literally just... It just did a 180. Like pushed it. Like... I'm gonna hold it yeah. up now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's too important. What? Your, Your screens, screens will, will join the chorus. Is that a sound? How does this thing just tip over? I know. Well, that was. And then just like, turned back on. It turned. Yeah. Yeah. It literally turned off and turned itself back on. Like something tried to break it, and then right. something else went. Nah. Are you here to reveal yourself? You smell like fear. A little bit. Yeah, that did scare us, by the way. Yeah. This is the biggest object I've ever seen pushed in front of me. Why were you trying to break this? What do you want from us? Are we talking to multiple beings? It feels like we're talking to multiple people. Or just one. Tell us that. Why are we trying to break this to my cloak? Can this do you feel watched? Do you feel watched? Yes. Yeah. That was the first thing I said when we walked in here. Yes. I felt like somebody was watching me. Is it you that's watching us? It's asking us questions now. It's not I know. Sure. That's literally what it is, yeah. Turning it back on us. Can this device pierce? through what you hide behind, like your cloak. That's why you're trying to destroy it. Oh. Your light dims. Sounds like a threat. Yeah, if you should push this off, the, off yeah. the rock. Yeah. Exactly. Which, again, I cloaked again. Protect. 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 Are you protecting the cloak? What? Oh, none, none shall mourn you. Are you threatening us? Is there something you're trying to protect here that you're threatening us? Silence. Screams the loudest. Silence screams the loudest. That's interesting. Oh. We're not here to disrespect again. No mean disrespect in any way. Shadows. Echoes of me. I don't know what to put together with that. I feel like we've been in this like forested area for a while, and this is the first time we're like we we don't have the shadows. We actually have a sky above us. It's been a while mm -hmm. since we've had that. The only, cloak is it's gone. only this area that we're getting this kind of energy. We kind of want to walk around, I and mean, we also we are in the dark That's area. Right. Unseen. I agree. I think we should walk around. But we don't want any negative energy. Okay, let's walk around with it. I want your soul. It sounds like these threats are coming from one, one entity. Hushed. Were you hushed? Were you silenced? 
or that entity is silencing everybody else. Spiral into madness. Feels like if you walk here long enough, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if we're walking, let's walk. I've waited. Oh, I like that. The easier to talk, the further in we go. <laughs> the mist hides faces. <laughs> the wind carries screams. Explain what that means. Warning again, I said that earlier. What is the warning about? It looks like the deeper we go, we're gonna go downhill. Careful, what'd you say? Oh, that's, that's right as you said that, that's pretty funny. Yeah. What'd you say? He just told Evan, like, pretty much careful, it's about to be downhill. Yeah, we're going downhill. Yeah, you said careful. <laughs> what? Look closer. See me. Uh, <laughs> I don't Where? like that at all, dog. We're here. Don't like Which that direction? At all. Down or to the... Trace my steps. Oh no. Do you see any ribbons or anything? Oh, uh, that's where we came from. <clears throat> like you. Huh? So footsteps? Is that what saying? Steps like you? Like us. I don't know how to or try. it has tape marks like that. Are we already going the right direction? Join me. I mean, that kind of looks like a trail. This one? But also, go a little bit if we go down. I'm close. There is no escape. This is so negative. Why are you so negative right now, fam? Why are you so negative right now? Hidden. Hidden. Lurking. Oh, 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 that word. I heard some lurking. I heard something here when you when you said that. They're watching too. Where should we go? What are we looking for? You will join the law. Please, please be careful. Be careful on down. those steps, please. Yeah, the steps get crazy. Yeah, please be careful on the steps. What are we looking for? Is your human form still here? <laughs> Farewell. Hey. Careful, please, please be careful. I'll show you darkness. It's getting more and more aggressively violent with threats as you go in deeper, man. Vanished. I like the deeper we go into the forest, or the deeper we go off into like the off kilter forest. Right. <laughs> Resonate. He agrees. The path is lost. <gasps> As we start coming back. Okay, let's go back to the path. That's crazy. That's wild. I don't like that. <laughs> As we all abandon it, I don't like the, the path. path is lost. I mean, he wants us to be on the path, right? We literally abandoned where yeah. we were going. The yeah, path is exactly. lost. Right as we do abandon it. What the hell? This is insane. <laughs> remember me. I'll remember you, fam. Remember you? What was your name? Chain. Chain? Remember me. Chain. 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 
ascend into torment. Your fear is delicious. You want to play with us. Yeah, exactly. You are feeding into our fear. I think he's just trying okay. to. Alright, man. Really awesome Alright, look. Why are you trying to scare us? <laughs> the forest whispers back. Is it the forest that's talking to us now? Not one specific entity? I feel like you just want to toy with us right now. You gotta show us something if you actually want to talk to us. We're getting deeper and deeper very, in this place. Very. Witness true terror. No. No, thank you. It has what are you trying to tell us already? You have been threatening us, feeding off our fear. We're here to just talk and learn your story, not here to mess or disrespect or harm in any way. Sounds like you're toying with our feelings right now. Wait. Okay. For what? I mean, we're in a wicked what? clearing. Oh, uh, now, yeah, this now we got to do a clearing. This is a clearing. Wait, there's like a slip path there. I mean, the three ways, right? It looks like there's a like beacon. It goes this way, it kind of looks like it goes that way. It goes this way. And it way. definitely goes, yeah. It goes, it goes to the right. That's for sure. You cannot hide. Not hiding. We are not hiding. Just want to talk. Why does this look completely different? Is it easier to talk to us if we go a certain direction? Do you want us to stay on the path? Or would you prefer that we left it? Share my curse. Share my curse. Share my curse. All this sounds like is that you want us to die here. So and I can't. Wander. Wander. It, it's, it's like your theory, Ginger. It's like what you were saying. It's like yeah. they, they want whatever you have for your life to be here with them. Do you want our energy here? Is that what you really want? I know you. I know you? What's Joker. my name? What, what, which name do you know? What do you know about us? <laughs> you won't leave alive. Oh. You just want us to be scared. Demonic. You just yeah. want us to be scared. Yeah. You just want to feed off of our fears. We're not scared. We're Why not here to fight. Them? We're not here to harm you in any way. <laughs> you fools. <laughs> Your fears. Your fears. My fears. There are two lights placed on this box. One points this direction, further up the normal path. The other points. I'm in the trees. Huh. Oh, points okay. this direction, off the path. If you can put a bit of energy. Wow, that one just flickered. Oh! You can put energy into the direction you want us to go. Oh my gosh. Wait. We will go that way. Come on. Wow. Can you fully make it light up? Leave it fully on. And we will go that direction. Oh my god. More. More. If you really want us to go deeper into the trees, prove it. We won't go that direction unless you keep it on. What in the fuck? The night is my, my domain. My domain. Leave it on. Five. Four. Oh my god. Three. Two. One. That's fucking crazy. That is wow, crazy. Wow, and he just stopped right as he stopped. Okay. That is crazy. So he wants to go this way. 
What? That is insane. Now it's just off. Yeah. What do you want us to do here? That was it. It turned it fully on. Five seconds. Push direction. <laughs> the forest is alive. Oh my, what? That's so said, clear. Right? The forest is alive. This forest is alive. That is so clear. I believe it. And this direction. Also. Finally echoes as if you guys finally understand what I've been trying to say. It's a smiling. That is clear. Oh, back on. That is clear. Boy, oh, both. Hold on. Evans just went on. That one too? Yes. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! Which way do you want us to go? We're not quite at 3K, but... That's when we're supposed to split up and go alone. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we're extremely close to where we're supposed to split up and go alone. Should we go further or should we do it here? We're not there yet. Okay. So that, even the light's telling us to go further. The branches reach for you. What does that mean? Who do you want in the forest? Say a name. Say anything with the letter of one of our names. Echo, letter with one of our names, E, Elton. Oh, and that's actually the like that's how oh, you say yeah. in military terms. Echo, yeah, totally echo. echo. Elton yeah. is echo. Mm -hmm. Like Elsa. I think it's saying it's wanting you to go alone. Who wants me alone here and the rest that way? Is that what it is? I mean, it, he literally asked to give an initial, it says Echo. Yeah. It's I mean, that's it. like, you can't be any more specific than yeah. heaven. Welcome to what? Welcome to your end. Oh, please be careful. Great. Heaven and I do it, we're both the Echoes. Please be careful. We're both the E names here. Yeah, please I mean. I don't like And you have the light, light, so I can hold this. this and you have the light. The three of you want to go that way? Can we go this way? For a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Can you go that way? Please be careful. All right. All right. Be careful, please. All right, Elton, be careful. I'll, I'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> Bro, I literally just said fear is the only path. <laughs> this way. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of an opening a little. Uh... What? It's blocked off. What does it say? Says, do not enter. Oh my god, I bet you this means that they found someone here. Preference. I wonder why you're not supposed to enter there. That's kind of eerie when we're at this place. This looks like it would be something that they would put up like police tape, like we found, like a crime scene. Yeah, exactly. We found exactly. a body. Because when we came this last time, we got and a And look at this path too. Like this is definitely a, a fork in the road that somebody oh, yeah. would take if they were to do that. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. We can hear you loud and clear. You are now with the two that are the hardest to put fear into. What do you hope to accomplish by making us go deeper? and their lives here is hanging or overdoses. Really? Yeah, which is so morbid to say, but it makes me want to look like in these little pits down here. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm watching.
Can you see us no matter where we are in the forest? The darkness feeds me. The darkness feeds you. Uh, I feel like my emotions have done a complete 180 in the past hour. Yeah. I said that before, I think. I think I said I'm closer than you think. Something. Beneath the floor, I'm closer than you think. I'm watching you. Aren't there caves? There's caves. And the entire area has this like really absurd magnetic field. Your cries are music to me. I'm closer than you think. Like this is it. Are you this forest? Eyes gleam in darkness. Eyes gleam in darkness. Just like nothing but morbid statements. Here's a cave. Stop it. Oh, I don't like that. Up down there? Yeah. See it? Yeah. Eternal watch. Eternal, every, it's like, it's on loop. It's on repeat. Eternal watch, I'm watching you, my feast, fear feeds me. It's just a cycle of the same statements, just in different ways. What's that theory of like- Your end, my beginning. Your end, and my beginning. Stone the, tape theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so stone tape theory is like, memories get locked into material and like they repeat themselves you know it's a yeah it's a tape that just replays on loop but it's ingrained into stone clear front's clear yeah front's clear if we want to keep going or is this yeah i don't know is this just like Fish. listen your heart slows what are you hearing? I can pause this. It's like a squeal. There was about three or four of them and it was just like a ree, ree, but just like a, a very faint, tiny, high-pitched squeal. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't for me. I'm at a human height. Fuck. Uh, yeah. The darkness deepens with me. The darkness deepens with me. Dude, everything is just not conversational on repeat. Give us a reason to go deeper. Kneel in defeat. Kneel in defeat. No. You have not defeated us. Your scare tactics don't work with us. Can you say anything? Can you make this device go off if you're here? I'm holding a device you can put your energy into. I've been waiting. Uh, reverse spidey sense is saying bad news bear that way. I'd say go with your spidey sense. But I will not go that way. It's saying just on the other side of those trees is human. We're going to turn off this device. You can't actually communicate with us instead of just threats. Erased. Communication would be erased between us if you turn it off? Maybe. Is that what you're threatening? If I turn this off, You will have no more reason to communicate with us. Ah, uh, there's a the pain again. 
I've claimed this path. This is the slowest I've ever walked in my entire life. There's a broken branch right here, like pretty broken. Like fresh. It looks freshly broken. We need you to give us an actual answer. It's the only way that we know that we're actually talking to each other. Right now it just feels like we are just hearing. It just feels like we are hearing, almost intercepting your energy. Face your darkest nightmares. This truly feels like this device is picking up on your energy and converting it over to words and phrases. Can you say something that is specific to myself or Evan? Anything that would make sense to us? can't leave. We can leave. It's not specific to us. Give you one more chance. That's what it feels like, right? Like it's not actually talking to us. It's just emitting messages that it's collecting. Like it's intercepting these messages. You've wandered too far. You wandered too far? Yeah. I'm not hearing anything on this. But I think we're kind of, we kind of got to the end. We're not getting much further, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Well, look at this. It like completely widens out right here. <sighs> completely widens out right here, man. It almost becomes like a different forest. All the ground vegetation is gone. Yeah. yeah look, look I mean, this path. is a perfect path. Yeah, this is a very clear. Let's head back in. We'll turn this off when we get up to the exit. Give it a final chance, I guess. Should we start heading back? Should we head back? Not seeing anything really. We got to a point where it said, do not go past this. It's like, and, do not enter. And it had a rope that was yellow and black, kind of like caution tape. We don't know why, I mean, we didn't find anything, but we didn't know why it was marked like that. We're probably thinking that somebody did do something bad and uh, it was probably something recent. It was, uh, it was also there when we were here. Really? Yeah. yeah, I remember it was the exact same thing. We ran into the tape and that's when we were like, oh yeah, this is where we find someone. Is it, mm -hmm. is it like, is it normal for you? Are you just like, that I mean, spot? That could possibly be like the main spot. Yeah. That's um, what I it's very possible they do it at like night, that they yeah. do that at night and then the day they come and check it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it looks like caution tape, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. It's, a, it's a rope though. Yeah, but it's yeah. like a rope and there's a sign on it, like yes. an actual hanging sign yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, do not, I, do I not remember try. that. It's So that's probably exactly, yeah. The other thing we're theorizing with this is that it's like straight up pulling a message from this place. Mm. Like this isn't a specific person. I mean, it's you can see it's just still. It's just yeah. from the forest. Like everything it's giving is like my presence. I'm watching you. Yeah. Like join, like join the path. Follow the path. Go deeper. The trees are watching you. You will join us. I consume you. It's pretty wild how much it says the forest. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, like why would it why would it say that? And or the trees or the path right. or like Yeah. Exactly. Forgotten. Like you know like right. everything it's giving is kind of like almost as if like and we kept asking like prove that you're speaking to us. Yeah. And we're not yeah. just like intercepting your communication, your message, your emotion like I agree. That's what it feels like. It just feels like like closer than you think, like yeah. beneath the ground and everything it was saying, it just feels like it's pulling. Yeah. Like this is what's communicating. But that ties in directly with the theory that like the forest calls people here. Yeah. And it even like people that are coming here that are indecisive. Yeah. Get 
forced into doing it. It's like almost like are we hearing the things that, that they exactly heard. like are we literally hearing the forest communicating and this is just what it does all the time. But normally it's the people that already have that negative thought in their head that can hear it. Mm -hmm. But we happen to have a device that can also, hear, you know, like examine it. Yeah. Do we just, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, are we literally yeah. intercepting mm -hmm. these messages right now? Because it's still just no escape. Yeah. Everything it's getting is just. That's the people who walk in here probably think there's no escape. I'm not going to leave. They're watching me. The forest is the last thing we'll see. Or it's Bloody the forest getting their head where you're like, you're like, I don't know if I should do it. Like my life sucks it's not and it's like no it's escape crazy. energy you can't escape it like there's you know what i mean it's like I energy dude yeah. like every single it's message this thing is pushing through energy. even alone if you think about the very first one alone mm -hmm. like you're alone in life uh -huh. one of the first things wandering. Where, yeah you're wandering through life you're that alone was in crazy life. yes mm -hmm. like everything is just like it's all negative <laughs> Darkness. okay so uh, ask, ask a question that would that would warrant an answer that, you know what I mean, specifically answer. I like, I like Corbin's questions. Very direct, you know, like, say one of our names or, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, do you want us to, do you want to see us alone? You shouldn't have come. You shouldn't have come? Shouldn't have come. Well, we're here now, we're trying to learn. So can you tell us your name? Can we start there? actually communicate. Oh, I should just say, I am the forest. Yeah. <laughs> the ground thirsts for you. <laughs> As you're in a squat. Oh my God. That's funny. The same thing. The ground, th like we want yeah. your body, we need you. I, I, I think your theories is right. Are you just messing with us now? Trying to scare us? I don't even think it knows we're here. Mm. Yeah. I don't think it has any idea we're here. It's I think this energy. is just what it is. This is what it's just constantly it's the, sending out. It's yeah, the energy. When you're here, this is yeah. just the energy of the forest. The threat, the negative energy, just it feeds into the negative thoughts. Yeah. Negative feelings. So if you come in here with the negative <clears throat> thoughts and feelings, what did I say? In the walls. Yeah. If you come in with the negative thoughts and feelings, it'll just keep feeding more into it and it just consumes you and takes you. Yeah. Four. Yeah, it's taunting. Yeah. Why are you trouble? Are you trouble or troubled? So I think it's why do you, why do you, why do you trouble again? Why are like, you here? Oh, it's like consoling it. Uh, it's consoling someone who's here. Like, why do you trouble? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, baiting it in, like, come yeah. listen to me. Like, wh why do you trouble? Like, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm nice here person. and then you're just like walking it's the through. It's the first nice thing that I've heard it would, like, it would ever say. <laughs> yeah. But if it's, if it's a manipulative negative. force, yeah. if it's or trying to lure really you convinced. in deeper. Multiple, multiple things, too. It could be, it could be different. Mm -hmm. And then it fears me. The moon fears me. Okay. Yeah. No, I think your theory is absolutely right. It's, it's just the energy of this force is, it consumes yeah. the people, you know? I just, I feel the energy being ripped out of us. I, I, I literally, yes. If, if we're all agreeing that this box, this device, has no awareness of us, something did that turned the flashlights on. Yeah. Something, like, mm. was listening to us and was able to, like, actually communicate with us. We thought it was the same thing, but it can't be. Mm. Yeah. It gives them yes so, or no questions, too. And then let's just set up here and see if we can get anything between some of the devices we haven't used yet. Okay. It's 3.25 in the morning. Yeah. If we get something in the next half hour, we can stay here. Great. And then that we just do that until it's time to leave, and then we would start. Yeah, every once in a while, just blah, 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 blah. I've been watching this thing, by the way. It's still just saying the same things. I've just been seeing so it. All the messages is popping up. It's still just the same stuff every yeah. time. Mm. It's, it could just not be an intellectual thing. Okay, okay. let's set up the light tools. So, yeah, I would say <laughs> I'll rig up the camera. We walked that whole area. I mean, there was nothing. No, no one. Yeah, that makes sense. Earlier, I believe we were speaking to someone he wanted us to go this direction into the forest. And I apologize because we might have mistaken you for someone or something else. That ball right there. 
you're still here, and you're the same person as before, can you turn on one of the flashlights again? Either one. That way we know you're the same person from earlier. Same being or entity. Seven, can you just kill your light? Mm -hmm. Can you kill your light too? Yeah. Can you see that, Evan? Kinda, yeah. I hope you didn't feel like we disrespected you for mistaking you for someone else. Now you don't want to talk to us. Last time you lit up the flashlight because you were telling us what direction to go. Can you light up the flashlight now just to tell us you're here? We are oh, past. One just flickered behind you. What? Where? One light behind you. Mm. Oh, right there. Yeah, there it is again. Are you standing right behind me? And that is the direction that it told us to go. Yeah. It is past 3 a.m., which we know is the devil's hour. Sir? Someone just freaking just touched my foot. Why do you think I kicked it? It's past 3 a.m. It's the devil's hour. Are there any demonic spirits with us? Are there any spirits with us that saw the ritual of us using the ribbon? May I kindly ask that if you can hear our voices or if you can see us, even feel our energy, our presence, could you join us here? Even for a few minutes, a few seconds. Oh, again, mm -hmm. that one flickered. Same one, right? Yep. And stay longer if you'd like. We truly would love to know why you are here. That just got brighter. This whole thing. It did. Oh my God, it did. Wow. Whoa, the whole laser grid. It, the, the entire laser grid was just lit up. Are you gonna show yourself? Well, I didn't even know it could do that. Whoa. That is, it looks like a, a sky full of stars. I thought it was just one seven. I also thought it was just once. It just like doubled its own power. Did you do that? Use one of our devices to tell us. I just saw something cut across the laser grid. Thank you for doing that. Wow. Oh, Pay attention, no, because it feels like you're going to show us where you are, who you are. No, fine, like as we've gotten to the deeper part, yeah, hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. oh and I asked about how wow. your stomach is. Heaven. <laughs> as we've gotten yeah, to the that. deeper part of the forest, I felt like fine. I had like a small moment here and there, but nothing like earlier. Wow. Yeah, and all of a sudden, so, way to remind them. So you are here. You're right here with us. Is it Elton? Do you guys like Elton? Is there something about Elton that attracts you guys? Let's ask around a question, son. Three, two, one. I believe that we are able to hear the evil energy oh. of this forest. But I also believe there is someone here that isn't. You are the one we'd love to be able to speak to. So could you please 
Tell us who you are. Are you the same from earlier, the one that we met at the entrance, the one that we met at the bench, the one that we met all the way up to the sun? Have you been following us? Is there a spirit here that brings people in so that they will come to kill themselves at this forest? Something is messing with the uh, light, see? Are you a spirit from the, the dark area where people are not allowed to go? Is there something over there that we should go explore a little more? Will you show yourself to us tonight? Yeah, only like two, three feet. But it's high. messing with the light. It's yeah, messing with the, the fractions. Yeah. yeah, like right there. I'm watching him flicker right now. Yeah, it's, it's been in the bottom right side for me that I've seen happen a lot. Mm -hmm. Listening party. Here we go. I believe that we are able to hear the evil energy of this forest, but I also believe there is someone here. That's the feedback that I was hearing before. That's the same feedback. Capo. Oh, oh. So it's you. Wow. You are here. Consistent. Done. Are you a spirit from the, the dark area where people are not allowed to go? Is there something over there? Oh. Can you go explore a little more? Will you show yourself to us tonight? Consistently on red. Whoa. Are they standing right here, right, right in front of us? I've done a thousand or more recordings on this. Yeah. I've never heard I that we're able to hear interference. The right. Energy. It's the same interference that I'm hearing. Really? In the yes, with, my, with the uh, dip. Answer that question too. From the, the dark area where people are not allowed to go, is there something over there that we should go explore a little more? Will you show yourself to us tonight? There's a lot in there. There is a lot. There's a lot. Okay, yeah. scientifically, you've heard it, mm -hmm. and that's just a regular road shotgun mic on a camera. Yep. You've heard it mm -hmm. through a parabolic mic, which is like yep. hearing just amplified 10 times over, directional. 
audio device, enhanced audio device. Yep. This only records audible when it hears something that we hear or it catches. Yeah, something we can't hear. Confirm me. Please so what you're hearing me. and what you're hearing and what we're hearing, you've been hearing mm -hmm. actual paranormal energy. Oh my God. Confirming. You've been you've both been hearing like actual paranormal spirit oh my God. energy interference this entire on? time. Like confirming. Because now we have it on Could this. Uh -huh. Which only captures that when we're not the ones speaking. Yeah. But it also kind of sounds like it's like and then yeah. you hear like a couple things go through. Yeah, then yeah. you kinda hear a word at the end. Which kind of feels like exactly what that's been doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. Because that thing is kind of just like fielding energy and then every once in a while it comes yeah. through but we're actually getting what the is right mm -hmm. hmm. so it's as if like the forest is constantly oh my god emitting this energy yeah all the time yeah. sounds like it and you've been hearing what it's been saying mm -hmm. but for some reason this is the only thing that can actually convert it or we also have it here yeah exactly. so watch this I know, but watch this actually also say like the forest guides you or darkness will consume. Like watch it, watch that be like exactly what that said. Like something cryptid. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you, we have to take a look at it, but that's actually, no, I, I couldn't imagine. That'd be insane. Because you were asking if it's the same thing that's been following us. Right. From the start. And what if by you praying and reversing oh, God. the guy that you pissed going. everyone off. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? They're really gonna because um, yeah. this was like, come on with me. It was their You're plan. You're going to have a great time. Their like, right? Was... The darkness consumes you. Yeah, join me. Come into the abyss. And then you flip the switch on them. And you ask, is this the same thing that's been following us since that guy? I see what you're saying. And yeah. that's also since when we yeah. started getting like the darker things. Right? Because we all felt fine. Until. And we didn't really use any tools until we got to over there. Right? right? Yeah. So between the bench and between the first time we opened that, we actually didn't use anything. Right. But then that's when you started feeling stomach pains. and The so baby, when that happened, yeah, great thing. Absolutely. Yeah. But not for but the now, forest. But now, you have to deal with those consequences. Not for the forest. The forest wanted it. But maybe those are directed at <laughs> us. It's possible. It's not saying anything now. Let's ask around the questions in that direction. Yeah. Like, are you mad at us? Are you actually threatening yeah. us? Like, can you repeat something you said earlier? Yeah. We'll know mm -hmm. if it's the same. Three, two, one. Is the entity that is this forest, whatever power resides over this area, are you angered with us? Are you angered with this person right here for what happened earlier? Did I piss you off because you didn't get what you wanted? Is that message, everything that's been said in that box, coming from you? The threats, the negative energy, everything. Was that all coming from you? Are you mad that Jerry swayed the opinion of somebody who might have done something severe today were you counting on that that man coming back here and joining you were you counting on having his energy to join you in the forest and not have him leave did we change your fate for destiny can you actually harm us or can you only make threats ending let's see what we've got here folks Somebody who might have done something severe today? 
are you trying on that? Oh, something, that something. Was that all coming from you? Are you mad that Jerry swayed the opinion of somebody who might have done something severe today? Are you trying Maybe. on that? Maybe. I think it's something like that. all coming from you? Are you mad that Jerry swayed the opinion of somebody who might have done something severe today? Are you exactly. On that, that man I think, yeah, either maybe or exactly is definitely. Are you counting on having his energy to join you in the forest and not having him leave? Did we change your fate or destiny? Can you actually harm us or can you only make threats? Wow. Isn't that crazy that she turns in the recordings? Yeah. That's, that's so I mean, crazy. that was like so clean. No feedback. Yeah. What do you think? Exactly, or maybe. Yeah. One or the other. One or the other. Yeah. One, one or the other. Same difference in the end. Jeez. That is such... I, that instrument is so crazy to me. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, we like got a little bit here, and then that's kind of it. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, no. Nothing, to, nothing like what these are providing. We're getting pieces to the jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. That's I'm what's happening. Right we're getting a little piece there, and a yeah. little piece here, and we got the piece, and like now we're understanding... We're finding our corner pieces. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like we found the other uh, corner. Of like you've got it. You've got it. You've got it. You've yeah. got it. We've got all four corners now of like kind of what's happening here. But now it's to figure out what's the rest of the. What are the other nine hundred ninety six pieces? Yeah, probably nothing's either. gone red. Like you know what like, I mean? Like, yeah. like what was, yeah, we exactly. understand Why the parameters, which is the, the parameters are exactly what everyone says about this yeah. place. Is yeah. that? The force itself has now become its own entity and it lures Ooh. people in and it speaks to them and it, it kind of drives them deeper. Like, that's everything we've heard about it. Yep. Mm. But we haven't gotten a name, we haven't gotten... But there's also something anything. more intelligent here because how else did we get to know sit and talk and stay yeah. at the bed? I mean, that was something like, something completely altered fate. Yeah, I agree. Feels like that was a different one. That's what I'm saying. There's two different yeah, things, there's a, so... There's a lot of spirits here, though. Like, we had to think about how many... Like, in one year, it was 100, and that was, like, what, 200? 2003? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You know? Thousands, yeah, the flashlight never went off once. I've been looking at it the whole time. Yeah. I've even been peeping at the, the box, because, again, it's still on mute, and it's still saying just the same. No cap things. balls, either. The, the, the tree is whisper secrets. That's what it just said right now. Native Nancy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to so, go to... Um, I say let's pack this up. Let's okay. go to where the chain is. Mm -hmm. Just S's method. I think that one's mine. Um, just S's method. Phasma box. Okay. Right okay. over there. Do it for a little bit. See if we can get something. Yep. And prepare for tomorrow because that's where we'll end up starting tomorrow. Let's do it. So I think as of tomorrow, we officially start like off the path. Ah. Uh, that looks familiar. I remember, yep. So it is the same place. Yep, this is, yeah. Really? Yeah. So it's been the same since you got it. This yeah. is where you start using ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. No what? way. What? What? It knows. It said it was from here. It said it was from the dark place. That's crazy. Huh. With the at most extreme honesty I could ever give, I picked one kilometer because it was just seemed like right, and then I, it yeah. made me laugh when I realized it was 0. .66 miles. Yeah. The fact that three kilometers is basically right inside there. Yeah. And like 1,000%, like this is. Yeah. This is the area. The spot. Yes. Yeah. The spot. This is like absolutely the area because that goes to the lake. Yeah. Exactly. And then this becomes the path of, this what is where on? you use ribbon. I, I remember you all know. this now. I remember this being the point where we're like, once we go past here, like, yeah. you know, like this can change you. This can like, I remember Jay saying everything that he did. And then, yeah, you pick this where the timestamp was. Huh? For the body? The timestamp would have been, yes, it would have been back there. Wow. It would have been probably a couple hundred feet back there. Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's absolutely what this is. And that was like not intentional. You know what I mean? Like yeah, exactly. the forest is the forest to me. Right. But yeah, this is this is the known area. It was going yeah. off just now. Because you're you're furthest from all the paths here too. Yeah. Because exactly. the lake yeah. is probably forty five minutes that way. The parking lot's probably forty five minutes that way. Yeah. So this is yeah. Let's do it. Holy cow. Okay. You guys have already been in here? Yeah, yeah. we went all the way we went deep. Really? Yeah, we went yeah. pretty deep. We went far. But when we went deep, nothing went off. Maybe it will now. Okay, let's go into like maybe there. Okay. Or I don't know. Yeah, I how just closer didn't... we to the 3K. 
I mean, pretty damn close. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's just go into there and then set up in there and S's method. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. It is so crazy to be like cold red. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder if it's taking us to like a, a location. Or does it want it to, to stop right here for some reason? Wow, my brain is just recoiling all of these memories. This exact opening, I remember. Just on the other side of this is where we like played some game that Brennan found from Japanese culture. Wow. Is that where we stopped? Is it really? Yeah. We went a little deeper. Just right there? We're just right there now. Yeah. Just right there. Yeah. Yeah, I wish oh, I didn't. Look how this branch around the tree. Hey, there's oh, some yeah. crazy branches like that around this forest. Okay. Who should do SDs? Uh, I'm okay with anyone, literally anyone that you want. I'll do it. Okay. Cool. Do it. You already have the headphones. You can, uh, yeah. Corbin's yeah. ready. Sit wherever you want. That's convenient. You want to just sit right there? Not well. What happens? He's starting. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Did you tell us your name? Through. Billy. 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 You said what's your name? Yeah. Billy. Okay, Billy. Do it. Where are you from, Billy? Stop. What? Stop and that stop. Is there more than one of you here? Don't do it. Like it sounds like someone literally just tried to stop them from talking to us. It was like do Billy, it. and then Billy showed himself and stopped. Don't do it, don't huh? do Okay. It's like they're talking to each other. We want to communicate with you. Can we communicate with you tonight? Bounce. No. How long have you been here? Five months. No way. No way. Billy? Billy, five months. Is it Billy? Is this still Billy? What the f Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? What happened? Do you not remember? Um so fast. It's like a bullet. <laughs> You don't remember what happened. Do you remember walking into this forest five months ago? Walking in the... Shut the... Dude. Shut up. You just remember walking in? It's just now over. What do you mean? So no. So no? So no, you don't remember walking in. Take over. You got someone took over you. 
Did you arrive here unhappy? Help me. You wanted help? Were you seeking help when you came here? Five months ago. What's your last memory? It does not. It sounds like someone else is speaking for that. Hmm. Billy, did you have a family? Do you know where you are now? Are you with the trees? Are you beneath them? Above them? Or nowhere? So much fun. Where you are now is so much fun. Maybe they're in a happier place. Mm. But they're Run. here. Run. From what? They're, he they're here. I guess here could be a happier place. Maybe they were stuck in the city and hated it. This and, they stuff. and now they're still Run from yeah, this here. stuff. It's warning us to get out. It doesn't happen to us. I want to ask again, is there a dark Whoa. force here? Or what? Or what? I, I don't, I don't know. I'll stop letting you take my energy. We'll reverse the ritual. We'll remove it all from you. Let me think hard. Okay. Wow. So responsible. You want to tell us who you are now? what you are now? No. We think hard. No. After just two minutes of waiting. Why are you refusing to answer Elton's question? Why don't you want us to know? Can we help you? Talk to me. We're here. Here to talk. No one. I'm here to talk to you. We're here to talk to you. We're here for you. Do you feel lonely? One. I don't want that again. Are you in pain? You have to listen to it. I like the squeal, whistle, I, I keep hearing. It's inside. Zero to hundred is zero so fast. I have to listen to it inside. Listen like, to what? Pain is Or Or no, just inside. Like, oh, spidey sense. Listen yeah, to your like gut. listen to your instincts. Yeah. Oh, what are we speaking to? That we're we speaking to like a person, like the Billy five months ago. Or are we like? Sometimes it feels like it, but then sometimes it feels like it's taunting again. Right. It's almost like it's two. Like multiple. Yeah. Like someone's almost suppressing Billy. <laughs> someone's going the same line. Across the. Across the what? If you're speaking to Billy, can you say Billy? If you're speaking to something more superior, can you say ancient? You want to try one last name? Hmm? Is you the one maybe that pissed him off? You put the headphones on. Okay. Okay. Tap him out. Person that is now listening to you, who's communicating on your behalf, 
is the same person that prayed for safety the innocent soul, the human, the person that was walking around tonight. And we believe that his prayers, his positive thoughts, maybe change the course of what happened tonight. Does that infuriate you? Nothing. He said friend as we walked away. It sounds like he is not your friend. Is that true? Yes, sir. What? That's nice. Don't you? Yeah. Together. He's not your friend. Yeah, together. Together. Is that what you do? You bring in people into here and you pray on them? <sighs> Solidly it, and it just keeps going to red. Maxed out. Are you talking through him or are you right here with us? That's me. That's me. <gasps> Stop. So you're doing both, okay. Oh. This is you, but what are you? Do you have a name? I'm watching my my battery is just getting right now. Oh yeah. My human battery is just you know oh, since Oh my god. Why are you refusing to tell us what you are? Why are you so unwilling to tell us what you are? Unless you actually don't know what you are. Yeah. The moth doesn't know it's a moth. It is just a thing. It's just a moth. That's, that's exactly what it is. It doesn't know what it is. It's just, it is. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it wasn't a uh, it person. Agent. It yeah. could be a collection of things. It started by saying friends and together. So it could be a group of things that don't. don't want to. Oh no, okay, so you're just saying you don't want to. Mm. I was trying to think it's like a volcano. Like a volcano doesn't know it's yeah. a volcano, yet it's incredibly oh, powerful. Out of it. What's your name? Do you want something out of it if you tell us what you are? Do you want to trade? You give us your truthful identity, what you believe you are, what do you want in return? Whoa. I don't know that dance move. <laughs> if he has no hap Happened to you. Happened Wants to know what happened to you. What happened to you? In trade. I offered to trade and went, whoa. Happened oh. to you. Maybe it was what? Happened That's to you. actually what they want to know. Maybe it wants to know what happened last time you were here. Huh. The last time we were here, I think we came to just about this point in which we believe we could see someone in the distance. So we decided that was enough and turned around and left. To this day, we're not sure if that was someone or not. That's what happened. Is that what you wanted in return? She 
should already know that though. Can you tell if that was a person or not? You're not getting anything. No. Anymore. And it's also like 4.45 in the morning. Yeah. So I think we're beyond that peak of yeah, I agree. activities. Activity. Yeah, look at our devils are. You can actually see the sky brightening. Oh yes. A little bit. Yeah, you can actually see the sky brightening up. Oh yeah. All right, if he doesn't answer anything in the next. Eternally. 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 That's exactly what our box is getting. <laughs> Eternally doomed. It was just like that. We're going to leave. We will be back tomorrow. I guess today. Any final message? Another warning, perhaps? So very interesting. Hmm. There was so much when you had that. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, mine was very, like mine was so little too. Like we have corner pieces to a puzzle. Yeah. Right now. We have like four corner pieces and like ten middle pieces. And we know what the picture can look like. Don't you want it? Anticipation. Hold. 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 Don't you want it? Anticipation. It's hold. teasing us now. It said hold. Does that mean it wants us to hold until we're back? I think it's holding until we're back. Yeah. 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 Don't you want anticipation? It, I mean, it's heard me like beg for the last like two and a half hours. Yeah. Tell me what you are. But it knows we're coming back, so it says. It does. Yeah. Wait and see if you want to find out. Straight up telling us like to come back. Yeah. To exactly. come back tomorrow, and then maybe oh it'll give us the real answers. It was dead. Yeah. Not dead silence. It was just. It was yeah. Silent I mean, you for a long silent. time. It like, felt like a few minutes. Mm. You couldn't hear nothing. Yeah. Well. It's getting light out, so. Okay, I said let's grab, grab all the gear, make sure we have everything. We got a decent walk out. Oh, yeah, that was quick. We will, uh, yeah, we'll walk out and then okay. we'll wrap up when we get to the van. But yeah, let's just make cool. sure we have everything. I can take the big boom box. Okay. Yeah. Just as a reminder, this will be our starting point tomorrow. I guess today. So this is like the first place we're coming to when we come back is here with the sleeping bags and a few other pieces of gear we didn't bring tonight. Oh yeah, the sun is fully coming out right now, look at that. Birds are waking up. Yep. Oh my god. The birds are waking up in here. Good job. 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 I feel like things slowed down a little bit at the end of the night, but brain. Yeah. No, no, brain, no. Probably. Uh, no comprende. Brain. Gary's what if it's the time. opposite? I, I forgot uh, the lady's name, but she stops when the sun goes down. What if the moment we start to get blue hour, it stops oh. in there? Does she know? The opposite. Yeah, that would make That's sense. True. Yeah, would, yeah. That's actually yeah. True. as soon as the sun rises, it starts to go away. Yeah. So we're saying it start a little bit earlier tomorrow. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is now night two for us at Akigahara Forest, otherwise known as S Forest. If you haven't seen our night one episodes, we really highly recommend that you watch it because everything that's happening tonight is a continuation of the investigation that we had. The eight 
rough hours that we had here of just non-stop activity beyond non -stop. the paranormal evidence, thermal images, SLS activity, the Panasonic recording, the real human encounter we had last night. Too many things coincided. It, it, that it coincided with the human encounter too. Mm -hmm. it's, wow. And even that box, which was specifically built for this trip for Japan, was just giving us non-stop demonic answers. Right. And, and now I want to bring it back out tonight and see if it's a continuation and try and push a little bit harder for answers. We feel as though last night we just got the corner pieces and some edge pieces to this jigsaw puzzle that is this forest. We made it three kilometers in last night and it actually led us, strangely, <laughs> just behind the line in which you are not supposed to visit on the common trail. That is exactly where we have to walk to right off the bat. That is also where we will be bringing this out, which is a 400 year old Japanese summoning ritual. Because I think we need to actually show what we're <laughs> dealing with here. <laughs> Evan has all of our sleeping bags on him right now. <laughs> Can you show everything I have on me? Yeah. yeah, I have the helmet, all the poles, <laughs> and the other fun fact is we're all sleeping here tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm coming back tomorrow by myself. Yeah. I'm gonna drop you all off at the train station tomorrow, I'm and I'm excited. coming back tomorrow as well. Now. <laughs> Should we head in? Yeah. yeah. Again, if you haven't watched last night's videos from our investigation here, please watch those first. I think it'll help explain a lot of things, and you'll see that we really care about the investigation that's being done here tonight. You know when you like someone's gonna pull a prank on you, just everything just feels a little too quiet. Oh no! You know, I just like it, it gives me that feeling right now. But there's no one here yeah, tonight. Yeah, there's not a single Except car here. For us. Portal. It's portal. Just, you even said this thing doesn't seed along. along. Trade. Trade. It's going crazy right now. <laughs> we haven't even walked in yet. All right. I so love too that we're basically all using new tools that we didn't yeah. use last night. This yeah. is the only one on repeat right now. Hello again. Kigahara Forest. First time ovulus has ever been used in the forest. Let's see what happens. And it started with portal. The portal of all words. Products. 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 Dollar. Products. Rose. Line. Attack. Attack. That was so rapid. It's coming in like bursts. So last night, we did, we went from here we are red dot, right? Yeah. So I think we went, that's the split. Yes, you're right. And then that's, and then the, that's, then that's, the, the, that's the trail. That's where we went down. That's the trail that. So we're going further into that where it stops. Yeah, so last night we made it to about here and I think we're gonna end up somewhere. Oh my God. Up there tonight. We're gonna end up on a letter? I think we're gonna end up pretty far away. Uh, konnichiwa, ohayo kazaimasu. My name is Corbin. I came here last night and you guys gave us a lot of communication and we're just here to learn more about you and hopefully find out why you came here. Hi, Okazaimas. My name is Jerry. I was also here last night. Thank you guys so much for having us and we're here back today to chat with you more, to learn more about you, to let you know that we're here to actually learn about you, not just a, a one-time thing. I want you to know that we're here with the utmost respect, not here to disrespect in any way, and hopefully get to connect with you again. Hello, my name is Ginger. I was also here last night for the first time. We learned a lot from you. We still have a lot of questions all with respect. Hoping to speak to some of you again, or to speak to somebody new tonight. Hi again. This is now my third time here, across seven years. And we are really hoping to better understand this location, to see what it is that does call to so many people to come here. See if maybe there's a way you can give us an answer as to why. And with the highest hope, maybe we can figure out how to get it to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. if we cute. know what it is, then maybe there's something you can like do. True. Like yeah. if you know what it is, maybe there's a counteractive. Or a medicine. 
like how maybe there's something you could leave at the sign mm. you know like hey take this salt with you i'm not sure but we're here willing speak to listen communicate with communicate it through us whatever it is that's in here i personally do not care if you are good or evil i do if you exist I would love to be able to hear you and spread your message, whatever it may be. Friendly. Friendly? I got friendly. Buddha. Whoa. Friendly Buddha? What are the no. odds? That's what? okay. Wait. We're gonna we're gonna go way we're gonna go way off kilter here. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Way off kilter here, because this is something that happened today. Two hours. This is something no, Three. this is something happened at the gas station yeah. like six hours ago. And then on the drive here I made a joke about this. I've never seen Buddha on the Ovilus. Whoa. I'm gonna what? insert a video. We're gonna blur it. <laughs> We're gonna blur the end of it. But I rubbed a Buddha statue today. So I was told that it's respectful and for good luck to rub Buddha's belly. And you're supposed to do them if you see all of them. Rub all of them. And then uh And yeah. I literally made a joke about how by rubbing that Buddha statue, I'm gonna like reverse all of our luck. <laughs> that's two. wild. You, you rubbed there two. There was two Buddha bellies that you rubbed. Two, yeah, that's, it's a stretch, that's but that's insane. really, really weird. Yeah, that's insane. I've never heard Buddha not, ever. Yeah, that, not on that thing, no. And ob anyone who knows the Ovilus, this thing was built way before like cell service. Like there is nothing in an Ovilus that has any form of connection or GPS or anything. Jesus. Wow. That's bizarre, which does make me remember. What? We opened the ritual last night. Yes. It hasn't been closed. Mm. Oh, we, we didn't, didn't close, close it. it. No, because we're not supposed to close it until we leave Japan. Oh, shit. You can only do it once a year. So we opened it. And to keep that connection built, that's it. Once we close it, it would, it would shut it down for tonight too. Which, yeah. But in that ritual, it says it'll stay with you. Mm. So, <laughs> so it was with us the whole time. Right on cue. Yeah, right it on. was that's with us the entire oh time. Oh my God. Right on cue on the K2. Oh my God. So it's still with us now. Right, that's, I, I'm not in? trying to be like make a stretch of this. No, it's not, that's not <laughs> even close that's to being a stretch. Buddha? If you remember us from last night, we believe there was an entity or a few that were following us through the forest. If you show yourself, can you please do the signal we talked about last night? Question harmonic. I don't like how it went comfortable I feel in here now. Like last night was just a pit in your stomach. Yeah. That's, but that's exactly what I'm saying. I think I think only because we know this area. I think once I we know. get to the 3K though. But, but that's what I don't like. What'd you hear? Oh my God. He keeps hearing it. It was like a growl. Nobody heard that one? Yeah. That's, but that's anxiety. exactly what I'm saying. I think I think only because we know this area. I think once I we know. get to the 3K though. But it's like over here. I, I just, if I keep hearing it, that's gonna be weird. But like I was saying, Elton, it is like too, it's almost too quiet. Yeah. So the fact that we I feel like we all feel more comfortable in here, yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, yeah. Like if that makes us more open, right? Because yeah. we're more willing, we're more comfortable, it knows us. It's interesting, there's another path right there I didn't even see last night. Yeah, there's a whole other path. First sign. Oh yeah, that's our own tape. Yep. Corner. Modern. We just passed the corner. Corner as in a fork the, in the road. We started to. It's a new corner. Corner and modern. Going this way, we're gonna go towards the road. Yeah. Let me let me see. Let me just go. I haven't gotten anything in the SLS yet. Maybe turn the corner. So let me just turn the corner, the modern corner. Because nothing has popped up yet on this. Yeah, what is it? What, uh, what color is it? Yeah, I just red. Again, red, green, red, green. Yeah, it's active. Nope, went dead again. 
Oh, it might be going the wrong way. Maybe something right here. I hate that I'm like staring so heavily at the SLS screen that I'm like yeah. not looking in the real world. I have thermal behind you in case anything is around. Nothing here and it ends right here. Okay. Yeah, it's quite active here though. Okay, I'll come back. Nothing on this. Decided. Hey. Hey, I got hey. Hey. Hi. Hello. Konnichiwa. Here we go. Now I'm starting to get little, Getting more active. little tiny just figures are popping up here and there. there we go. They're disappearing very quickly. You know, as we get deeper, it's gonna get more and more. Uh, active, I think. I feel like we never, no one's ever really had a genuine conversation with the spirits, you know? What are you talking about? <laughs> no one's ever had a genuine conversation? Yeah, yeah, you come in here and you just say hey and no one. Reed. Oh, these spirits. I got read. Yeah. No one goes, read oh, the stories. Today. Today. Have you seen one video? <gasps> You're right. You guys, it said read, and that's exactly what we're going to do with our ritual right now. Is read. read the stories. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> hey, read. Hey, read. <laughs> Almost like sit and listen. Or maybe they're yeah, boys. because last night, right, last night it knew the ritual we were going to do. Right. It like the K2 first went off on your left hand. It almost yeah. like knew everything that was going to happen. Yeah. And then everything started spiking. So if the force is listening, it's like, hey, read. Yeah, maybe it likes the idea. It wants to. Wasn't the first thing it's it said portal? Yes. Portal. First now it's saying portal. friendly Buddha. Hey, read. I think it, it does want us, want us to, do to like. Well, we're gonna get to that place. Really so. get connected with them, you know. Or, you know, we unleash everything that's in here all at once inside of the circle that we're in. All right. Hey, how about we stop talking? I mean, that's also plausibly like what it's saying. I'm going to go with my theory. I think your theory is wrong. Friendly and happy. Oh. Well, not to, not to jinx it, but uh, I feel great right now, physically. Mm -hmm. Polar opposite of last night. Excel. Wait. Excel. 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 There we go. Again, we're starting to get little, as we go deeper, More activity. just tiny little figures popping up. Oh, here we go. That's red right now. Here, show Evan. Again, more. Yeah, as we go in deeper. As you said, it can't just run off. Oh, yeah. Bomb. Bomb. What? So, what do you see? Heard. Hmm? Heard something. I think I just saw something like rip across the screen right now. Which way did it rip? Oh, I did. That's crazy. Right here, right in front of you. Yeah, I saw the whole screen go white. And then just for a second, like right, literally right in front of us, I just saw a massive figure on the yeah. ground. Yeah, I saw that too. But I swear, I just saw the whole screen go completely white. Heard. Hmm? Heard something. I think I just saw something like rip across the screen right now. Which way did it rip? Oh, I did. That's crazy. Right here, right in front of you. Yeah, I saw the whole screen go white. And then just for a second, like right, literally right in front of us, I just saw a massive figure on the yeah. ground. Yeah, I saw that too. But I swear, I just saw the whole screen go completely white. Did you just cross this path? Can you cross in front of us again? We need to cover the fact that we established in case we don't watch night two. It's weird, what I was about to say is 
uh, that we need to establish that last night we figured out to the best of our ability that language like we, language it can be mm. transcended by spirits yeah because mm-hmm. we got like remarkable evidence up top yeah so anyone who didn't see that video you're probably like why are you speaking english in japan right. they can't understand you we found out last night like concretely they can and now this is spiking again all about intention and i do wonder if we do a better job of that tonight if we're going to get better answers right If there happens to be a lost soul in this forest wandering, everything's all red. Everything. And it's not stopping. Can you please show us where you are? Wow. This has not happened the entire time throughout this. Is that normal? No. No. If we know where you are. Not changed. Huh? Just that direction. What's up with this? I don't know. This entire time I've been on this like this, and it's just... Why is this all so hot? It looks like a little path right there. If you show us where you are, I think it might make it easier for both of us to be able to have a conversation. This is where we ran into our friend last night. Another path right here. There's the ribbon and the There's bottle. There's the ribbon. The bottle's still there? The bottle is still right here. Wow. It's so bizarre because just blank spaces of the ground are mapping out entities. Just in the ground. Like just purely, like no branches, no logs, no anything that would give it like a false reading. Just the ground keeps mapping out. Didn't you say we're above caves? We're above caves and just in general last night, everything from that portal was saying it's like the forest itself, you know? Because when Evan and I were off alone, we got like closer than you think and beneath you when we were asking like, where is this message coming from? Oh, K2 is going off right here. Oh. Nope, it's gone now. Last night we had this device on and you were able to talk to us through it. Apologize that we turned it off. We just wanted to try different ways. Oh. <laughs> all, the way red, all the way red, all the way red, all the way red. So if this is the best one for you, we will leave it on for the night. Wow. That's a hard yes. Okay, leave it on for the whole night. Yeah, because we turned it off. We never yeah. said we just wanted to keep trying everything. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Okay, we'll leave this device on for the rest of the night. Anything you want to say, please feel free. I have to yes. Yeah, I mean, that's... Let us know. They mean you harm. They mean you harm? As we're getting deeper. Is that what it said? Yeah, they mean you harm as we're getting deeper into the forest. And everything we were getting on the portal yeah, we're already starting negative, off. Negative, negative. Starting off negative the already. Sign is and right where K2's there. going. Yeah. The sign is right there. This is where we this is where we turn right into you know the forest. Yeah. Smoke. Smoke. And I, dude, I'm not kidding, I saw a huge like white pane go in front of the SLS earlier. I, I saw the whole screen go white. Not like white like an arrow, like yeah. a boom across it. Holy cow. And candles. Mm. Blood, yes, candle, that's right. Smoke. We did have candles. First thing it says after it acknowledges that it knows how to use it is they mean you harm. And this is where all the negative energy started. The threats. Yeah, it was right here. Oh boy. Okay. Right, the K2 is going to really tell us about this. Age. Age. I'm 26. I'm 33. I'm 28. I'm 33. I'm 35. Oh. 
How old are you? How old is the energy that's here? Definition. Hmm. Okay. Define how old? Maybe they don't know. Yeah. Age? Fridge. They don't know their age. Time. Do you, do you have a construct of time? Or have you just always existed? Demonic. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Oh, oh no, it's happening again. Right dude. as everything turns red. Dude, that's... Your screen is fully red. It's all red. I mean, Evan, is that not just perfectly on par with everything we talked about last night? Yep. Everything we talked about was like, how old is it? How old are you? What is this? Where'd you come from? Mm -hmm. Age, we defined it. Do you have an age or you... Hear my voice. Oh. oh Demonic. Going? It is just... Oh, it's it's always existed. It is de like... It it's is not time, it is not age, it's, it's just, it is. The Are you gonna say something to us? Energy. Yeah. Maybe we should stand in silence and listen to the voice. K2, it's constant. Evan can't see it if he has. No, I really don't think that was broken. The portal that was on last night, everything was negative, demonic, and I was just like, maybe it's just, now it's overlapping, like broken, or whatever. Devices are doing the same thing. We didn't get demonic on, no. and it's answering us. By the way, I mean that was age, definition. I mean that was answer, answer, answer. We do hear your voice. Oh, need help. Need help. Oh, wait. That is spi That is the most spiking we've gotten tonight. Do you need help? becoming more powerful. You've just said you're demonic. You know about the portal that we're gonna be opening. Or, it could be, you know how we go to places, there's demonic spirits and they pretend, like, oh, I need help. Mm. Can you save me? And when it's, it's actually- like sucked in. Yeah. Manipulative. It's a trap. It's not manipulative, I mean, it's straight up saying, I'm demonic, I need help. Yeah, it could be. Could be that too. I don't think it's trying to hide anything. <laughs> at least from this box, it was not trying to hide at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have the ground mapping out entities. You have the entire forest turning red. Right. We have this answering us directly. Yep. We have an obelisk talking about things that the forest could not know about no. unless it was connected to us. Oh my God. Could never have known. You're on the dot. I mean, like, we can't, I mean, that's... <laughs> Mine's been it's interestingly silent. Wow. Us, so we'll see what happens. I mean, it might prefer yeah, the that's spirit true. talker. I'm gonna leave it off with it. Yeah, absolutely. Can you physically talk to us? Can you do something to get our attention? Yeah, the second I turned it back on, it mapped something. Again, mapping more and more and more. Oh. Under the ground. Oh, Under the ground, Oh my God. Come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? How many times did you say it? As uh, we're talking about the caves. Under the ground, I've been yep. mapping the ground, the yep. cave system, wow. demonic, the ma Mount Fuji itself, like all of it. All right. Do you, do you need help being released from the ground? A portal would do exactly that. A portal is a direct connection. Right above and below, but if it's demonic, it's below. On that tree. So that's what it needs help with, okay, releasing what's under the ground. Up to your right. Yeah. Yep. It's more and more have been popping up, like to the point where this is, oh, I just kind of expect it. I'm getting now. a signature on that. Really? You are, you are. What temperature? Whoa, Look significantly it hotter. What's going off, K2 going off. As we get deeper and it's deeper. It's in the forest, it's in the tree, it's under the ground. Huh. No way. What? what? None of you heard that? I heard it. What was it? What did you hear? Yeah. You heard that? You did? Holy sh**.
Yeah, the loud louds. Like Wait, stereotypical like big cat. Yeah. Bro. Cool, <laughs> we both heard that. Yeah. Let's be quiet, let's be quiet. What direction? That way behind us. Like I would say like yeah, exactly the direction you're just pointed, like that way. Yeah. Keep him like that direction. Stereotypical big arrest. Dude, that was bizarre. That was like cartoonish. Yeah. Wait, didn't yeah. someone just ask to like let us hear you? Like I, I did. That was literally your question, right? Yes. And we just heard a, a like a huge growl. There's no big cats here. There's bears and deer. I don't think there's big cats in the entire country. Let mm. us know that you're here again. Dude, it just growled at us. I mean, it, it, like, I don't... You straight up asked it to, like, mm -hmm. speak to us yeah. out loud, and we hear a... a, a a, a An roar, actual roar, growl. Roar, growl. The fact that even Evan took a few steps back. No, he heard it. You heard it. G going off, I mean, just thinking, any shape shifter, any elemental, any... Anything. I, I don't know. There, so, I can really pull up my notes because I have them all saved. I don't, I can't straight up off memory it's recall, awkward. but we can we can look it up or hopefully we'll get an answer and then it'll match up later but I can't, I don't have service, like pull it right now. But I, I have screenshots of my notes, but I don't think I covered elementals. But you're right, I mean, there could be a, a Japanese Why version. Why are you here? It could be a Japanese version of a skinwalker, an elemental, you're right. Like, I don't know what that'd be called here. Why I didn't think we would run into that. Why are we here? Should we, should we should answer that? Maybe when we get to the spot we're gonna do the ritual. Maybe I think they know that we're here. Beings here. But why would they ask why we're here? Answer honestly. Don't answer honestly. Take take the paranormal investigation element out of it. Answer honestly why you're here. Remember we talked about speak with like conviction, with empathy, with emotion. Why are you like actually think about your, your question? Oh, we're talking about why did you fly all the way to Japan, drive all the way here, do this, even though it makes us all uncomfortable? Answer that. If I think I feel like if we each answer that, that might be extremely beneficial. We've gone, yeah, talk to us, paranormal evidence, but like, right. why are you here? I'm here because for the last few years, and my actual first visit here was for fun. It seemed entertaining. It, oh. communicate. Was that the same thing? The object is object to communicate. communicate. Okay. I came here seven years ago as someone just looking for various thrills, interesting things to do. I did not come here with, with any intention, the K2's going off. I didn't come here with any intention to understand this place or anything that lies in the realms I can't see. So I'm here because I truly want to find some form of additional evidence to what we found over the years to understand our purpose in life. Our purpose in life and, and why we're here and what lies beyond or what lies before. That's why I'm here. And whether it is evil or positive, it makes no difference to me because proof is proof. That's why I'm here. Going crazy. Crazy. My light is the completely dead. Whoa, but that was fully charged. Look, it just went down, I know we charged them all. I already went down to one bar from four. Are you serious? Yeah, 100%, look, you can see my one little dot. What's yours at, Jerry? Do you have going on? Still at four. Oh, mine's at two. What? Look at, mine's all, at two. They're all charged. They're all charged. They were all on four before we left. How was mine at two already? Four? Is this four or one? Yours is also on one. One? Oh shoot, okay, preserve that battery. Oh no. These are, I think these are 24 hour battery life. We even made a point to charge these. Yeah, these are 24 hour battery life. I mean, they were all literally charging in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. All today. Yeah, all, they're all plugged in for eight hours. Sure. Well, I'm gonna reintroduce you. <laughs>
I'm Ginger, and the devil is calling. No way. Right after that growl, <laughs> they ask why you're here, and the devil is calling. This is, I'm so glad we put this back on. Just as a test from last night to tonight. Last night was a little chaotic. We've established who we are, why we're here. I mean, every answer right now is making sense. Every single answer is exactly tied into last night, which makes me think last night I was kind of confused and maybe I thought I was reaching. Yeah. And now it feels like everything last night was like exactly what it was. Right. Like it wasn't, nothing was misconstrued, nothing was broken, Every everything is what it was last night. It's and all lining up. It's intelligent too. And it's not hiding it either. No. It's not even like playing, <clears throat> it's not no. like, oh, come find me, I'm a little kid. It's straight up, devil, demonic, I'm beneath the ground, open the portal, Hey, do your job. Like it's it is powerful. Sorry, Ginger. All you. It's hearing you. It's hearing you. K two's going off. Wow. It's wow. hearing. I can go before if you want. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because there's been many, many souls lost souls that have come here. Oh, what's up? That was so cool and what it just, was on camera. What just happened? That was on camera. That was absolutely insane. What, did you what just happened? What was it? A full blown white smoke apparition. I just, made that sound. I made that sound. I, ha I have it on this. I 100% have it on this. Go ahead. <laughs> the reason I'm here is because there's been many, many souls lost souls that have come here. Oh, what's up? No, just like I made oh. that sound. We're talking about this sound how many times? Oh. The devil's calling, everything. It's all just coming right to a point. It makes perfect sense. 100% just got a white apparition like to appear directly in front of me. I, I 1,000, have it on this. yeah, I'm actually gonna cut this and now I know where that is. Perfect. Video save, beautiful, love it. 100,000% I just have that. What? Hundred one, it, I mean, like stereotypical female cutout, ghost-shaped figure, head, shoulders, arms, all the way down. You're safe yeah. here. <sighs> Could it be a so good? Do you think being? that was a good apparition that you saw? Maybe, maybe there is some light. Maybe some, something's trying to protect us. I'm really confused. It's possible. I mean, look how many people have come here. I mean, this is not. It cannot all be bad. Think about the EVP. So, I was, I was exactly so. <clears throat> so hard with the headphones. Silence. So, mm -hmm. so yesterday, when we had all that happen with the bench, that was all positive, and then all of a sudden it became dark. Mm -hmm. Now that all of a sudden we're having all this dark, positives coming back to counteract that. And um. and we know there was something positive here because it said what you said was beautiful. So something appreciated that. And we started with friendly Buddha harmony but now it's now it's turning what did you see it with your eyes or was it no I, I no I saw it both I, I mean this is this is a, this is straight up an iPhone that has like like what did you, what did you see with your eyes like actually no I 100% saw that like it's that exactly what I'm describing gargoyle, I, gargoyle a guardian a gargoyle yeah, guardian, a guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. That would be like the you know the the clearest explanation of a gargoyle. Is that yeah. the first time you've seen something like that? I've never. Uh, yeah. I've never. First seen time it. I've ever seen anything like that. Other people have like seen it. I remember Corey saw it. But yeah. you. In at You're the bridge. Eyeballs. No, I I've never seen anything like that. Just say face. Field. Field. Okay. No, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen like. Yeah, you're right. Corey's the only seen. one that's actually seen it before. Mm-hmm. Seen. See. Field and seen. You've seen it. It said seed right as we were talking about this. It's amazing because I think it, the energy that, that this place gives, right? There is a guardian here that is trying to protect, trying to hopefully change that, Yeah. it seems like. Yeah. Right? The deeper we go, the more negative, the more demonic it gets. But it seems like there is someone, something mm -hmm. here that is trying to help balance that, I guess. Yeah. Well, think about it. Think about like you know us being here. We're like we're 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 in terms of ratio wise. It's not always ghost hunters. 
a lot of the people that come in here are coming in to right. do something. Right. You gotcha. realize that I addressed my intentions and I got the devil is calling, and then you addressed your positive intentions and you got something positive. Yeah. So I didn't. I didn't finish like, either. It's definitely like answering us. We'll keep going then. And yeah. Ginger, did you ever finish? I didn't. Okay. Did. Yeah. Where did you finish, yeah. Corbin? No, I, I started with Go Lost Soul. Oh my. oh my god. Oh. Yeah, let's do <laughs> it. <laughs> I just can't believe how perfect everything's all Do you remember Devil's Door? The abandoned hospital? Oh, yeah. We got like six in a row, and we were like, this is crazy. I mean, this is 20, 20 in a row. row. Oh my god. And like, ever since it's been turned on, 20 in a row. By the way, K2 has still been just spiking to orange to red constantly. Whoever that was that was right in front of us, I hope that you're a positive spirit. And we are here. The reason why I'm here is hopefully to find some positivity and talk to the lost souls and why, why they're here. Is there anything that can change? I'm here to communicate. The reason I got on the plane, came to Japan, I was given the opportunity to visit your home, visit this place that's very well known. Skeleton. Skeleton? Skeleton. And can never turn down an opportunity, not only to learn, but potentially communicate and always just have the greater good and positivity in mind. And after last night, I'm back because I realized that maybe, maybe there is some good to be had. Maybe there is a way we can help you and maybe it's not all bad out here. It's not just a place to come see and you know, we're not here to make a mockery or anything. It's just want to learn here. I'm here because well, I've been to Japan many times. I love Japan, <laughs> to be honest. Um, out of curiosity, never really much of a believer. I've always been a very 60-40, you know? I've definitely felt, never seen, right? And now given the opportunity to come to a location, to a place where, you know, a lot of you are trapped here seems like curious curious to connect with you curious curious to go over you. there i think that's actually where we're going it is the rope's right up there it's right there <laughs> the rope deeper. is right go there go deeper go over there to connect with you to hear you to understand to understand what the other side is like, you know? You know what this side was, and for you, of course it was miserable. And hopefully the other side was much better. So I'm curious. I'm curious to see what the other side is for you and to hear. That's why I'm here. Wow, and we're literally right here. Everything's right again. That's why we're really here. Wow. The whole forest is red. One more. Also, yep. I haven't used my um, headlamp at all, and I just went to turn it on, and it won't even turn on. So, I am obsessed with culture. I love learning. Um, and once when I got the opportunity to come here, I was excited because I've never been to Asia. And so this was just a new opportunity to learn about culture. And since the moment I've been here, it's incredible. Um, the cities are beautiful outside here. Are oh. you okay? Uh, being within the forest is beautiful. Mount Fuji, this whole area is beautiful. And it's an absolute shame that somebody would come here and do such a thing. So if we can somehow change and create some positivity and understand why this is happening and why it's becoming a place like this. And if we can create that into a positive outlook and maybe change it for one person or someone else, that would mean the world a difference uh, for the greater good for, I believe, everybody. Has that been on Red the entire time? Yeah, the, entire time the whole time Evan was talking. And it said, are you okay? asked you if you're okay. Are you okay? Y yeah, I mean, 
a little nervous, but my voice just cracked. So there we go. You were one of the two that cried last night. Yeah. It is still red. It's still red. Since the moment Evan started answering the question. Well, also, we are right at the do not enter sign. Oh, now it stopped. That entity's here. Ha. Ha ha At the sign. Can I take a picture? Can yeah, yeah. Pull the pull right out. I like how Ginger is trying to flip it positive and it goes, bad entities here. Yeah, Immediately. I'm, right. I'm, 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 bad entities here. Just for the record. Yeah, just trying to tell you. I want to let you know. I yeah. tried, I tried. Greek. Greek. That, is, that sounds so scary. Let me try this. Can do one more? Three, two. Just think about if yeah. mm -hmm. that same white apparition was holding my hand on the other side. I don't know. It's if there's any sort of manipulation on that photo, if there's any entity, that's gonna be insane. Okay. We're going in? We are all in agreement. We're going in here. 100 stories. There's two of us. There's two of them. Wow. Good and evil? The good, good and the bad. And evil or, or, or two the, bad entities? We got the white entity and we got the demon. Yeah, we got the gargoyle, the guardian. Yeah, it's one one positive entity versus the forest. I think it's that's literally David and Goliath. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we're all in agreement that once we go here, we're sleeping here. We yep. don't leave until the sun is fully up, not blue hour. The sun is risen. Yes. Yep. 100 stories, we're all taking turns going alone. Give this everything we can. Thank you. Before time. Remember the question earlier? <laughs> Demonic, evil, What's before age? time existed. Age mm -hmm. doesn't, there's no time, yeah. there's no said age. age. And the definition. The moment we walked in past I mean, the rope. Yeah, like how, how old is Mount Fuji? M millions, multi, mm -hmm. multiple yeah. millions, tens of millions of years old? You understand me. Ha! Wow. <laughs> Confirming. Oh my Everything god. You said oh right. my god. Wow. Oh my god. That's we do. We do. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Are you okay, Corbin? Clearly. That's just too much. We do understand you. I believe that you obviously understand us. Nothing is off limits. Anything you can say, please do so. I think this is the first time out of all my investigations I've ever done to be able to like fully conversate with an entity. I, it really feels like we are speaking to the forest itself. Like, the forest, the ground, like, the area, the environment. And that's all combined with the fact that we started this yesterday by doing spiritual work, right. bonding us to Super. Mount Fuji. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So this is where we, this is where we were yesterday. We didn't go much farther past this. I have to say it, but reminder, like, we are in the area where yes. find, finding someone is a possibility. So, <sighs> okay. yep. just... And, and now we're going kind of further than we did. In here we, we're, we've, we've been this far already last night. Yeah. But with new territory comes new risk. So just kind of this re reminding is, everyone we've been kind of casual. This is further than we went last last night. Yes, right? as of yeah. as of right my now. My heart. My heart. Wow. As of as of right now, we are beyond where we were. Okay. Um, yeah. Last night. So, so we don't know what's out there. No. I have one bar in my flashlight left. And even this, this phone, which is fine last night, is already at 10%. I think this is now officially where we should start using ribbons. We should start marking it right now. Are we using our colors? Or we can use white for right now. All right, our first marker of the day. Sick. How are you feeling, Elton? I'm actually not, which is so weird that my brain, when I heard sick, I was like, that's weird that it'd be like sick. I didn't even... Oh. <laughs> That was my first thought. Was, it was like, like rad. Yeah, I. Oh. Sign. Sign. Yeah, I'm actually, I feel 100% right now. Like, nothing. 
Like no nausea, no back pain. Are you feeling Evan? Fine for now. Corbin? They might be talking about the sign that we just saw. So like, did you see that? Mm. We are, there's no, there's not gonna I be enough. Here. Yeah. Uh, I would have walked towards that one. Uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, let's do it. I say right here could work. I think we can clear these branches. Yeah. It's like this is good right here. You ready? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so heavy. What does it say? Hippid hop. And then southern. I've never heard hippid hop. Hippid what hop? That? It's a hip, hip it hop. H I P I D. Hip it hop. We're making contact. We're making contact. Is it like making fun of me because I was like stiff? Hip hop? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hip it hop. Hip oh hop. Oh my what? gosh. Um, actually, do you know the extras are? Do I have them? The what? The extra body cameras? Do I have yeah, them? Yeah, they're in your backpack. Hey. Hey. Hey, here's a yellow one. We're not ignoring you. I apologize. We're just setting up, getting everything ready. Maybe it understands that we're trying to set up so it's just being quiet. <laughs> it literally said, hey, and then I was like, hold on. Sorry, not trying to ignore you. Investigate. Oh my God. Are you serious? We literally just talked about how like, yeah, now that we're, we're just time. pausing and it's like, hey, investigate. Like, just go. Yeah. Just start, just start doing something. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be space. home. This looks like yep. it. Just for A-B test. This never went off once last night. We're gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna set up this in the center again. Everything, all the times that it was set up. She pushed. She pushed. Fate. She pushed fate. The Hayakumonogatari Kaidenkai, translating to a gathering of 100 supernatural tales, is an ancient ritual method of summoning spirits, theorized to open a portal to the underworld when fully complete. For this reason, there has been no documentation of this ritual being completed, as all previous records indicate stopping around the 90th or even 99th story and candle. It is believed that the intensity of the energy that accumulates around this time is too powerful for most participants, leaving some nauseous, extremely paranoid, hallucinating, emotionally distraught, experiencing visions, susceptible to possession, seeing apparitions, and in the most severe case, all of the above. As each story is read, it is said to draw in spirits that have a connection to the word spoken, and the strength of pull towards the ritual circle magnifies as each candle is blown out. The exact origins of Hayaku Monogatari Kaidenkai are traced back to when it was first played amongst the samurai class as a test of courage. In Ogita Anse's 1660 story, Otogi Monogatari, the game was described with several young samurai telling tales, and as they finished the 100th tale, he began to extinguish the candle, when suddenly he sees a giant gnarled hand descend upon him from above. Tonight, we will be committing to the completion of one of the oldest summoning rituals in Japanese history, in an attempt to create the ultimate connection between the living and all of those within the other realm. The rule risks, and rewards may lead to the ultimate way to find proof of the paranormal, even if it means opening a portal to the underworld in the exact place we will sleep tonight. Every story in here has been sourced from uh, the internet, from, from authentic posts. Um, like we went through Reddit, uh, popular like stories, these are like true, if you've seen like our Haunted Homies show, um, these are submitted stories by people. These aren't written by like authors or anything of that nature. This is uh, the ritual. I am not gonna be able to read this in uh, Japanese, but uh, it translates to a gathering of 100 supernatural tales, is the English translation. Participants gather in a dimly lit area, setting up 100 andan, traditional paper lanterns or candles. The ritual begins with the participant telling a kaidan, a supernatural story and does so with as much emotion and energy as possible. After their story is concluded, the story- Demonic. Again. again. Wow. Dude, what did you see? The moment you said, the, the moment it says demonic, something just passed by right behind you. Oh right behind you, right there where that tree branch is. What the? What did it look like? It was, it was, was last real quick, real last quick. Going off. Right behind him, 
was literally right behind him. I know, with the, yeah, yeah, this is right behind him too. Wow. Why is it blinking like that? It made your flashlight. Exactly. Right? I think it's, that's the last one you have to go to. You have to click it six times to get to that. Or five that's, times. If it was on the whole time, we would have noticed a long time ago. Yeah, we would have noticed when you were setting up the cameras. I mean, I'll put it right back where it was, but yeah, we would have why. noticed it go through all the... Whew. Okay, go on. After the story is concluded, the storyteller extinguishes a single candle. And as each candle goes out, Fred. threat, the veil grows thinner. The process repeats for all 100 stories. This process may take a few hours as each story is read. Candles are put out and communication is needed. Every minute, story and candle put out only increases the power and capabilities of the fully completed ritual upon the final step. It is believed that extinguishing the final candle opens an overwhelmingly powerful portal once the final candle is out. The game is no longer just about storytelling, but becomes an actual summoning ritual. Participants are able to call in whatever spirits they wish or must deal with those that have brought themselves through it. In some extreme cases, more powerful spirits or entities may start to present themselves at any point during the readings. Under no circumstance should this be ignored. It demonstrates the immense amount of power in, of an entity with a need to communicate. Their acknowledgement will only increase the strength and connection of the portal that shall be opened upon completion of the ritual. These are the risks. The spirits drawn by the tales of their own world might manifest physically. Objects could move inexplicably. Temperatures might drop and participants could see apparitions, ah. which were already having happen. And we already had objects thrown yesterday. Oh, We've yeah. already seen temperature changes. Yeah. That's without doing this. Individuals who part- The woman scares me. Holy cow. Hey. Holy cow. It could be either her or the, yeah. Exactly. Either or. Exactly. The demonic forest is afraid of wow. the woman on the trail. Yep. The woman scares me. The guardian, the guardian angel. Are you afraid of a guardian? Or are you afraid of this physical woman here right now? Individuals who partook in the game may find themselves followed by the spirits they invited, experiencing unexplained phenomena at home, or even visions that haunt their dreams. A story told with particular intensity or a spirit summoned with a strong will might attach a curse to a participant. This curse could manifest as a string of bad luck, mysterious ailments, or an inescapable feeling of being watched. In the most severe outcomes, a spirit- Water. Or right by water. Oh, I said water. Mm -hmm. In the most severe outcomes, a spirit might claim a participant as its vessel, leading to a battle of wills for control over the individual's body and mind, known as possession. I heard that. That was loud. It's like a gunshot. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like a or big cannon. Pop. Yeah. Leading to a battle of wills for control over the individual's body and mind, known as possession. I heard that. That was loud. It's like a Gunshot. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like a big or cannon. Pop. Yeah. There has been no documentation of this ritual being completed in its entirety, as all previous records indicate stopping around the 90th or even 99th candle and story. It is believed that the intensity of the energy that accumulates around this time is too powerful for most participants, leaving some nauseous, extremely paranoid, hallucinating, emotionally distraught, experiencing visions, seeing apparitions and in the most severe case, all of the aforementioned. The theorized way to close the summoning circle is to take all 100 candles, bring them to a central point, relight them all, and have all participants blow them all out at one time. Universe. Universe. That's it. So it does not say that the candles have to be in a grander, grander big circle. So that could work just setting them all up here. Um, it doesn't say anything about placement. It's just read stories with as much intention as possible. There is no peace. 
all of a sudden I was literally, literally, literally was about to say, I started to feel very nervous about this. And then this does that. <laughs> we hear you. Ah, uh, okay. We hear you too. Okay, I'm gonna build out the helmet and all the poles. Okay. And then while we're oh, yeah, doing this, some of us are going off solo. Forward and split left. And deeper. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. We did not hear that at all last night. That's a good thing. Get away from here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was gonna say it's a good thing because when all bugs go quiet, according to the Native American legend, is when danger's around. Is that opposite here? Is that a thing? Oh wait, crickets are, that means good thing. Good Get good away thing. from here. That's a good thing. Oh. Protective. We like your equipment. <laughs> what? I've How? never heard that. How? Before. Look what's happening. What? I've never heard Setting that Setting up before. a ritual, building out a total <laughs> helmet, all the good, like everything what? we have is out right now this very moment. <laughs> have you ever heard that? No. <laughs> That's crazy. No. I've never heard that. What? Every single piece of equipment okay. is, we possibly have is out. And it like yeah. exposed all of it. Jesus Christ. And this is new stuff too that we didn't have yesterday. I mean, that's at, like, that's, that's the what, first time that's we actually unpack sentence. all of it. All of it? Like, every. How is that possible? This is actually amazing. I'm amazed. It's incredible just how planning. everything points. Planning. Planning. <sighs> Look at us planning. <laughs> Try not to. Bring a dad. I'd like to do one A B test before we do this. Just because if we get anything remarkable and be really cool to show, nothing yeah. before or something after. Yeah. You like our equipment. You're very aware of the portal and all of our plans tonight. As of right now, do you have enough energy or concentrated ability to set off this box right here? The only way to Footsteps do it. Footsteps follow. Footsteps follow. The only way to do it is to literally touch it. Are you able to do that as of right now? Okay, try Panasonic. Let's see if we get anything in the Panasonic right now. Yeah. Three, two. Towards. Are you able to speak to us right now through this device in my hand? Are you the woman in the apparition or are Where you- Where are my children? Earlier with the apparition, are you the woman or are you the demon? Are you afraid of the woman that Elton saw because she's trying to protect us? How many spirits are here with us tonight? Can we help the positive entity to distinguish the evil entity? Footstep. Final question. Is the devil still calling? Ending. It was a couple. Really? Because mm -hmm. you can see it when it, you yeah. can see the light, right? Yeah, after right. Evans, mm -hmm. after Evans it was something. It holds like solid, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Over there. Are you able to speak to us right now through this device in my hand? Are you the woman in the apparition or are you my children? Hey, there's little t t mm -hmm. and then he goes footstep. Mm -hmm. it almost like, sounds almost like, like nails. Yeah, like this this recorded the thing we couldn't hear, but that was telling us. Oh, that's crazy! I never thought about that. If it's telling us footstep, I can use my voice. <gasps> and this says pole now. Never thought about that. That's saying like footsteps we don't hear, but this would. That like it's hearing footsteps on the other side, the other realm. Oh wow. That's where it was like footsteps, but we don't right. hear, but they, they do. Three, two. You said you can use your voice. Please, 
give us something through this device right here in Elton's hand. You understand me. Is this your per oh, is this your preferred way of communicating with us tonight or should we try something different? See. Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Do we have to do we have to say another prayer in order to help the positivity? Ending. Sorry, when I was doing that, I was saying that there was something going yeah, on. Yeah, no, that's so. why I paused. I was going to see it, too. We will make a noise. Please, give us something through this device right here in Elton's hand. We'll understand you. Everyone come in. Just don't step on it. Something there. Yeah. That we have to listen to it because I don't, I can't tell from right now. Marvel. You heard footsteps? Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? was him there's something there I can't quite I hear distinguish it but I know there's something there it's getting there's stronger there. though yeah it mm -hmm. is the first round nothing second round a little bit more audible yeah I you not it said after my question it said thank you really I and you he could hear way better than any of us that's true if you can use your voice please give us something through this device right here in Elton's hand we'll understand you Get out while you can. Are we not able to hear or see things other than using the equipment that we have? Get out while you, have you to, can. Do we have to say another prayer in order to help positivity? That's a thank, thank you. you. That is a legitimate thank you. Mm. Yeah. Get out oh. while you can. And then after Thank you. Thing, yeah, so as of right now, the communication on this is coming from multiple the positive, people, the, maybe the positive, the positive entity side. or yeah, the positive side of things. Mm -hmm. Wants to protect, saying get out and thank you. Get out while you can. Yeah, that's the first time a get out while you can might actually be like a nanny, nanny, like a nanny. taking care of us, like a guardian, a guardian, a gargoyle, a nanny, a guardian. <sighs> these, yeah. these are, I mean, yeah, we're children compared to whatever oh this goodness. being is. Yeah, yeah, these are whatever this is. We are literally children. Still nothing on a REM pod, no. which is very interesting to me. No physical, like, I mean, that is in a massed amount of energy to, to get that to go off. Right. Should we start this? Yeah, and I'm going to do one more thing. Marvel. That said it twice. It did say Marvel it said, again. It said it, it twice. It also said demonic twice. It's so quiet. Yeah, dude. The crickets are... I'm from the 1800s. No way. Are you... You got that, right? Wow. When it said there's no distinguishing for age, you're saying what's the definition? Right. 
we talk about it being scientifically, it would be this this old. Do you know for this? That could be the lady. The lady You're could right. be the 1800s. That's who we're currently speaking with. So the lady could be created in the 1800s, but the entity earlier was also answering. Wow. Huh. They did say there's two of us, right? Right. Yeah, there's the ancient entity, which is the forest, the demonic entity. And now we have this guardian, guardian. this nanny, this gargoyle protector from the 1800s. Yeah. Hi. 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 Doesn't hi. Hi. Mean yes? Hi. Two? Hi. Yes. Yeah. You're going to grab one? Yeah, I'm going to grab one. Okay. Dimly lit. Nurse. 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 Nanny. Another caregiver. Gargoyle. Caretaker. I'm wondering if there's multiple. You say caretaker? No, I'm just saying nurse as a caretaker. Uh -oh. They're like in the same category. You know, obviously it's hurting. Mm. Nurse hurting. Are you warning us again? The incoming pain. Don't go down there. Why? Go down where? Okay. Fog conceals malevolence. What? Fog? <gasps> you saw fog. Fog concealed malevolence is evil. Yes. So it conceals it. It's like, it, I think it's saying that it could take it out. Also, isn't that like the same kind of cryptic stuff it was saying on the portal? Yes. It was saying like just bizarre. Like saying. Yeah. yeah. No, no way. way. This is the first time. Twice? It's the first time it's ever This gone thing off. never goes off. It's the first time it's ever. <laughs> this no thing way. never goes off. We light the candles. And just so everybody watching, look at this. This thing, th there's no chance. It's touch only. I mean, at this point, it's touch only. It's even no chance. That's why, like, I mean, look, it didn't go off till we lit the candles. It's the exact same thing as the binding ritual. Once we blew out the candles, the K2 started spiking. Yeah. We had it set up. The entire binding ritual never went off. I mean, this whole time never went off. I've seen that thing go off maybe, what, four times in my life. Everyone's going alone for a half hour each. I'll do first shift. I'll go completely by myself. Anxiety. The four of you can stay here, keep going. All you, I have no idea how long they are, how short they are. Okay, yeah, here we go. Again, bring the story to life. Yes, that's right. What could, what could they be this. talking about? Yes, that's right, we talked about a lot of things. I mean, it could be that we're doing the ritual, saying, yeah, let's do it. That's that's the right thing to do. I can't believe that went off. That was crazy. And it was a double. <coughs> yeah, it, was double. A double. it was, yeah, it stopped for a second. Thing in the woods near this river. Are you for you kidding me? Near a river. Of all we were the clans. About, we we're talking about water too. There's a hundred. Are you? What are the odds of all the stories in here? I've read one sentence. Oh my god. And it's god. going off. There's a hundred stories in here. We just uh, pulled them all out, put them all back in. Random. They're not marked. Like, the, no. What is this? We decided about. to go camping the Near night we're river. sleeping here by a river. This is oh, the whole point of the story is to be able to relate. Oh, so it relates. So who, people that are in here, what would they have done? No, 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 no. I don't know these stories. Oh no! Don't say anything bad. We're camping by a river. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever happens in the story, no, no, happens to us. I don't know if they know the story yet. Dude, they've known everything. We're, it said portal the second we got here. The second we light the candles, this starts going off. This is the one device we've had for like four years that I trust more than anything else. It knows everything we're going to be doing and doing. Mm. It knows all of it. It like knows what we're gonna do before we do it. I mean, yeah. limp for all I know, everything. someone's gonna roll an ankle. It is going off right now, it is. It even said nurse. It said anxiety it and it forced It said out nurse of her. and it said ailment. Yep. And we're talking about going off alone and then limp. The fact that this is going off this much it, right it, now is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. 
I mean, dude, that, that's insane. This First is story is we decided many. to go camping by a river. Right. First sentence. Yeah. This hasn't gone off. And that's joking. Joking. Do you remember what it said too? If you get activity, do not ignore it. It is not coincidence. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, we ready for the next sentence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this right. is gonna take more than five hours. We're all pumped. Is the next. Ready for the weekend of fishing, drinking, and chilling by the campfire. We got off to a late start, since Nick is always late for whatever stupid excuse that he has that day. Probably started a hike about an hour before the sunset. It takes about an hour or so to get to the spot that we know. So it's all good. We're hiking deeper into the woods to find out, to find that perfect spot by the river that we've been hearing. These, and we start hearing these weird noises. Like, it's hard to explain, but it sounded like someone or something was mimicking us. We'd been chatting away, and then we'd hear the exact same words echoing behind us from all different directions. At first, we thought it was just our voices bouncing off the trees or something, but it kept happening, even when we stopped talking. It was like whatever, whatever was out there was copying every sound that we made. Footsteps, rustling leaves, even the crackling of twigs under our feet. The craziest part? The sounds were coming from all around us, even though we couldn't see anyone or anything nearby. We tried to brush it off, joking that we were being stalked by a forest ghost or some But deep down, we were all freaking out. I mean, it's one thing to hear we Man. Man? Is that what it said? Man. Man. It's one thing to hear weird noises in the woods, but when those noises sound like, just like you, and seem to be following you. It's a whole nother level of creepy. We finally made it to the river and set up camp. And I swear on my life, it sounded like a whole other group was also setting up camp near us. Everything we did, we heard seconds later. It felt like a scene in a movie where the actors mirror each other as a joke and kept getting faster and weirder to see if the other person would do it. It was that, but in the forest. We all kept our rifles near us that night. It ended up stopping around four in the morning. Definitely got the worst sleep of my life. We've been in the exact same spot a few times before, but the only difference on this night was it was a full moon. I have no idea what that means when it comes to ghosts or spirits or whatever you call them, but it can't be a coincidence. What a first story. Wow. First story is about camping in the woods, about an hour yeah. to get in, finding the perfect spot. Hearing footsteps. All the Which we've heard footsteps, footsteps, footsteps the whole night. Yes, below. you. Below. below. The footsteps. Wait, oh, that's crazy. Below. The cave. footsteps have been coming from below. In the cave, yes. And that's why we hear it. And that's why we hear it as dot, 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 because it's coming. That would explain why we don't hear footsteps like this. We don't hear these. And we, and we saw the cave too. We saw a cave. Yeah. Right. We keep hearing the footsteps from underneath. Yeah. And like the because tapping. Because they're coming from below. They're not coming from our footsteps where our footsteps are. And you're, and okay. yesterday it was like, like, uh -huh. like scratching they've, at the ground underneath us. They've always been and below us the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Which relates to the story. Yeah. What should we do with these? Let's leave them open. Okay. So that way we know we've read them. Okay. We don't accidentally pull another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah we probably sense. recognize it. And then uh, it's on you to burn out a candle. Dollhouse reflect. Huh? Dollhouse, Dollhouse reflect. reflect. Last time I heard that was the Warren stream. Huh. Dollhouse reflect. I heard that in the Warren stream. What happened when you heard it? I don't know. I was just staring at Annabelle and it went like Dollhouse reflects. You know, like, it's weird. It was, it was also during the entire investigation, I was basically saying like game recognized game. Huh. You know what I mean? Mm. Annabelle's evil and I'm like, I always yeah. make jokes. Yeah, but you also remember during your, your uh, when you're talking about the rules of this and what it would come out to. It's going to create a portal to create anything that you've ever seen before. You could bring in stuff rather than also the things that are here. That's true. That's it, true. It, so it, you had that happen before. And I wonder what you're doing, like if it's bringing in something else. Are we summon Annabelle? I, out here. <laughs> Just straight from Connecticut? Oh exactly. Oh my God. Jesus. And it didn't, and it stopped now. It had a moment. We live on here. We live on we live here. On. Maybe it's talking about the caves. I mean, it literally blatantly recognized, like, yeah. I don't know. It, it even before it said fate, and also this thing is dead. Did it die? Yeah. Oh. 
It died? It died, died, huh? It was faded, it's dead. And the last thing it said was fate and limp. Something really strange happened in our sorority house this past weekend. We'd heard rumors that the place was haunted, so a few of us decided to do some investigating. You know, light some candles. Oh, where are you Maybe serious? summon a ghost or two. Oh my god. Anyway, we're all gathered in the living room, candles lit, trying to spook ourselves out. We each take a turn knocking three times on the floor, introducing ourselves and asking for someone to give us a sign. They very stere the very stereotypical ghosty stuff. Literally the last person in the circle finishes, which is what we're doing tonight, yeah. and immediately all the lights go out. Please keep talking. All the lights go out, like That's pitch black. So. Okay. Can't see your hand in front of your face darkness, as if someone turned off the power to the entire house at once. We're all freaking out, trying to find our phones to use as flashlights when someone screams. We turn to see what the hell's going on, and out going on, and there, in the middle of the floor, are these dirty footprints, like bare feet, covered in dirt, one pair side by side, no footsteps leading to or from it. Now, we all assume it's one of the girls messing around, right? But here's the thing: everyone in the room had shoes on, and these footprints—they weren't just random smudges on the floor; they were clear as day like someone had walked into the center of the room with dirty feet. We're all frozen in terror, staring at these footprints. On footprints. Footsteps, footsteps, footsteps. footsteps. Now it makes me think we gotta look for footprints tonight. Yeah, definitely. And suddenly, the lights flicker back. Now at this point, we all start arguing and pointing fingers, looking at each other's feet, examining shoelaces or anything that we can find to figure out who did it. Days later, and no one has confessed. I want to try again, but this time with one of those Amazon night vision cameras. Elijah. Dude, these are Amazon night vision cameras. No oh. way. All of these are from Amazon. They're $120. Wow. All of my body cameras are from Amazon. Wow. None of the girls will do it with me. That's it. That's where it ends right there. You just lick your fingers and put That's it That's what I did. Be careful you don't get wax all over your fingers. I got wax all over my fingers. Guilty. Nice. Guilty. Footprint. Footprint. We've been getting footsteps. <laughs> uh. Can we find your footprints in this forest? We're not supposed to ignore it. And that's twice on footprints. It'll probably happen again. I'll pay attention to it later. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two down, 98 to go. Eight stories on the awful road. Back in the 1960s, my grandfather on my dad's side was drafted into the army for the Vietnam War. He gets discharged in late 1972, drifts apart from all of his war buddies except for one. They live remarkably close to one another in Washington state and both exhibit some seriously post-war PTSD issues. Therefore, they both decide to go on a hunting trip together around the autumn season of 1973 to try to find healing and closure post-war. As he tells it, Post-war? Okay. As he tells it, he would always hunt deer in the woods behind his house. In those days, his home In those days, his home was more of a cabin with basic necessities. Anyone who's been in the Pacific Northwest Forest knows how thick and dense the foliage and trees are. Oh. I pulled this from the middle. What? There's, there's a lot of relating to this story. Fate, I mean, I don't know. Fate. There's a lot of relating, you're right. All three. Um, well, I also wonder after World War II, you know, I mean, there's a lot of soldiers. No, not here. Not here. Okay. How thick and dense the foliage and trees are, not to mention the fog. You can't see far ahead of you. Sight lines become blurred. Sounds become amplified. The sense of isolations can cause your blood pressure to rise. So, my grandfather and his friend are both hunting off trail. Tie- Shut up. What? Tying bright markers on tree branches as oh they move through the underbrush so they don't get lost. Watch. Suddenly they hear a sound. That'll do it. For sure. What are the- I don't know how to convey this. These stories were like, I don't, I don't. I helped research and. 
Stories were copied and pasted from Reddit posts and other websites and other forums. Nothing was modified. Everything was pulled straight up in, printed on this paper, folded at random, thrown at random, dumped back out at random, and back into the box being pulled at random. I know this seems like this is some scripted f it, but th they, this is... They're not all like this. You see that? I heard yeah, that. I heard Footprints, candles in a circle, camping, no, hiking by a river, tying bright ribbons. Who's ghost stories about tying bright ribbons around a tree? The first three we pull. There's so many this that have cool. nothing to do with woods. It's like there's. Yeah, but we pull the ones that are yeah, with woods pulled. right it's off not the bat. It's fate, right? That's what it says. Yeah, like, out, outside of this, my belief in life has always been everything Brother happens Mara. for a reason. That's right. how I've always believed everything. And like for all of us to be here doing this now, it knows it's all happening. The second it's lit, that's going like, whatever this is knows everything that's happening and everything that we're doing and like. Exactly. Keep going, okay. Every step. So my grandfather and his friend are both hunting off a trail, tying bright markers on tree branches as they move through the underbrush so they don't get lost. Suddenly they hear a sound. It's a blaring sound of a train horn. It's so loud it causes the two men to become disoriented. My grandfather recalls he fell to his knees hands on his ears, screaming, but not even hearing his own screams. The sound doesn't seem to have direction. It's all encompassing everywhere. The ground is shaking. And like a bad cliche. That's a train. Like a bad cliche, as soon as it began, it stopped, dissipating in an instant. They both are kneeling there, stunned. Their ears are ringing so badly they can't hear their own voices. Do I talk over it? Yes. Or do I? Okay. This is gonna take nine hours. Their mouths we... move, but nothing happens. As the sun sets, they begin to head back, spooked beyond belief. As their eardrums are shot, they scribble notes to each other on a notepad. As they hike back to my grandfather's cabin, as they're heading back, they see something hanging behind a tree. God, Hanging oh, are you behind serious? a tree up ahead on the trail, its outlines are blurred, it floats towards them, and it's revealed it is themselves. It wasn't it wasn't like looking in a mirror per se, because it was a creature. My grandfather felt it, it was blurry and fuzzy, but my grandfather, in his early thirties at the time, said that he saw himself as an old man white beard, frail, sunken eyes. He had to squint, but his facial features were the same. His war friend, however, oh, had a bullet hole in his head. The figure then morphed into black, an eternal void, death. The early evening pinkish orange sun rays just ended when they reached the blackness. They panicked at this point, running back into the woods, screaming like madmen. As the darkness fell, they decided to keep on going, refusing to camp out in those woods. So, did anybody notice the same as my story in terms of echoing the mirroring? And then you said that when they went out there, it looked exactly like them. Mirroring, It was yeah. a mirror of themselves. That was a totally the same thing. They experienced the same thing. Yep. I wonder if anybody in this forest has had that. This is why I want everyone to watch part one and part two, because they'll see that this never went off and it was out for the equal amount of time. For a long time, yeah. The story's about tying us. ribbons and it's also not... being in the woods and also being in the forest and seeing someone in the trees. Here, let's let him pick. You cause... pick. One time as a teenager, I was making something to eat and randomly heard a bunch of birds chirping super loud. I look up and into the living room and see at least 20 spirit birds flying around the room. Okay. Think the old style white, white light effect they used for Tinkerbell. I was a little weird out and was also hearing say hi to mom. So I asked her, I said, hey mom, did you ever have birds? like lots of birds before I was born. She stopped and looked very confused. She said, yeah, I had close to two dozen wild parakeets when I was a teenager, why? I told her because they were all flying around the living room saying hi to you. She had never mentioned before having birds. Wow. Well, that went off a lot during About that story. mom. 
Mom. and White Light, which is like Guardians, Tinkerbell, I mean, again, yeah. Yeah, relevant. Exactly. Never believed in ghosts, openly, openly mocked people that did. <laughs> Went camping with my wife and I, and I were going to sleep in a pole barn. We brought the dog into the barn and immediately she was freaking out. Very uncommon for such a relaxed and tired dog. Walking around the air mattress and whining, about five minutes of me telling her to calm down, a light shines through the aluminum slide siding. Imagine holding a flashlight on the other side of a curtain uh, doing a figure eight. It seemed like it was some sort of flashlight shining through the aluminum door. I don't mention anything for a few minutes as I'm questioning everything that I've ever known to be true. My wife asks, did you see that? I say, oh f you see it too. At that exact moment, I realized we both saw it and it turned into the brightest orb I've ever seen. It lit up the whole barn as if it was daytime and then it started floating towards us. I yelled at my wife to run and the dog was already at the door. We ran as fast as we could and didn't dare go back to the air mattress. Our dog never would walk to that pole barn again. Nothing on that one. Nothing went out. This happened maybe just 10 minutes ago. I'm home with my almost one year old child and my dog. My two older kids are at my folks place for a few nights and have been gone since yesterday. They typically like to go stay at Grammy's about once a month or so. It's a common occurrence. So I got the baby up. The dog is laying in the entryway to the hall where the bedrooms are. The baby was focused on something and being quiet. My dog looked toward the hall and kind of whined. Then I heard something that sounded like my daughter. It wasn't a whole lot of noise, but definitely a giggle and sounds like toys moving coming from a room. It lasted a second or two, but my dog growled at this point while staring down the hall at the girl's room. I do need to add that my dog is weary of strangers, so he will typically growl at someone he doesn't know. So I don't think whatever this was is bad, just startled me. I've never had this happen before while she was gone. Now my dog just keeps laying in the same spot, keeping watch. Normally something like this wouldn't weird me out as much, but this is the first time, first mimic I've dealt with in a long time. Anyway, happy Monday, Reddit people. Mimic. And the dog was kind of acting as a guardian too. Yeah, and again, it's about a mom with her children, which we've gotten gargoyle, yeah. nanny, caretaker, yeah, exactly. nurse, and this yeah. is going off yeah. again, as we're talking about a story in which they are protecting their children. Like, I've never done these kinds of things in videos ever, but I was like, I just kind of want to try it. Like, yeah. I, you know, I'm like, let me just try the summoning thing and see if yeah. it works. And this, it's, it's, I know it's, we're only five stories in. It's very consistent. This box yeah. is going off more than it ever has. At what point six, do you want to start going six, out? 10. 10 when I'll go. <laughs> Okay, so that's so a good yeah. time. Story number seven, here we go. Bitch. Back pain. You feeling it right uh, now? What? Back pain? Yeah, I right now. Where. It's coming yeah. back. Where? Left side, opposite of last time. Cut. Left, like, center, upper. Okay. Right there. Cool. Say it like, yeah, you oh know boy. it's okay. And I'm sitting, I'm not standing, I'm not no. anything. All right. We're actually relaxing for once. Yeah. I was a total deadbeat and I lived with my then girlfriend's parents when I was younger. They had a tri-level house with a basement that contained our living space and my girlfriend and I's bedroom. Upstairs was the living space for everyone else, including dining room and kitchen. The third level had the master bedroom and two additional bedrooms for my girlfriend's sisters. I was home alone one night when her parents off with friends, my girlfriend was at a friend's and her sisters were on an all night church thing. I elected to stay home and play Wow, all night. Wow. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <clears throat> uh, where my computer and desk sat right above my head, there was an AC vent. Often I could hear her sister playing in her room from that vent. I was leveling my paladin or something <laughs> when I heard laughing and giggling coming from the vent. Nobody was supposed to be home, so my heart picked up. I glanced at the clock on my computer and it read 1.36 a.m. I remember this very distinctly. I went to go investigate, and I headed upstairs. Investigate. I opened the first door on the left, which was her younger sister's room, which is directly above the basement. Inside, I used the light of my phone to illuminate as best as I could. 
I saw a small figure, what I assumed was a small girl wrapped in a white sheet in the center of the room. This figure, this young girl, stops playing with the dolls and slowly looks at me. It let out the most ear-shattering scream you can imagine. My skin crawls just thinking about it and my chest tightens up remembering it. I wish I could tell you what transpired, but I remember waking up at the bottom of the landing, right next to the door of the kitchen. I stumbled into the kitchen to get a drink of water and contemplate what the f*** just happened. I, ga I glanced at the clock on the microwave. The clock read 4.46 a.m. We never found the sheet the next day, but the dolls that the figure were... Ugh. But the dolls that the figure was playing with were sitting in the middle of the room, away from the toy chest, which they were inside that afternoon when she cleaned her room, which is across the room. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I like the word investigate. Yeah. So I get home Steven. from... Okay. Dude, there's a story about someone named Stephen. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I, I swear. I if, said Stephen, yeah. So I get home from my job as a server at midnight. One of my roommate was in the Navy and that was deployed at the time. And the other one was with his girlfriend or it was at his girlfriend's house. I cooked myself dinner and as I was cooking, my dog started growling and barking towards the middle of the room at nothing. This is especially weird because she never, ever barks. She was a rescue and I got her as a sense of security when I was home alone and I could never get her to bark at anyone. I dismiss her barking as odd, but I finish cooking and eat. I started to clean and turn the sink on because it takes forever to get hot. But right when I turned around, the sink turned off on its own. Again, I think it's odd, but I don't really think it's worth freaking out over. The hair on the back of my dog is standing up straight, but no one was home and it's midnight. So I figured I just tough it out, even though I was beginning to get a little spooked. After cleaning, I go back to the bathroom and sit. Sorry. Sit, Kevin. I go back to the bathroom and sit on the sink to pluck my eyebrows. My bedroom was small. With the sink immediately as you enter, the toilet is next to it and the toilet paper dispenser directly across. So the way I was sitting, the toilet paper dispenser was behind me. After two to three minutes, I hear a weird noise behind me. So I turn around and I sh** not. The whole roll of toilet paper was unrevealed, unrevealing fast as f like someone was pulling it. I noped the f out of the bathroom. The but the door was closed and it was no windows. Run. I noped. Run. Yeah. So it couldn't have been a breeze. I put a leash on my dog and ran out of the apartment faster than Usain Bolt. By the time this happened, it was already around 2 a.m. None of my friends were awake, so I spent the night sitting outside the door uh, to my apartment. When I went back in the next morning, the whole roll of toilet paper was on the ground and the roll was probably three-fourths full and I'm talking about a good five to ten meter of the toilet paper. After that day, I never had an odd experience quite like that uh, one ever again. But one of my roommates did mention that a few times he'd come home and find every door and cabinet in the place open when he specifically remember closing them and leaving them that way when he left. I feel like any time you mention like home is when you get activity. Yeah. Even it's like something about home, even if the story is like completely irrelevant to anything yeah. else, on home is when you're getting something. My grandmother was a Cajun voodoo black witch. Dark She did animal sacrifices. The blood ground. Bloodletting and the like. We were all convinced that she had a place waiting for her in hell. She was not a big woman. She was maybe five foot tall, 100 pounds. At her funeral, they had four men carry the casket from the uh, funeral home to the hearse. At the church, it took six hours to get her out. It took eight Isabella. It took eight to get her into the cemetery. And as she got heavier and heavier, as they, she got heavier and heavier as she got closer to the grave. It took 10 men to get her to the actual grave. When we returned to the house where the rest of the family was, me and my uncle went to the kitchen. 
The kitchen was hot, like opening a hot oven. And it was mid-February at the time, in the house, in the country, with no electricity. Inside the kitchen, we both saw my grandma, whom we just buried, holding hands with four other women in a circle, facing each other. It was a small kitchen. I didn't know them at all, but my uncle recognized a couple, being his grandma's sister, who died, and one of, and his grandma was, and one was grandma's mom, who was long dead. We left. Have not been back to that house since. That was close to 30 years ago. First one to go off. What's your plan? I'm going to use the helmet and a new tool that has not been used yet before. Uh, okay, so I'll uh, go alone for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Right, I feel like it's probably enough time to do like 10, 15 stories. Yeah. And then I'll come back, probably read some more as a group, send two more people out, repeat. Sounds good. And uh, that way we can investigate beyond the forest while you guys do this and kind of essentially two birds, one stone. The worst part about this now is like, if I come across anyone, it's it's gonna be like feet away. Yeah. Like there's, I just, this is the, fur the furthest I can see is like this tree right here. Oh, it's awful. Because this completely uh, it's crushes my ability to see beyond it. This sucks. It works. It sucks and it works. The Phasma box is piped into these headphones. Oh. You hear it? Like yeah. Now this works better. This one's okay. I just heard, you think you're the brave one, right? Anyone? Yeah. Please don't let me find that one. They're ahead. Okay, you seem like you're willing to communicate tonight. Last night I was asking questions that you were unwilling to answer. I would love to learn about the origin of your power, what you are. I'm the eldest of three siblings, and of course, as we moved house to house, I got the basement bedroom most time. What are you? You are demonic. You are the forest, ancient. What does your power come from? This lava? This lava. But we tried. The earth created you? The bushes. The bushes. There's someone in the bushes. Protect. I, dude, I've never heard this much on the Phasma box. Protect, I only know. One more time. Are your powers stagnant? Are they stuck now? Since it's been a, f it's been a few hundred years since Mount Fuji has erupted. Are your powers dormant? I was on the Manassas battlefield in Virginia with my father when I was younger. 
because the Mount Fuji is dormant, and your powers are. Is that why you need to lure people into this forest? By bringing people here, does it feed you? Oops. I've been to another place where it feeds off of fear off of other people to keep itself strong and alive. Is that what you're doing? You know that answer? Oh, why wow, is my hand just got like frozen? It's not that cold yet. It's 50 degrees maybe. My fingers just went ice cold instantly. There's caves everywhere. I'm like in that direction too. I'm not going to stop asking you questions. You're gonna stay stop when? I'm not going to stop asking questions. So give me the answer. Even if you give me the answer, what does it change? I can't stop you. Everyone in the entire world already knows how strong you are. There's a whole new path right here. I thought it completely ended. My mom was diagnosed with late stage breast cancer in 2009. Have y'all noticed something? Yeah. yeah. Ever since Mother. Bolton's left, yeah. that box has not gone off. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Right? It's true. At all. And mm -hmm. this story, and your story, had a lot to do with the same theme. Motherly, yeah. guardian, the Caring dad protecting the, children. the daughter. Yeah. Yep. And that's I what agree. triggered it before, and it stopped. It, stopped. it hasn't made a single noise since he left. Completely. Nice. Uh, j just the, this whole thing just not going, I, it was going off constantly. Yeah. Couldn't even finish a story, couldn't even finish a sentence. Is it, I mean, are we saying that it could be connected to Elton in some sort of way? No, I think it's just, it went with Elton. Whatever it is, whether I, the I hope it's the guardian, you know? I hope it's the guardian that went with Elton. Yeah. Because if it was connecting with their stories when we were talking about guardians, it would have said something during that story. Right. That was a perfect guardian Maybe, story. Right. You know what I mean? But Lady yesterday said that, you know, he's got the devil on his shoulder. And one of the reasons why he's so strong is because he goes through all the, the deep darkness. Yeah. So. Well, that's the good devil. We could hope that. You know? What do you mean the good devil? The lady said that that's the good devil that helps him now because he's oh, gone God. through so much. He's already gone. He's the he's already gone through all the darkness. The strong. He is the strong. Gur, darkness. You know. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just hope it's that. I hope yeah. so. I hope you know? so. Yeah. I hope so too. I'm gonna change who I am. I try and talk to. The lady in white. The guardian of this forest. Can you talk to me this way? Your goal is to protect this place. So I'm sure you understand how it was created and what it is. Could you tell me? Maybe together we can prevent more tragedy from happening here. You've been our guardian tonight. I've seen you right in front of me, before my very eyes.
We know the forest here, the forest here is demonic. How powerful is it? <laughs> Are we underestimating the strength? Right side of my bag. Do we even have that case anymore? No. Lady in white, can you explain what these pains are? What they mean? Yes, I can, child. What do they mean? This is, okay. Feel them in so many places, but I never know if it's good, bad, or what is it? Can you please explain it? A solution. The solution. I feel like I can fall into this forest very easily. What do these pains mean? Is it just energy I'm not understanding? I think I need just to stick to a lane right now. Lady in white, the demonic, the forest. I'm picking one lane. And I'm not gonna give up on the answer. When we first moved to my childhood house, the first few weeks everything was normal, but one night my parents were arguing and some pans ended up falling near the sink, making a pretty loud noise. And after that night, every night around 12 midnight, you would hear the same sound of falling pans around the sink. And still nothing. Yeah. Maybe I'll, let me throw a couple cables. Yeah, that that's one. a good idea. Just to see. Him. I want to understand what the forest is. I feel like they will end up trying to talk to the lady in white. Collecting evidence. Before I ask any other questions, I want to let you know that I will be back tomorrow alone for the entire night. But I think you already knew this. Climate change? The clearest one I've ever heard. Climate change. Dormant volcano. I don't. I'll be back tomorrow by myself. You will have every opportunity to affect me however you want. So let's make this a challenge. I believe that the force that's here has the ability to inflict dark thoughts into people. To sway the way they think, their actions, their soul. Try and do it to me. Do it to me and no one else. No thanks. I find myself to be rather happy lately. 
I'm here with my friends, my loved ones, doing something that I enjoy, something I'm passionate about, something that I can share. Last night, I was fast asleep in my bed, minding my own business, when suddenly I felt this icy grip wrap my ankle. I can hear Ellen's voice. Okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, loud. that's me, right? Oh, he's okay. Does that mean he's okay? Well, then what does that mean? Because if you're saying, I hope he's okay, and this is going off for us, then they're not over there. Like she came back? Yeah. She came back to us. The guardian came back to us. Yeah, I, I mean that doesn't necessarily mean a good thing. I don't know. It's almost like um, it's almost like Lassie, when you know they're saying the best way to help is to get their friends, to get their family. But you know Elton, and you know he would not want us to go over. To, no. To him, so I also don't hear him anymore, and I feel yeah. like if he would, if the yeah. worst thing happened, he would be yelling for us. Right he would now. yell. I yeah, agree. he would yell. I agree. So for you to inflict any form of darkness upon me would be a challenge for you as opposed to the people that you are normally doing to here. My puppet. The last time I was here, you made me sick. It was vomiting. It made me rather miserable that way. If you want to bring sadness to me, sure there's a few things you can say. Keep hearing it laughing. The process is not pretty. And then ha 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 ha. That's another forest opening. Whoa. That's not a shadow. What the f is that? That is not a shadow. There's a spider wave on me. That's still not it. I see like a dark figure on the floor right there. Oh, f ribbon. Motherfucker, motherfucker. God. God. Fuck. Is this the woman that showed herself before? Can you tell us your name? We don't have the device anymore. I was at my uncle's house with my family and they all decided to leave to the store because oh. that could be saying that she's the woman. Okay. Sometimes it takes a delay, sometimes it's okay. It's within seconds or sometimes it's minutes. It's back with us. Maybe it left just to see him out. I mean, he's going out by himself. You know, that's usually not a good thing here. Mm -mm. So I would see him out too. I was at my uncle's house with my family and they all decided to leave to the store because we had just gotten back from a long drive and needed stuff for the morning. My cousin and I stayed back with my uncle and aunt. My cousin and I were living in, were in the living room and watching a new cartoon movie. To our left is a window without any curtains or shutters. Just. Just a wide open window. I am deathly terrified of the dark at this point in time. And I, start, I kept staring out the window. 
At one point, I find myself looking out the window, and there it is, flying no higher uh, to the house than a bird would be. No disturbance in the walls. A loud noise is a typical dis- description of a UFO. Round and had several green, white, and red lights that were on the bottom of it. It is around the size of three houses and took up the whole window. I could not see the whole thing. I was paralyzed in fear. Why is it going off so much? This is more of a UFO story. So it's almost making me think like it's telling us, hey, go get your friend. I'm thinking the same thing. That's kind of making me nervous. But I don't I don't want to like break this up. No, I get what you're saying. Well, Trust me, he would not want us to. We gotta stick to the plan, yeah. Yeah, we have to. There's no there's no doubt that he would not want us to come over there. Yeah. I would say if he didn't come back in over an hour then we have an issue. Then we set a timer. Yeah. I've been keeping track. Okay, good. I was paralyzed in fear. It traveled right over the house, like it was conducting a patrol of sorts, scanning houses or something. Since then my uncle has constantly reported UFO sightings. Our first one with a UFO, which is interesting. Yeah. This is very active right here. I don't get it. Can you please make sure you're taking care of Elton out there? See, the trouble is, what if it's just saying, like, I'm trying to. You guys are not listening. Should we do the dozen rounds? But also, should we stay on the stories? Also, the, every remember, every single candle that goes off, it gets stronger and stronger, stronger. and stronger. As You're right. As we're more connected to. Must You're right. Going. So. I mean, I blatantly just challenged it to put some form of sadness in me, thinking that the only thing it would say would be like, bring up a thought about my dogs passing away or something terrible happening to my friends or family. And moments later, clear ribbon, I see someone over there. I gotta mark where it is so I can call the right people. It's not there any more. I, um, look, the physical ribbon is still here. Right here, physical ribbon. I swear in everything in my life, I just saw someone right here, just laying there. That's my biggest fear, is finding someone in this forest and I I swear on everything on... I have a lot of stories, but I'll talk about my camp. My family camp has been in my family for generations. It's an old Native American land with a burial site. We have found many many things on the land from our ancestors. We have the leader of the tribe that will ride his horse across the top of our sand pit and watch over us. The best thing that ever happened to us would be one night as we were all asleep in our campers, something came to every camper and ran around knocking on them. When we all came outside, we realized that the river was flooding really badly and we had to hightail it out of there. 
The next day after the rain stopped, we went back to find our little bridge, floated down the stream, and we had to get some paddle boats from my aunt's house. The stream? To cross the river, and once we got back to camp, we saw that it was flooded up to the doors of the campers. If we had stayed there all night, we would have been stuck there, and our vehicles could have been ruined. But luckily, luckily, something that night warned us ahead of time. Warning. Is that the weirdest coincidence? Yeah. What, for stream? Stream. No, that... Warning. It's Protector. a spirit that mm -hmm. came back to warn them. Mm -hmm. Ahead of time, and that like this is happening. Like you're saying, this is warning us. Oh, this is done. Light, it's done. Oh wait, oh my God. Oh my God, I forgot I had this on me. I forgot I had these. Right here. There was no log right here. There's nothing right here that forms like a person. And I saw them laying sideways like this. And it makes me wonder if like that ribbon marked where they were and I still saw them. found it. Hi, you found it. The story takes place during the school field trip when I was 10 years old. I don't usually tell the story in my adult life, but it is absolutely true and my mom can back me up. When I was a teenager, I went to boarding school. After the winter holidays, a family friend of ours, around the same age as I was, committed suicide in the family home. Wow. I mean, that's more connected with this place than any of these stories so far. Any of them. Yeah. I would assume more you think so too. Those were blowing out. They are? That's not what I'm saying. Oh, the, the more, more that, that we're blowing out. The more. more yeah. Active it's getting out. Mm hmm. Okay. Well played. I challenged you. You won. You made it very clear what you're capable of. That was the most real entity apparition figure, I don't even know what to call it, I've ever seen in my entire life. I would have bet my life that there was some someone laying there. It's my only fear. I don't know what else to do to push you to give answers. Is there some way I can earn that from you? Is there something I can do or promise? Spiderweb right here, which makes me think no one's gone past her in a while. Before I head back, is there something I can do or promise? 
so you'll finally be able to communicate with me and, and give some answers. I just want to understand. How are you able to do that? How are you able to put an image directly, not only into my mind, but into my eyes? I feel so terrible right now. Oh. Come on, dude, push through this. I can't with you. Push through it, come on. I will not give up my will. No. Can't do this. Off. You just said I just love your skin. No, no, your skin. Oh, Fuck you, your skin. Dude, this sucks so much right now. My back is literally getting like someone's putting their foot in my back and trying to snap my spine in half. Tape. Not this way. Last thing I heard was, I'm not going to stop till you're dead, and it turned itself off. Not a fun time. At least you guys couldn't hear me. I did. Cool. Did Found you? someone. No. Fuck. Uh, fuck off. Okay. Are you serious? Oh, are you okay? Uh, hey. Stop. Hey, what? Woo. Really? Yup. Uh. It's wild that you came back during this one because this one is the closest thing to this place yeah. out of any of the stories. So my mom's voice started to tremble and then went into her reason for calling. But as soon as you left, we read three, four stories and this guy did not make a single noise the mm -hmm. entire time oh. after being so active. Mm -hmm. And then it did. Then it just started going and going, and that's also when we heard you yelling. Mm -hmm. And we had a theory that maybe we had a gut feeling that it was a guardian that left to be with you. And then we heard you yelling, and it came back. How did you say, like Lassie, almost like yeah. go save your friend. Yeah, you yeah. need to go out there. Timmy fell in the well, sort of situation. 
and it just kept going and it just kept beeping and beeping and beeping but then we we decided to wait it out a little to give you more time in case we were wrong about that we just know that you would not we, we feel that whatever was here maybe it was this guardian spirit that kept resonating it left with you because we kept reading stories and nothing happened nothing, nothing. there was no beeping Silence. at all then we heard you yelling and then all of a sudden boom 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 just beeping one after another constantly for like five minutes yeah, it was almost like saying stories. hey you guys need to go help your friend and we wanted to go but we're like you know what we was like, to let's just set a timer it. you know if you pass like an hour then we should go find you yeah yeah what were you yelling about uh I, I'm, I know this is gonna sound insane. I saw someone, and they weren't there. Like, um, like see-through? Like no. Like I saw a corpse on the ground. And then you got closer. And then they weren't there. So as you get, went closer in, like, oh I'll I'll back up the sequence of events so this like makes more sense. But asking questions, Forrest, getting kind of the same answers. Right, nothing really specific, just the same kind of answers. And then I tried actually talking to uh, the lady in white, uh -huh. what I'm referring to, right, the lady I saw. I'm trying to like talk to her and see if she'll give me some kind of answer. Um, I wasn't really getting anything there. And then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna commit to one lane. Instead of trying to talk to one or the other, I'm just gonna push and try and get an answer in regards to this, the demonic, the evil, because I feel like I'm probably the only one in, in the group that'll push that hard yeah, to get exactly. those answers. Yeah. And I did that. And I basically challenged and said that, you know, people are coming here and you prey on their weakness. But I stated that I'm, I'm a fairly happy person. I'm here doing something I love with people I love, people I care about, I'm traveling, right? I'm, I'm expressing that I'm a happy person. I'm not like the typical person that's coming here. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to demonstrate your power, your ability, mm. show me, like, put some kind of darkness in me. And when I said that, the only thing I thought about was, like, maybe they would plant an image in, in my head of my dogs dying, or you guys getting hurt, or something mm -hmm. like that. And then, no bullshit. 20 seconds later, I turn, and I, I see what looks like a head in a full-blown body, and I see someone laying like this. And I, and I see it, and I can move the light, and I can physically see it's not moving, it's not a shadow. And then I turn left, and I see ribbon, that's not mine, on the tree. Really? Yes. I see a string of cut ribbon that is literally not mine, not it, that is already on the tree. And I put two and two together yeah. and go, oh. oh and I'm, I went pretty far in. Yeah. And I see the ribbon, and I see that, and, I, and that's when I yelled. Cause I was like, it's two and two. It's like, it, yeah. dude, everything on my life, I saw the person there. Uh, and, then, and, and then that's kind of when I, I like froze and I was in my head, I'm like, okay, that was, yeah, that's the only way you can put any form of fear or sadness or darkness in me. Yeah. That's the one thing I'm actually afraid of. And then I, and then I realized, well, I have to mark where this person right. is so we can call right. and report and then I remembered I had all my flashlights died and then I remembered I had this guy uh -huh. and I put this guy on and I turned the light on nothing's there not there at all nothing's there like I walk up to it and I'm, no logs no rocks nothing at all that would create that shape that dark nothing is there at all dude like it's like it would look like as plain as this yeah do you feel like the camera might have caught it I, I think it's in my fucking head. Oh, I think it's purely in my head because like I, I literally challenged it and was like, give me some form of darkness. Like you can do this. I asked for that. And you said the only thing that you would be afraid of here. Exactly. Is finding and I, a corpse. Somebody. And that wasn't even in as a possibility when I said that. I literally in my head was like, oh, friends, like images right. of car accidents, like funeral, like that's what I thought was gonna, it, worst case scenario and then that and I walk up to it and it's not there and that is like directly after I, I challenged it. Did you mark it? Yeah. I marked it and I went further. I went further past it to see like, was there more there of the ribbon, more, but yeah. there was only ribbon right there. And it was like the first time I went off the clear path. Was there still ribbon? Like, was the ribbon still there too or no? The ribbon's there, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the, so the ribbon's yeah, still there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ribbon, is, it's a real thing that's there. That's why I'm like two and two is insane because it's not like, 
it's like I imagine that and the ribbon. No, the ribbon is. It all, it all came together. Yeah, it's, it's like saran wrap. It's like clear, like cling wrap around the tree. It's like, it's a real thing that's there. Probably a real thing that was there that you saw. That's, that's what I'm thinking is like, or they planted it or it was there. Yeah. And then like, as I'm turning around leaving, I almost threw up in my mouth. And then uh, as we got about 20 feet away from you, the last thing I hear is, uh, this won't stop till you're dead. And then it turns off. Shit. So that's why I'm like, I don't think you guys should go alone. I think yeah, like pairs I, of two. I, def I definitely want to go in a pair. I don't, I don't want to go alone, especially after hearing It was that. fucked. How do you feel? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The, it felt like someone was putting their foot through the middle of my back for a while. Oh. But like... They specifically do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, fe I feel right now... Seeing what you saw, you saw something. Do you feel okay? Yeah. It wasn't real, I guess, or it was, I don't, it was, was real past tense, but currently, r right now, not real. Yeah. Like, we don't have to, like, call anyone and, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It, it seems like you still got the worst part, though. The worst part is finding it and seeing it, and you found it and saw it in your brain, you did. I was just gonna say about like opening up your mind and that whole type of thing where like you finally were like vulnerable to it and then yeah, it happened. Just took it. I straight up challenged it. Yeah. it. Like straight up was just like do something that like would absolutely prove to me, you know. So it warned us. You feel like that proved it to you? It warned us. I mean, I dude, I I would have like put my life that there was someone That's in front of me, that. and it was literally as my light, my flashlight completely went out and I couldn't like see very well. And then all of a sudden I remembered I put these lights on there as emergencies and lit the whole place up and Nothing was there. no one's there. I don't think I've ever heard you say that you saw something without 100% confidence. You know, the white, the white mist in front of me and then that like, the only time I remember is like Mansfield Reformatory where I was like in a dark room for a very long time. Yeah. And I thought I saw someone, but that's also like when you're in a dark space, like sometimes that happens. Sure. But th this was like adamantly 1000% like someone was there. Yeah, we can do a couple as a group and then, uh, and then, yeah, let me, uh, that's kind of my switch this out, I guess. A psychiatric nurse early in my career, I worked at a residential mental health facility. There was a resident I'll call Marion. He was an elective mute, which simply means that he didn't, wouldn't, couldn't talk, but there were no pathological findings as to why. He had spoken earlier in his life, and it had fa in fact seemed quite normal back then, with the notable exception of being close to seven feet tall. After boot camp, he was stationed somewhere in the south. One night, he just vanished. It was declared a wall for years, and finally he was declared missing as de and dead. Ten years later, a seven-foot-tall man walked into our hospital emergency room and said to the receptionist, My name is Marion, and I've been dead for ten years. Those were the last words he ever spoke. He was covered with dust and wearing the same clothes he'd been reported to be wearing the night he vanished. His social security number had not been used, and he had no ID. However, they were able to identify him via fingerprints. He was well fed and in good health, except for his refusal to speak. The family was notified, but they had, they said they had already grieved their lost man, and whoever was claiming to be him simply could not be. They said he was a haint and a stand-in for their dead relative, relative and demanded not to be contacted again. Marion paced all day every day, not in a frantic way, but just lumbering up and down the halls and outside. He smiled all the time and be moving his mouth in a way that indicated talking or muttering, but he was dead silent. He had an unnerving habit of throwing his head back with his mouth wide open as if he were laughing heartily, but not even a breath could be heard. If told to go to the dining room for a meal, he would go and eat. If nobody told him, he just kept pacing, never indicating hunger. If offered a cigarette, he would smoke in an oddly formal way almost delicately, if that makes sense, but he never seemed to crave smoking. The man wanted nothing. If I talked to him, he appeared to listen periodically, throwing his head back in that laughter-mimicking way of his. 
There was nothing to do for this man. Various medications were tried. They did not affect him either positively or negatively. On my last day at the job, on my way to something better, the last thing I saw was Marion pacing in the parking lot, throwing his head back to laugh. Yeah, I see the flickering white lights over here. Yes. There, there, there. Gone now with the red light. They were there. Gone now. What, uh, what color? Flickering white light. White. That's the way that you went. I mean, I see my tape. It's not my tape. No, you don't have kind of light. I was trying to see how it was a candle light, but it was like little flickers of white light. It's going it's off. Yeah. Hey, it's going off also. These candles are getting mm -hmm. little... I thought they were like uh, fireflies, but... There's no fireflies here, though. I was going right? to say, I haven't seen any fireflies this whole trip. This is non-stop. I feel like it's warning us on something. What are you trying to say? Let's do a test. How many stories have been read, do you think? 20? Uh, we need to tell by the candles. Two, four, six, eight, Did you turn seven, off the candle, Don? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Yeah, just oh. about. Wow. Nice guess. Right as you said it. Oh. So 20% done. Mm -hmm. Let's see if anything changes. Okay. You know? Let's see if this... Three, two, one. Was that you, the woman in the apparition that came back, the guardian that came back to warn us about Elton being in danger? Do you want us to continue going the same direction Elton did? Do you want us to go deeper in pairs? Were you trying to conjure Elton's deepest fear? Was the Guardian trying to warn us of something? As we continue this ritual, are we making the darker spirits more powerful than they already are? Ending. That didn't sound like a car to me. Mm -hmm. We're also really far in, so exactly. I don't understand how we even hear that. We're not near the road anymore. Can you pause the box while we listen back, please? We just want to be able to hear what you might have said. Let's step this way and see if anything changes. Yeah. I'm curious. There's no rules about... Like leaving the candle. Oh my God, stop just now. I'm just curious to see if it's like feeding off of our energy and that's why it's going off. Oh, so I'm much. sure it is. Because at first I thought maybe it was the flame, but it's not the flame. Okay. Pod. Do you want us to continue going the same direction Elton did? Do you want us to go deeper in pairs? There's something there. Were you trying to conjure Elton's deepest fear? Was the Guardian trying to warn us of something? Yes. 
as we continue this ritual, are we making the darker spirits more powerful than they already are? Guys, it looks like it's getting more powerful. Like this, some of these candles look like they're about to go yeah, out. Yeah, dude. Look at the wind right here. Look at that. It's like a mirrored answer. It's like going matching almost at the same time. Okay. The next two ready to go? Holy cow. All right, let's do this. Maybe after we see the end of his tape, we that's when we start investigating. Now we need to remember as well that he, we might find something that he didn't, so. There's a tape marker right here. Oh, yeah. look. There's also another ribbon or some oh, sort oh, of. Oh, he's right. That's like gauze. Gauze. A yellow gauze. So someone else also marked the same tree. Oh, it looks like, a, it looks like leaves, but they did. Every single step I take, I'm just more and more terrified. Yeah, I don't understand. But we know that he was here before, so we know that there's not going to be anything too scary. Uh, I see more tape and I'm getting more scared. We just have this anticipation. The deeper we go, the closer we're getting to what he saw. We're not going to antagonize the way he did, too. No, absolutely not. We are here with respect. We're here with positivity. Yep. I am not testing anything or anyone. We are here to get to know anybody that is here. We want to know your story. And we want to... Uh... Ah! Oh my god! What did oh. I hear? I just heard something. Did you hear that? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Jaja. I swear, I swear I heard something out there. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. You... <laughs> I'm sorry. You almost... You didn't hear anything? I didn't, but you almost blew my goddamn eardrums. <laughs> Listen that way. I swear there's something over there. I heard it. There are three new devices, two new devices here. At any point, you want to use these flashlights to put energy into it. This one right here can signify that you like it. Yes, anything positive related to what we're talking about. This side, for no, you hate it, or it has nothing to do with you. Or a new way of showing your energy. I used to live in a one bedroom apartment a number of years back. One night, I came home roughly about 2.30 in the morning and was exhausted, so I decided to go straight to bed. As I lay in bed, trying to get comfortable enough to fall asleep, I heard a rather loud noise coming from the living room. Kind of like what would happen if someone jumped off the couch and land on the floor. I live in an apartment building on the top floor so I knew it wasn't coming from below me. On edge now, I continue to lay- That's a camera that just turned itself off. Yeah, why? Not that one. The one above us. The one closest to us. See? Yeah. So I knew I wasn't coming from below on the edge now I can I created the sound in the living room made a thundering dash towards my room it didn't sound like the person running more like something four-legged sound sorry excuse me more like something four-legged it was inhumanly fast and the noise was definitely loud until whatever it was stopped on the dime. 
what if what felt like was one foot away from my face. I refused to op open my eyes just on the off chance that something was there. The sound ceased, but there was an incredibly feeling of dread and darkness that radiated through the room. Holy cow, the fire is just stupid. Through my room for approximately five minutes, but then it simply disappeared instantly and the aura of the room returned to normal. It would never again the entire time that I lived in the apartment, but it was certainly a wild sequence. Now I know that it was not sleeping paralysis because I had not fallen asleep yet. Goodness. Gracious. It was only on two and a half hours of record time and it cooked the whole battery. Cooked? Done, yeah, that's that loud beeping noise of battery low, battery low. Like I took the REM pot away and then it just completely cooked the battery. What's interesting about the fire is with the wind or whatever, it's all going to the center. Right. It's not like a direction with the wind. It's all pushing to the center. Oh, you're right. It's not. This is so weird. I didn't realize that it is all just cycling like into a portal. <laughs> yeah. It's like something in the center is pulling it in, which would make sense why this is constantly going off more and more. Cause that's just the power ripping through it. I'm starting to feel so out of it. It's weird. I'm starting to feel like I'm like I'm here, but I'm not. All right, I just want to make sure we actually finish it and not become another person that's never done it. My dad owned rental houses back in the 90s. My girlfriend and I had go in after a renter left and rehab the house. One particular house he purchased years ago with the renter already in the house. When they passed away, we went in and started in the bedrooms, first painting them and then cutting out the carpets. We noticed we kept losing our carpet cutters, but thought we'd accidentally rolled them up in the carpets. So we got fluorescent orange cutters. Nope, still can't find them. Then we pulled the living room carpet. Several large stains that look exactly like dried blood are soaked into the cork underfloor. Okay, might be a stain or someone butchered a chicken in the living room. No telling. Oh, your light is way brighter than mine. I have it on the brightest setting, but it might backfire because it might die. Oh wait, do you want to use one of these ones? I don't think it's going to be better. It might be. Yeah, look at, look at the difference in yours and mine. Here, try this one. Okay. Let's that see. twisty one. Wow, this sucks. I'm so scared right now. Yeah, same. Okay, see another piece oh, of this Oh yeah, great. Tape. This light's off too. What? Don't see that. Look, look. Your headlamp died? Yeah. Oh no, now it's red. Now it's off. Yeah, off. and it, it, it can it can like do it for like a second, but that's it. Probably one of the worst places to be <laughs> your first. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh my god, this light is so bad. Yeah, barely see anything. Barely. He must have gone deep in here because how are we not there yet? Yeah, I need to just not use this one anymore. Elton. It's awful. Okay, here's another piece of Elton tape. I just keep wanting it to be the last one. Are you ready? I'm gonna start recording. Are we trying to talk directly to the- To whatever. The thing that he thinks he saw? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should try that direction. Yeah, quiet it got. We're here to speak to whatever Elton communicated with, whoever is here, what is your name? Where are you from? And how old were you when you last visited here? Are you a positive or a negative spirit? What is the message that you want us to know? Okay, I stopped. We're here to speak to whatever Elton communicated with, whoever 
is here. What is your name? Where are you from? And how old were you when you last visited here? I heard 300. Stop it. I heard 300. Positive or negative spirit? Negative. What is the message that you want us to know? We're getting responses on each one of these questions. Every one of these questions. Every single one. Out that of is them. wild. That is wild. I don't it know did if that sound like it said negative, and I hate to say that. It sound it said negative. Or negative spirit. <laughs> negative. What is the message that you want us to know. My daughter, my daughter Lily has an imaginary friend, completely normal for kids her age, so I didn't think much of it at first. They play together all the time, having tea parties and playing house. Cute, right? Let's see, are you the flame? One day... No. <laughs> nope. One day I'm watching them have a tea party and I swear to you the day... Insane. Okay. That is insane. The reason I wanted to do that, it's not. It's I wanted to prove if it's right, working. But it's not. So it's not the flame. It's not the flame. It's not the location. It's actually reading the stories is giving that more power. I just wanted to see. Wow. I wanted to see if we were overheating it, if it was the electronics, right. like if it's some malfunction. Right. It's normal temperature now. It went off in there, it went off in there, and over there. So we know it works. Yep. So reading these stories is working. It's going off more and more frequently. So much more. So let's read them all and get this thing done. Maybe we should ask more so about the forest. Yeah, let's ask more about the forest because if it's a 300 years old, it's obviously not Been here for a, minute, a, a long time. person who was here. It was. Yeah. <sighs> okay. What would you call yourself? Are you a being? Are you a spirit? Were you a person at one point? Can you tell us anything about yourself? What are your feelings about people like us coming to visit here and to interact with you? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more energy during the nighttime, when the sun comes up, do you go away? Yeah, I stopped. All right, you ready to listen? No, uh, really, I know, I know, I know yeah. you're not. I know you're not ready. I know you're not ready. Okay, let's do it. What? You hear that? It's like a like a like a bell. More like a like a like a wind, like a oh. I do kind of hear something over there. What? Just in this general area where I'm pointing the selfie stick. You're hearing that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh. I heard it more that way. What would you call yourself? Are you a being? Are you a spirit? Were you a person at one point? Can you tell us anything about yourself? What are your feelings about people like us coming to visit here and to interact with you? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you 
have more yes. energy straight, yes. during the night time. Yeah. Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more yes. energy? Straight, yes. When the sun comes up, do you go away? It sounded like help. In that there. was a yes. That was a yes. Straight off. It was a yes. When the sun comes up, do you go away? It sounded like help. Okay, should we go any further? <laughs> if you're asking me, I think we're out of time. But okay. let's yeah. maybe just to the top right just here. To, yeah, just just to that. make sure. Oh, God. Okay, you come in front because the camera is Okay. Moving. Okay, so this must be where it was. Yeah, there's no more tape. There's no more tape. There's no more tape. Thank you for speaking with us. We are going to head back and we will take your messages with us. If there's anything else, tell us now any last messages you have. If there's anything you'd like to say to Elton when we get back, what would it be? Okay, let's, uh, let's go back and we'll listen to it when we get back. Okay, turning around. Oh my god. Okay, we're just in the scariest place in the whole world right now. Yeah. This is this is probably the scariest place I've ever been. I this is through the tree. You've been to a lot of places. I've been to a lot of scary places. Also the um, flashlights just turned off so fast. Your headlamp died? Yeah, it's like something out here doesn't want flashlight? doesn't want you to see it. Yeah, exactly. No, I think I think we did a lot. I think there was a lot going on that tape, and we're gonna listen to it when we get back. Yeah, we need to re-listen to all of that. Because the one thing's for sure that we got negative. That was that was crazy. That was probably the clearest thing that we got today. Yeah, and answers mm -hmm. on everything. I'm glad wow, I would phone not phone. have been able to. Yeah, like there's the. Uh, there's that cause, yeah. So somebody was here before us. So that might have been with them last week. But it might have, you might have got a different direction, something. Mm, you're right. Oh, I'm so happy we're back. I never thought it would be happy to be back to a ritual. I don't know how this works because there's no shot we're going to be being able to read a story and put out a candle. Yeah. So we're gonna, finish all the stories but it's not gonna be to the to Are the same to the book. We light candles? Can't. That's it. They're burned out. Oh were they they had like the cotton flame the that giant, they all the giant flame forced them all to burn faster. Jesus oh. Christ. So they've all been burning faster than they're supposed to. We've already had a body camera turn itself off. Oh yeah. my god. Oh and yeah his head all my died. all my headlamp flash my flashlights time. Yeah all that for right now. You need to listen to these recordings. Because we, we listened to them out there, the first two. We saved the last one for here because we didn't. Just we just want to get back. An emotional roller coaster going from that to reading stories casually around a campfire to yeah. back to this. Yeah. Like I'm like forgetting that you guys were just. Yeah. yeah. We just yeah. went to where you went, where you felt like you saw a body. Yeah. And we heard a. She we heard both a heard the same whistle, bell, sink. Yeah. Like, there was a lot out there. It was, yeah. Yeah, so very disconnected from reality now. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's go back like two of them. Two of them? Yeah. We're here to speak to whatever Elton communicated with, whoever is here. What is your name? Where are you from? And how old were you when you last visited here? 1,200 or like 300. I don't know what it was, but it was 100. Are you a positive or a negative spirit? 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 Are you a positive or a negative spir
clear as day. Negative. I don't know what it said at the end, but negative, clear as day, and it said it was a hundred something years old. Hundred or twelve hundred? Something hundred. It was something hundred. Twelve hundred, something hundred. What would you call yourself? Are you a being? Are you a spirit? Were you a person at one point? Can you tell us anything about yourself? What are your feelings about people like us coming to visit here and to interact with you? Is this something you enjoy? Is this something you don't like? It was a laugh. <laughs> Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more... That's a yes. Has anybody come in to this forest in the last week, at least where we are right now? Do you have more energy during the night time? When the sun comes up, do you go away? No, and we no, haven't no. listened to the last one, but those two scared us. Thank you for speaking with us. Mm. We are going to head back, and we will take your messages with us. If there's anything else, tell us now any last messages you have. If there's anything you'd like to say to Elton when we get back, what would it be? There's literally whispers right at the end. Ooh. Do that again. Oh my god. Get out right now. Dude, that's insane. That is insane. That's that is insane. Get out right now. That is insane. Clear as day. I've never hear so clear in my oh, life. Oh, like it's like mustering up and it goes, yeah. he needs to get out right now. Yeah. Should we try to finish these stories before? We can try, but there's no, absolutely no way we're reading them all while the candles are still lit. Yeah. Uh, but we did a test while you guys were gone. What did you test? We've left the REM pod out, cooled it down, got it back to core temperature, put it back in the center to see if it went off. It still was went going off. off as we were reading. Really? Okay, I thought maybe it was yeah. a flame. Moved it over there, get away from the flame. Yep. As we're reading, still going off. Yep. Moved it over there, still going off. Yep. So this thing is just constantly going off because as we keep reading, it's stirring up more energy. And earlier, Evan pointed out that all the fire was curling to the center. Yeah. Mm. It, it wasn't going in any particular mm. direction. It no, was just right. going on both sides. It was going. To yeah. How can center. wind? How can wind go this way and that way at the it's same time? It's just completely curling it to the center. Yeah. And whatever it was caused them all to burn two times faster than they're supposed to. Yeah. So now we're down to whatever these candles are. I mean, maybe we can try and read them eight. before. Like eight stories. Well, let's just, might as well try, right? Oh, sure. yeah, it's, it's the lady in white trying to protect get us you. out. Yeah, tell us like, to stop. stop us from doing this. Um, that thing's the you on to read right now. You can hear it. Oh my god, look at that. As if it's like, hey, keep reading these stories. Let's do it. Um, okay, you can read as a group, speed run them, yeah. and then send you guys off. Yeah. Alright, I'm not going to put any candles out, unfortunately, because I think the name of the game now is to read these stories before all the candles are out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Hello, I couldn't sleep, so I thought now would be a good time to post this. So I have an eight-year-old daughter. I will be calling her Leanna for the sake of my child's privacy. My child's privacy. I am a single father and it hasn't always been easy, but we have managed before the start of Corona. We had moved into a new house in Northern Germany, which is close to my parents. Soon after we settled in, Leanna started to tell me about her new friend, quickly telling me only she could see him. I brushed it off as she had always been creative, and since we were under lockdown, I thought it was normal. Especially since one of my friend's sons had also had an imaginary friend. Throughout the next few months, she would tell me about him and how he'd come to play with her once I put her to bed. And he knew magic, and how his favorite color was blue. I started to get a little worried as she seemed to know a lot about this friend. At first, I just thought it was because she was missing her real friends and my parents. 
so I started to spend even more time with her, even doing my work hours beforehand so I could spend the rest of the day with her. But she still kept talking about this friend, but everything changed two nights back. I had woken up randomly around 3 a.m. I could just feel something wasn't right, so I got up and went to go check on Leanna. She was sleeping in her bed, uh, though her blanket was a little different than how I had left her. I figured she had just moved. But as I was leaving, just in the corner of my eye, I saw a figure in the window that looks out into the woods outside of our home. I looked at it for a good two minutes before it simply disappeared. I really couldn't figure out what it was. Some part of me was thinking it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but that day I asked her to draw me a picture of him. And after 20 minutes or so, she gave me the drawing of a man with a man red with hair, a man of red with hair, about three times as tall as her, holding a sort of rope that is tied around her neck like a leash. I don't even know what to make of it, to be real with you. I sent it to my mom and the single dad group I'm in, and they all said it was scary as hell. I really don't know what to do at this point, and I'm becoming worried for my child. I'm just hoping all of this really just is in her mind, but I do not know anymore. I am not putting out candles, because we don't have enough left. Yeah. One night last week, I was having a horrible time sleeping throughout the night. I was too hot, then I was too cold, etc. When I finally stopped tossing and turning around 3 a.m. and closed my eyes. Through the trees. I'm so sorry. What's I'm up? Done. Interrupt you, but. What's up? Something just ran through these trees. Like, like actually? Yeah, like, it's, it's, I mean, like gear sounding, like that, that heavy. That's what, Corbin. Yeah, no, that's what you were saying, hearing too. I said heavy, something heavy is out there. Who has the thermal thing? Oh yeah. Thermal goggle. Oh, you, sorry, you can keep reading. I'm gonna keep looking. I'll take Does that it, thermal from you though. But we're, we're thinking physical here. Are we? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's, it sounded yeah. like a deer, but... But deer aren't... No, not all the way out here. My mom passed away in 2016 at the age of 56 from cancer. She was in a hospice and died in her home. One of her favorite songs, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which I added to her memorial video. Fast forward months later, I was cleaning up my home, or her home, of her belongings by myself. There was no one else there. At one point, I have, I have an emotional breakdown and step outside to collect myself. Once I ret when I return, I hear the music coming from the other side of the house, which immediately struck me as weird. And as not only was I there alone, but the electricity in the house had shut off. I follow the music to the bookshelf, where I find it emanating from a snow globe. It's motion activated, and it only plays music when it's picked up. The song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I think I think we should send the two of you off to, to investigate before like we lose all our tools, because I'm watching yeah. the, all the batteries like die right now. Yeah. But it's like, we, we still might have like two and a half hours to go to finish this. Okay. Sounds good. All right. all right, we'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. Evan and I will be commun that's us communicating with you now. We are apprehensive. Okay. There's no need to be apprehensive. We don't mean any harm or disrespect. Uh, we're here attempting to figure out about this evil entity. Right. And our guardian. Let's uh, go that way. Yeah. Anyway, a few weeks ago, our cat Dublin goes missing out of the blue. We search high and low, put up flyers the whole nine yards, but there's no sign of him anywhere. We're all devastated. That was like my stomach or something. Did you hear that? That was like a growl. That was your stomach? That was from like right here. But it was the weirdest noise I've ever heard. Dating for five years and I have never heard you do anything <laughs> like that. I've never heard my <laughs> body do that. It was like here, my chest. We search high and low, put up flyers the whole nine yards, but there's no sign of him anywhere. We're all devastated. That was like my stomach. Did you hear that? That was like a growl. That was your stomach? That was from like right here. I'm here to get something off my chest that's been haunting me since last week. I recently joined a coven. I was excited to explore my newfound interest in the occult and learn from experienced practitioners. We gathered in this dimly lit room, surrounded by flickering candles and the scent of incense. It felt normal and what I sort of expected. The atmosphere was charged with energy. Ha! Ah, stop it. As we prepared for the ritual. Are you serious? I was nervous, but excited, ready to embrace the mysteries of magic. As the ceremony began, 
I watched in awe as my fellow coven members chanted incantations and invoked ancient deities. No way. Everything seemed to be going according to plan until one of the women, let's call her Alara, stepped forward. Alara raised a dagger to her eye, and before I could even comprehend what was happening, she made a deep incision, drawing blood. I recoiled in horror as it trickled down her cheek, staining her skin. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. This wasn't the kind of magic I had signed up for. This was dark, twisted, and utterly terrifying. What chilled me to the bone was the way the other members of the coven reacted. They didn't flinch or protest. Instead, they continued their chants and with unwavering focus as if Alara's self-inflicted wound was just another step in the ritual. I wanted to run, I wanted to scream, but feet rooted me to the spot, trapping me in a nightmare of blood and darkness. When the ceremony finally came to an end, I stumbled out of the room in a daze, my mind uh, reeling with questions and doubts. I hadn't been back to another coven meeting since. The memory of that night still haunts me. I don't know if I'll ever find the courage to return, but one thing's for sure, I'll never forget the horrors I witnessed. Jeez. Is it you? That's pretty remarkable timing. Yeah. Literally with the energy and everything. Oh. I'm gonna start taping because we're definitely not going on the path. Yeah. Danger. Uh, what what kind of danger? Is going down this way dangerous? Here. Let me just put a piece of tape on this tree. I've never used these before. So that's where we're gonna start, right there with the tape. Yeah. Okay. So from here, if you could tell us what direction to go, left and right, again, I don't even know. It, does that mean tell us to go back? One's move. One is straight. One, one did not move. And one turned around. So I don't know if that is the guardian, but both my hands are perfectly even. We're going to move forward. When I was a dumb kid, my brother and I were playing around on the stairs. I was at the top jumping around in a pillowcase. I slipped, obviously, and went tumbling down backwards. Everything went in slow motion, as things sometimes do when your life is in peril. I watched one of our cats being pulled backward about five feet by her tail. Oh, okay, here, we're back to Elton's tape. All right. People can't hear me. I can't hear you. We could hear you. We would like for you to talk to us so we can share your stories, share the reasons why maybe you came here, and hopefully send that message to other people so they don't make the unfortunate decisions. I hate to say that in that term, but if we can affect one, one person's life and save that, that would change it. Lots of things. Right. What is making you feel so angry or negative? Can you point in the direction for us to go? Should we continue on the path? Do we deviate off the path, or do we keep going straight? Something's wrong. What's wrong? Okay, straight. Let's keep going. From three until 13, I lived in a nice home out near Yosemite National Park. Nothing super spectacular about it, four bedrooms, a den, dining room, and the norm. 
just down a little dirt road, and if you've ever been around those parts, you'll know, miles away from civilization. My whole childhood, I was visited by this girl in white. She never spoke. I would just wake up at night and see or feel her there. I asked my dad, and his response every time was, the men in our family can see ghosts. My rationale for this was that we had some sort of mild schizophrenia running through our family. It didn't bother me. She didn't look like other people. There was just something off about her. After my father died, my mother decided to sell the house and went through a realtor. We never once had contact with the buyers, only knew them by name. The buyers had a son who went to the same school as our old neighbors, dear friends of the family. The son who moved into my old house apparently went to school without sleep repeatedly complaining that there was a girl who watched him at night and that he needed to get out. First one off on wake it wake us up in the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And the a girl, girl in white. white. The girl in white was the more that one was like Oh is that what it was? Yeah. It went right off when it said girl in yeah, white. Yeah it said I was visited by this girl in white. She never spoke. I would just wake up at night and see or feel her there. And yeah. the last words are what the words were that told you get out. Anyone here with us still? Is our guardian with us still? Or has that person left? Right, let's stop here for a second. Yeah. Did you hear that? No, what? I heard a... <sighs> Was that you? That whispered next to my ear? Was that you that went... <sighs> person left. Yeah. Did you hear that? No, what? I heard a... <sighs> recording. Yes, our cameras are recording, so hopefully it got that noise. Again, I'm going to ask you to point us in the direction to go. Uh, if you could point one of these rods in the direction. Otherwise, we will keep continuing on the path. Protection. Thank you, that's what we want. Thank you. Thank you, Guardian, for being here. <laughs> they weren't moving for a little bit. This one drifted a little bit to the left. Okay. And then snapped back on center. <laughs> it's almost like... Almost like the, the devil wants us to go this I make noises. The, you just heard? Yeah. But yes, yes, it's, again, the two entities battling each other. Right. That it puts some negative energy to take us off the path that we already know is... Let's, I'm curious. Let's try. I'm curious. Well, we're going to have to start marking, though. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put these away for a minute. Wow, the ground just sinks. Oh, yeah. Am I dead? Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's a heavy one. Who, who are you? This evening, my husband was coming up to pick me up from late class. It's extremely foggy out, so not many cars were on the road. However, one car seemed to be ho hovering right next, right next to him. He stopped at a light, and he got the sense that a person in this car was watching him. He turned his head to look at the woman in the car, and her body was twisted towards him. She started staring directly into his eyes. She had an eerie smile on her face, probably could have brushed it off, except that woman in the car was me. The exact same thing happened again the next three lights before she turned. He said it looked exactly like me. He was sure it was, except I definitely was not on the road and it wasn't my car. He shook. He's a pretty solid dude and he was shaking and, and in tears. Again, just looking and talking about nature and everything, look how beautiful that moss is up there right and it's just i, I just hate talking about it because it oh, oh shit. no no no, no I, I should talk about it or n I, I don't know do you want us to continue this way basically what i'm trying to get at it's it's a shame that this place has gotten its nickname from such a terrible thing. When it's so beautiful. Right. Okay, maybe try Panasonic here. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yep. Rosemary. Rosemary. Could take it two ways. The herb or a name. And talking about the greens and beautiful, maybe it was someone's favorite. I'm a good person. Good. Good. Okay. Maybe our guardian's back. I'm glad. It was supposed to be just a fun Airbnb experience ghost hunting while out in the desert. Something fun to do in a remote area that didn't have too many options. It was that or axe throwing or bowling, so a night drive to look for these skinwalker creatures seemed fun. And well, it was only $20 a person for a few hours. My family and I had tagged along with the ghost hunters eager to experience the thrill of the unknown. As the night went on, it became clear that the group was more interested in having a good time than taking the paranormal seriously. I'll spare you the details of their bad jokes, but what matters is, they started joking around saying skinwalker as much as possible, laughing as they then connected a microphone to a speaker and yelled it out into the into the desert night. Not an ordinary speaker, this thing was like a loud PA system you'd have at a football game. We tried to warn them to tell them that they were playing with fire. They just brushed us off, convinced that nothing could harm them. Even we knew that saying the word was known to draw them in. That's when we saw them. Two figures emerging from the darkness. Stop it. Their forms twisted oh. and distorted. Their eyes burning with an overworldly light. Otherworldly light. The skinwalkers, drawn to the group's reckless behavior, were coming for us. We scrambled to get into the car, our hearts pounding, our hearts pounding with fear as we slammed the door shut and peeled out into the night. But no matter how fast we drove, the skinwalkers kept pace with us, their unearthly speed defying all logic. Jesus Christ. We could hear their eerie cries echoing in the darkness, their voices filled with malice and hunger. They were toying with us, toying with our fear, and we knew that if we didn't find a way to escape, we'd become their next victims. <coughs> we drove for what felt like hours, our nerves frayed, and our minds consumed with terror. But finally, just as we were about to give up hope, we saw the light of civilization on the horizon. I don't know how we didn't crash, driving through every tumbleweed and over every rock and ditch imaginable. The ghost hunting team dropped us off at the same gas station we met them at, the last thing they said to us was, it was this, or bowling, right? I'll just start at basic. Our guardian, can you tell us if we are going the right way, or were you trying to take us off the path? Our guardian, are you currently battling the negative energy that is forcing any anything upon us standing behind you oh my god dude you know what's crazy i literally heard something that was like behind us and it says standing behind us that's why i pointed at you what who who's standing behind us i, I just stopped it it's okay i'll do one more anything upon us. Standing behind you. Oh my God, dude, you know what's crazy? I literally heard something that was like behind us and it says standing behind us. When I was in high school, I worked as a courtesy clerk at Albertsons. People were always telling me that they saw me somewhere in town when I wasn't there. One day when I got out of class at the end of school, I had to go straight to work. I wouldn't get home till just after nine that night. So I walked in just after nine and said, hi people, to my mom and my sisters. And they all looked confused. My mom asked me where I was coming from. I said that I'd been at work. My mom and my older sister said, no, you haven't. You came in hours ago. You said, hi people, and went upstairs. I said, no, I didn't. I hadn't been home since I left at seven this morning. So all four of us went upstairs to my room to see who came home. My door was closed. I usually leave it open. The light was on. The TV was on. Open the door, nobody was there. But wait, it gets weirder. In high school, we had a secondary school called the Skill Center. It was a place that had a collection of vocational classes you could take. For instance, I took TV broadcasting, web design, and forestry. One day I was waiting for the bus to leave for Skill Center after my broadcasting class, and a teacher I'd never met ran up to me and said, Zashiba, you need to come back to class. I had never been in her class, but apparently I'd been missing for the last few sessions. I tried to explain I wasn't in her class, but she seemed to know who I was. She took me to the office thinking I was ditching. We go in and I tell the office clerk my name and she looks me up. Sure enough, there I am in broadcasting like I said, but there I am under my stepdad's name in her class. 
under my stepdad's last name in her class. I went by both names. It was a bit confusing, but both names were relatively unique. So it's not like there would have been a random person that looks just like me in her class. It's just extremely unlikely. I had been in her class for the entire semester until I mysteriously stopped showing up. I turned into work and everything. Even my signature was on it. One day, this doppelganger simply stopped showing up. No one ever saw him again. I think the common theme of activity tonight has been like the doppelganger stories. You know, mirroring, yeah. mirroring and doppelgangers mirroring, has, been, yeah. has been a huge thing. I mean, look at this thing. It's still ripping. Yes. Oh, it's wild. When I was around 9 to 10 years old, I remember waking up to see a large shadow standing at the foot of my bed. I was living with my dad at the time. He's a very large... He has a very large five-floor a Terrence house built in the 1800s. Every so often, there would be an unexplainable event happen, such as footstep, footsteps, when there's no real, when no one's there, or, or voices. On the night this happened, it was just my dad and I at the house. My sister was staying with mom at the time. I woke up and noticed the door in my room was wide open. I normally sleep with it closed. Does that sound exactly like the last one? Yeah. Then I became aware of a large, around seven foot tall, shadow-like figure watching me from the end of the bed. When the figure noticed me looking, it seemed to melt into the floor, and the door of my room slammed shut. Understandably, I was slightly traumatized by the whole experience. I asked my dad the next day if he uh, was in my room, and he denied the knowledge of the event. He's not the type of person to, who likes jokes. This is insane for the record. That it went off the entire duration of you reading, which was like a minute and a half. And now it stopped. And it just stopped. Are we like how many are left in there? Are we close to done? Not really. Okay, I thought maybe that's what was happening. Like we were almost at the end here. Who was standing behind us? Was it our guardian? Was it the evil entity? Or something else. Cutting. Yeah. Okay. Who was standing behind us? Was it our guardian? Was it the evil entity? Or something else? Cutting. Our guardian. Can you tell us if we are going the right way, or were you trying to take us off the path? Our guardian, are you currently battling the negative energy that is forcing any Correct. anything Correct. on us? Standing behind you. Oh my god, dude, you know what's crazy? I literally heard something. That Nothing. It, there, there was like some. I don't want to say. There's stuff, nothing clear. There, yeah. Nothing clear. Just all these formations and the roots and just, it just layers upon layers and. Yeah. What is that? Do you know what that is? Sorry, my hands are shaking like crazy. Like that looks like there, plastic debris and stuff. Am I tripping? No. Um, it's definitely something light colored. You want to check it out? Should we? I feel like we should. Yeah. Across I, I get, we, we've seen a bottle and a, some fabric. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Okay. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I really hope not. Let's mark. Mark something in front of you. Yep. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Oh. oh my god, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, wait, 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 before we... Listen. Before we continue. Okay, we don't know what it is, it's a pile of trash. There's a... We don't know what it is, it's a pile of trash. It's okay. So, 
here's the thing. So talking, think, thinking out loud. Uh huh. I'm listening. Is I, I, I don't think as of right now we should just go and look at it. Um, I would say it would be smart of us to go back and say it what we found and just all come together well, i don't know about all coming together or what i don't know do we mark that tree yet i did not i was putting around it and sorry I out. it's okay let's let's mark this tree i'm gonna do mark a few actually i mean we if we come here we'll know the area jump over here real quick. I just saw my cat that we put down a few days ago. To start off, I'm not religious. I do not prescribe to a religion. I was not under the influence of any drugs. Oh, I have a great story. This happened when I was around five or six years old. I lived in this isolated house. There was pretty much no one around for miles. We had a car garage. Me, my sister, and cousin were playing at night around 10 p.m. At one point, me and my sister were trying to hop on my cousin's back since he was the tallest, and we all ended up facing the garage wall. At this point, it felt like someone was watching me, so I turned. I kid you not, there was this transparent-looking man standing in front of our house, just staring at me. I froze and stared back to see, what I, to see if what I was seeing was real. We locked eyes for at least four seconds, which felt like eternity. My plan was to keep an eye on him until the others also turned to confirm what I was seeing was real. But at this point, I couldn't hear my sister laughing or my cousin. It was quiet. I kept... Whoa! Is that our guys? They're that Whoa. way. Whoa. That sound came from that way. That was a, that, okay, so first off, what did you guys feel? I just heard like a, whoa, whoa, whoa. It was like a, whoa. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. And this thing is not going off. What, it's going on for the first time? Yeah. Oh my God. My plan was to keep an eye on him until the others also turned and confirm what I was seeing was real. But at this point, I couldn't hear my sister laughing or my cousin. It was quiet. I kept... Whoa. Is that our guys? They're that Whoa. way. Whoa. That sound came from that way. That was a... That... Okay, so first off, what did you guys feel? I just heard like a whoa, whoa, whoa. It was like a whoa. Yes. Whoa. Ooh. And this thing is not going off. What? Wow, that's going on for the first time. Yeah. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? That was the first time I heard that noise. That was, it sounded like it was far but extremely loud i'm actually watching the flashlight start to turn on now too okay whatever we're doing is working i mean we're getting more noises more k2 more flashlight that thing's off right now yeah yeah, yeah i turned it off a long time it was it basically was doing this it was yeah, just all the time going uh -huh. the whole time and i was like okay it's literally at to a point where i'm about to turn this off exactly we've already proven that this is working like it's it can't go any off any more than that around look around look around make sure nothing's around oh my god okay here i can't tell but there's a lot of stuff going on over there dude yeah a lot and for all we know it could be someone that just camped out <laughs> but i what are you thinking? I don't see anything like, I don't, I, I see trash, debris, you know, but I don't see anything like defined. That blue, there's a blue bag, blue something. Let's see if we can mark this tree and just get a little okay. closer. I just, I don't know. I mean, I guess if we look, let me put this away. If we look from a distance, right there. I, don't know that, I just there's just so much going on over there. I don't know. Yeah, here 
he restarts the trash. Hey, where? Right here. Let's see. There's something right here. Where? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be curious. Be the one. Cause I, I mean, here, I guess here's the thing, at the end of the day, as much as I do not want to find someone out here, we owe the respect to get that person taken care of. Right. They do not deserve to be out here. Right. So that's the way I'm gonna I'm gonna treat this. Okay. I like that mindset. I, I, I just yeah. I don't, I don't know why that realization just came over me. Okay. But but. Okay. Yeah. Wash the floor then, right? Just be careful. If you see anything. Baby steps. Yeah, we'll take it slow. Wow. I didn't even know it was possible. It's going off like a Geiger counter in the it's middle of Chernobyl. Literally, yes. So now I'm curious since it's been a while. Are all three going to go off at the same time now? I mean, yeah, it's going to be at a point where yeah, we have you to just got to turn it off. Yeah. I've been a mortician for over a decade and have never had any issues with anything paranormal. Around six months ago, a new girl started working at the funeral home. She and her family claim to be sensitive, do different divination rituals, and are psychic. She's even admitted to me that she has done black magic to get back at an ex-boyfriend. So here's the deal. Like I said, nothing has ever happened to me regardless of the funeral homes I've worked in. I've been there alone all hours of the night. Nothing. So the past few months, weird things have started happening. My other co-worker has had weird things happen at her home. Like things randomly appearing, her son is sleepwalking and speaking to someone outside, or pictures of flying across the room. At the funeral home, we've heard whisperings on multiple occasions and doors slamming. Now comes my turn. The other night, I'm embalming alone, and I thought I kept seeing someone standing out at the corner of my eye, but I kept telling myself it was my mind messing with me. The door that leads outside is right outside of the room where I'm embalming. I have the door open to the embalming room. The door that goes outside has a metal bar that you pull to latch and lock it. Everything is locked, obviously, since I'm alone. So no more than five minutes after I keep seeing someone standing out in the corner of my eye, I hear a massive slam against the metal bar on the door. It was so loud I thought about it. I thought out loud I had a heart attack. My main question here is what's y'all opinion? Do you think it's someone I've helped over the years making themselves known, or do you think it's more? I personally think the new girl brought something with her. Her grandmother has even told me that she has an attachment. I'm terrified and really don't want to work alone. I'm afraid if it's more than just a spirit cleansing, we'll make it more upset and make things worse. Help. I think I have to turn that off. It's just yeah, going. It's too much. I have turn never off. seen anything like this before. I've never seen that thing do that. What is it? It's still going. Girl. What is it supposed to mean? It just, it, it doesn't do that. Right, no, but like, why is it doing that? Why? Yeah, well, it has to why? Be, oh, and the flashlight just turned off. Yeah. It has to be all the energy that we've I actually... I'm wondering if it's... Can I just try one thing? You can keep reading. Accumulated. Why is like the box itself... It, whoa. Whoa. The box itself? Why would it's the box itself... Energy? Is it where all box? the stories are stored? Yeah. This is the ritual box. Wait, wait, look at that, actually. The That's wooden it. box is giving it... Energy. Like, every, everything is coming... Like, there's energy all around, which we would assume... Everything we've done, but it's like... The box itself... Is making it spike. What the hell is that about? It there's was. no reason why the box itself should be doing that. I don't know. Like, there's nothing in the box besides papers. But papers of stories. I mean, there's nothing in the box, it's just more papers. But it is a ritual box. Oh my god. What is that? Is that cigarettes? No. Nah. What is that? It's like a uh, Mac. Oh, no, it's a package. Come uh, over. Maybe. Fire starter? Yeah, logs. And it has a match. I'm assuming some sort of fire starter. Careful, careful. Gloves. Gloves. Where? Right there. Gloves. Oh, yep. Oh no. There's just so much stuff. Bottles, water bottles. Oh my god. And uh, again, I'm just in 
a positive way for all we know. There could just be someone here, and well, if there was somebody here, maybe they already been taken out. Um, or your food the campground. Because I mean, it is a very open area. better about this now low-key a little bit right these are all tools I mean this looks like maybe it was like again, I'm trying to think positive no yeah but to leave all this here though you know what I'm saying and this is this is to cook yeah water bottles oh my god is that what I think it is what what the, these tied up stuff is this ribbon that, is that, that what they call that it looks like ribbon yeah i don't like it i don't like this at all that's fine we can turn around because i again just look i i don't think we need to investigate we came here to make sure but it is a deserted we'll call it campsite Let's just, let's just look around this campsite at least. Ribbon. Is it usually next to? I have no idea. Okay. But again, why? Thinking, why would there be a ribbon right there? If the camp, you clearly can see the campsite. You don't need a ribbon as a marker. Right. Unless I'm missing something. This has been eating away at me for months. It's some seriously messed up stuff. I don't know who else to talk to about it. A while back, I stumbled upon these super creepy videos online. You know the kind where people are doing all sorts of messed up incantations and rituals. I thought they were just for entertainment, like some twisted horror movie stuff. I chalked it all up to fake YouTube bullshit being done for views. But then weird things started happening. Like I'd wake up in the middle of the night, drenched in sweat with this overwhelming feeling that something was inside me, something dark and sinister. At first, I brushed it off as just my imagination running wild. But then, one night, it hit the fan. I woke up to find myself standing over my parents' bed holding a knife in my hand. I couldn't remember how I got there or what I was doing. It was like I was watching someone else control my body. I freaked the hell out, dropped the knife, booked it out of there before I could do anything I'd regret. I went right to my room trying to figure out what the hell was happening to me. And that's when I remembered those videos. I must have been stupid or something. Watching that messed up shit realizing the consequences now i'm terrified that i've somehow invited something into my life something that's taken control of me and wants to do who knows what i don't know what to do i'm scared for my life and the lives of my parents my dad stepped on the knife when getting out of bed in the morning it didn't cut him too bad luckily but i never told him how i got there and they're also pretty freaked out about it hey dude what do you have in your chest right now me yeah like a capel no, that big metal thing. This? The mm -hmm. knife? Yeah. The knife? Yeah. This is the whole story about getting stabbed by the oh friend in the middle of the night. God. So maybe we should like hide that away from you. I don't think, well, it'll be maybe away from me, but like I don't even want the knife to be out there. In the wild. Without anybody, like without any of us being in control of it. Okay, well, like, just don't stab us. Too. I'll try my best. Thank you, appreciate that. Don't get possessed and stab us. I'll try my best not to get possessed. Stab possessed. us by your doppelganger. Oh my god. Dude, this oh, is, I don't is like a, this. That's a very, very common theme between all these. Yeah. I think it's probably and the most common. Oh my god. It hasn't gone off until we talk about you stabbing us with your knife. No, it hasn't gone off until we talk about doppelgangers. No, we talk about your doppelganger yeah, stabbing like us knife. with the knife. It wasn't about me or the knife. We literally haven't had this go off until we started talking about a knife story and how you're gonna stab us with a knife while we're sleeping tonight. Okay, we're gonna find out. I think we should throw the knife somewhere very far away that no one can find it. Well, it. I don't know if throwing a knife would be I don't want someone else idea. to get the knife. Exactly. Well, who's gonna find it if you throw it into this forest? I don't... Well, what you did say we who's hear out find there? It? Whatever I mean, we heard. Who are we gonna it find? I don't like the idea of throwing the knife because it wants the knife to stay close so that way you can stab us with it. 
It like legit like, didn't go off until. Where are you telling us that the theme of these stories is the knife, or is it the doppelgangers? It's your doppelgangers. And the mimic. <laughs> Doppelganger. Your doppelganger is going to stab us. Yeah, so why would we throw it to my doppelganger to get it? That's true. We know that I'm here. He would know where it is. If Sleep with it I'm... in your pants. <laughs> Sleep with it in your pants, yeah. and if you roll over, you pay the consequences. Oh my god. You get think out I'm going to be relaxed enough to sleep tonight? You know what's crazy, though? I think yeah. your dowsing rod, every single time, pointing back, pointing oh. forward, I feel it, like. It was like a 50 50 split. Right. I feel like the guardian doesn't want us to see what's in front of us, but the devil wants us to see that. And I have a feeling, and I know you're being positive. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just feel like there's something there. There's a reason it's called devil's advocate. <sighs> to whomever guided us to this location or tried to take us away, is there anything you could tell us about what happened? You see that there's a site here that has a lot, a lot of trash, debris, gloves. What happened here? What, what, it, did you want us to see that? Was there more if we continue this journey going straight? I think it just ran out of space. No way. Yeah. So I know you've already told us this like twice before, but since it's been a few minutes, it'd be really off timing right now. Uh, are you actually 1000% telling us that Corbin or Corbin's doppelganger is going to stab one of us with a knife tonight? Could you like... Oh my Holy sh... Elton. That wasn't, that wasn't going off for a while. I know. For a long time. I know. For a long time until you asked it. And it question. still hasn't. And it's like, yeah. Make it go off for how many people he's going to stab tonight. Elton. Elton. Or is my doppelganger in this forest? Is he not going to stab everyone? No, 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 what you're about to say right now. The story earlier was, yeah, I know, I know is say. he going to stab himself? If you're the protective spirit, we need to know. Talking about screwdriver. Yeah. I guess it's close enough. <laughs> it wasn't immediate like the last one. <laughs> I still want to keep the knife on my chest though. <laughs> well, I'll just I'll take it from here. <laughs> Corbin! <laughs> Don't stab the obelisk. Oh yeah, you're right. I shouldn't. <laughs> I gotta keep the I gotta Elton keep you. gotta keep the equipment safe. What are we supposed to do? How is everyone so casual about this? What are we supposed to do? Like, what? <laughs> because what I think we, it's, should we I think tie it's him up? The like, what do we do? Thing. I think it's more the mimicking thing than it is the doppelganger. Well, it's it's still yeah. Knife is still gonna go in someone. Yeah, but you were saying that it, that I was gonna stab someone first, and it wasn't the theme of the mimicking. But I don't know. They said doing this ritual opens people up to. Well, I'll Whoa. do that with the knife, I guess. Are they over there now? No. No. Lights on There's the other There's 100% side. lights coming from over there. They have to be over there now. They yeah, they don't have a strong enough light to no, cut through. Right there. I can see it. Yeah, but the I light is not. Saw I know, I saw it too. I saw it too. Over I, there, twice. How bright? And bright enough, or even I, even I looked. By the time I turned, I could see what she was seeing. It was, a, at first it was a flash, and then it was like a, almost like a light was waving across. They said doing this ritual opens people up to... Well, I'll Whoa. do that with the knife, I guess. Are they over there now? No. No. Lights on There's the other side. There's 100% lights coming from over there. They have to be over 
there and could they yeah they don't have a strong enough light to no, cut through right there. i could see it yeah but the light is not saw i know i saw it too i saw it too over I, there twice Something's mm. over there with there, the light. There, there's just no shot. I mean, there I can see their light. And there's yeah. no shot that ripped all the way through. No, no, no chance. And it came from over there. It didn't come from in front of the trees. Otherwise, the trees would have lit up too. Our yeah. trees here. Yeah, exactly. No, don't leave us. What are you doing? Don't leave me with knife guy. Oh, yes, you're that. What'd you hear? I heard something from over there, like a like a like a, like a voice, a faint voice. Is that, that you? No. What's, now I hear Jerry. What was that camera sound? That was you. No. My cameras don't make sound; they just go beep. It was like a something. It was like a, in your body just you, made a camera. Wait, do you sound. have a? Uh, do you have the? The, the Polaroid's over here. It's off. What? You guys hear that? What'd you hear? I heard something from over there, like a like a like a, like a voice, a faint voice. Is that, that you? No. I, I swear to you, we're gonna hear that. To take a I'm still recording. It has not been a cut clip. It's still that was a camera five sound. hours and thirty eight minutes long. Taking a picture, three, two. That was a camera Something sound. right here just did. You heard that. Did you hear that? I heard the. Yeah, but, but I. But did you hear the camera sound? It sounded like that. that it sounded Almost. just like that. It was no, right I heard in front the, of you. <laughs> That's why I thought it was you, because it was no, just. Like, look behind the you. Camera doesn't make noise. This just does that. That was. That was weird. Is that a ribbon? It looks. Yeah, I mean, it's synthetic. Is that the same one? I think that's the same yeah. type that Elton oh, saw. Uh, I no, I think this is that uh, that was more of like a ribbon. This seems more of like a um, fiber, uh, like fibers woven together. What does that mean? Then? This is what looked like it was over there. God, dude, I don't like this. We, we literally marked the street too. Okay. We'll come oh back. God, we I think we'll come back then. I think we'll have to come back, right? Okay, well, so here. Where's the next marker? Right there. Where? Right here. Where is it? Right here. Okay, I'm gonna do this one too. Yep. Oh, my foot just went in a hole. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It scared me. Careful. Okay. I'm just putting more yeah. on the way back so that way, in case. We can easily find this. Yeah. Um, we can go back to the trail and go a different way. Yeah. If we want it to spend some more time. I'm running out of battery oh, on yeah. everything. Okay, where, where's the next marker? Okay. I'm really, really scared right now, Ma. I mean, and I'm looking at. Are you kidding me right now? Huh. Again. Dowsing rods, one forward, one backwards. Look at me trying to be all positive about it. Look at you being I'm all negative about feared. it. Literally, like this entire <sighs> investigation between today and yesterday has been the battle of like, exactly. the two. And, do you want to say another prayer? So, where is the tape? Right here, right here. Where? Right here. Okay. What? So, what, what is that? What? Come here. Do you see what I see right there? There's like a red dot. We can go to it. I don't, I don't see it. <sighs> nah, I don't want to go to it right now. Let's, let's okay. follow our mark. Nah, it disappeared. Oh! I understand. Huh. You're, it was like a red ball of light that's no longer yeah. there. Yeah. 
I thought you meant like a red dot on a tree, like a mark. No, red, red, red ball oh, of light. Yeah. Right. This is ours. Here's when we attempted to go off by accident. Yeah. Oh, there they are. They're right there. Okay. Oh. Okay. A thousand rods. Um, and one would always point in a rough direction of going straight -ish forward. Okay. And one would always point backwards. Opposite. And it was a hard backwards. Every time. No movement. Every time. And they right and left hand would switch. Sometimes it was this way, sometimes it was this way. So we went off trail at one point, started going around taping, and then we see a white piece of something. Okay. Trash, reflective, whatever. It's something. artificial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we start heading over there, and it was an entire camp. What? A bunch of debris, everything. Like, Talking like about supplies, like... food, water, all... Everything. All gone. But rubbish everywhere. We thought about coming back and saying, let's not go there, it, let's come back, talk about it, go yeah. as, I don't know. As a group or something. And yeah. I was like, wait a second, we, if there is someone there, they don't deserve to be out there, we should try right. to do whatever we can, come back, call, whatever. Okay. You know? Yeah. So we went, we slowly, slowly went there and tried to see what we could find, didn't see anybody. We eventually got to the center of the camp and just trash everywhere. But and I'm, and the, these are like, we were talking about there's equipments of boiling water stuff and like just yeah. everything. You know what I mean? And then there was a ribbon hanging from a tree and then on our way back, because our stuff was dying. One of the trees I marked also had that same ribbon that was in the camp. And well, I didn't what know, did your ribbon look like? A clear cling wrap ribbon or completely different? No, it, it was like a, a green woven material. Yeah, yeah, it's like gauze. Gauze. We saw gauze too. It wasn't necessarily gauze. No, it, it seemed not like gauze. A, like um, yeah, some sort of just woven, stringy. Like if you pulled it, but it wasn't okay. gauze. Mm. Uh, you found an entire camp. Yeah, entire. Like did you, multiple people so did camp. Did everyone extend beyond like my white tape? We we did? went off yeah. trail. We, we went would, barely. We would stop. And then asked the dowsing rods, and that's when one dowsing rod pointed that direction. And it led you to a camp? Yeah. Did it look like new? Did it look old? Like it like within it's been the, there for a long time? Within maybe a month? Yeah. And there was tarps. Two blue tarps and one green tarps. There were like multiple people? Multiple tarps. I mean, how big? How big? I, we didn't it touch was, it. It was, it was a, pretty big. The, the yeah. tarp, I mean, there were, yeah. Did you go in the tents? There was no tents. No tents. It was just so flat did you tarps. Go Oh, just, just flat tarps. Like, so maybe you just lay on just that tarp and that's it. Whoa. Just a bunch of trash. That's we didn't go any further because one, both of our stuff was about to die. The Panasonic that we were using died. Oh yeah, the speaker died. Yeah. To cover what's been happening this entire two days of polar opposite investigations, good versus evil, the entire time I'm trying to be positive on maybe it is a camp, maybe they left, like whatever. Yeah. And Jerry was negative and it wasn't until like wait a second, my dowsing rods were opposite. Everything we were getting was still yeah. polar opposites, mm -hmm. and now we're polar opposite, and it was just like, yeah. holy shit. Can I tell you something? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, other question. Yeah. Did you hear anything uh, yeah. non-human? That way. Did, th just, did you hear anything non-human without telling you anything else? There's a few, a okay. few times. What'd you, you hear? We, I heard <sighs> right next to my ear, and then next thing you know, we uh, asked, the, we were trying to talk to the Panasonic, and then um, this went off and said, standing, I uh, stood right behind you. Right behind you. Right behind you. Wow. So you didn't hear the hoo, 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 hoo. loud ass? No. no. Like, like demon dog barking? No. I mean, we were pretty far away. Yeah. But you, yeah, you there was thought like a, you were even closer to what we heard. No. I, you guys heard that way. I heard this. We thought it was you for sure. Oh, I heard it like no. absolutely like no. right there. You mean like how it's like this? Forward and backward. Uh, what do you mean? Surrounding. That's exactly what they were just talking about. Like, oh yeah. One going this way, one going that way. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so we went, and we we ended up marking it like crazy on the way out. But yeah. Straight back that way, kind of the direction you guys were going, and then hard that way. Yeah. The K2 went off so much that I had to turn it off, and also Corbin is going to stab us all tonight while he's asleep. I told him that. Yes. Huh? No, he found stab. that out through the spirit box. No, that's or through the, the, the REM pod. According to the REM pod, Corbin is going to stab us all with that knife uh, in our sleep tonight. Well, two things. One, Jerry's with Corbin, and two, taking from that, they're both the evil entities. Yes. 
Well, mm. and him too. Wait, they're both evil. Well, that hasn't gone off for like three wow. or four minutes. Yeah, it hasn't. Oh, yeah. And I was with Jerry. I was having oh, all, all the positive gosh. feelings, all the positive thoughts where Jerry was all negative. Yeah. Mine was all fear. Right, like we literally haven't had that go off and since the last time we talked about uh, is Corbin gonna stab all of us or is he gonna stab himself in his own uh -huh. sleep? Yeah. And now we bring that back up again and it's like reminding us indirectly in between, we're like, hey guardian, uh, lady, if you're here, and then Ginger sees this big white light up in the trees and you're not That's anywhere why nearby. we're standing. We yeah. see your light cutting through. They were looking, yeah, they were looking insane for Insane for your light to cut through. Oh. And we didn't say this, but he didn't hear it as well there's a camera, like you know a Polaroid, mm -hmm. like that, that thing, just right in front of him, just that camera yeah. sound. And I was like, okay, we do you take a picture right or something? We heard it. We heard, and it came from like right here, and like I had camera like this, and like camera, the camera only beeps. Yeah. And it goes beep, or beep, 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 beep. It doesn't like noise, and yeah. it came mm -hmm. from. I right said, you had, the, you had the Polaroid then, and it was right behind Ginger. It wasn't even close to him. It was the most clear thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Like okay, I hate to ask you this again because you've already answered oh, it no. four times in a row now. <laughs> yeah. Is Corbin going to stab himself in his sleep? Give me one little one little beep. If Corbin is going to stab himself in his sleep, give me like as many beeps as you want for how many people he's gonna stab, or give me like one big long one if he's just gonna go crazy and take us all out. His garden angel is probably like I am so tired of this. Yeah, exactly. What more can yeah. I tell you? I, I want to rebuttal to that. Okay. No rebuttal, that was everyone. What, was that long that enough? Was, that was a very long beep, and that was no rebuttal, everyone. I don't know if that was long enough. Don't that was know. one very long, like, legit, the only yeah. two times. No, that was going um, off. Yeah. Is, is Corbin stabbing everyone? Yeah, I guess I'm evil. Hey. You're also the... I don't know what else we can do here, and there's, I... If I'm evil, then, it's, then a knife is not gonna prevent me from like doing anything. It'll be like, anything. That's something an evil person would say. I, I think if you were to start, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think if you were to start choking me, at least I could wake everyone else up and we could like collectively get you off of me, but a knife, yeah. we're all done. Wow. Well, and and the fact that you brought a knife, by the way, this went off exactly. This whole started from a story about someone being like, I don't know what happened, but I was going to stab my parents with a knife. And this whole thing happened. And like, yeah. that's how the chain of events was. This was wasn't like sporadic or random. Sorry. It was like a chain of questions that yeah. have given us this answer over and over again. He is the most athletic one. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's, That's fair. I was not expecting the night to turn this way. But we are at a very negative, demonic territory. Yeah, I agree. And you know what this I mean? guardian white lady is like, hey, I don't know what else to do to tell you, but your friend's gonna try and murder you. Like, this lady is probably so over this right oh, now. She's been warning everybody, though, you know? Warning you to get out, telling us to run, like, the maybe fact that why. we're still maybe here. that's why we need to get out. Think of how many times we've been to locations or whatever, and they're like, you know, if you start to get these feelings, whatever, get outside, get some fresh air, get out of the area. Right. Yeah. We are deep in here. You can't just walk out the door and be like, okay, let me get some fresh air. No, right. you have to in actually here. get out. You have to right. And you have to track to be able to actually get out. That's a known thing that happens here is they come camping here while they sit and decide what they're going to do yeah. so like they'll make that like their home base away from everyone mm -hmm. and then they use that and venture deeper or return but my instinct is that if you were returning you're gonna clean up what you brought in especially so if that's you, everything right. behind especially one culturally yeah you're not in a, if all countries this is one that does not leave trash behind absolutely and they're valuable, so to me that seems like that might have been the base camp. Hence the ribbons to get out there, yeah. in case I change my mind, camping a few days, and they could be further back. But Sorry, like, I mean, why, why, why leave it? I feel like they would carry it all out with them. Agreed. Of all countries, if it was the USA, I'd be like, eh. Speaking of cleaning up trash, does that mean if... Oh, I know what you're saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep, if, yep. if the app's still there, that means they haven't found him. 
That's what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Right. Because they would clean it up. They would clean it that's up. That's exactly why. Yeah, that's a very good point. If the crews here that come and check once a month, yeah. they, they would clean it up as well. So it's yeah. fresh. Yeah. But if that it's is not a, that fresh, then... What, was, there, like, was there items there that you felt like, like somebody would totally bring that back? It wasn't... Them? There was no personal items. They're all food. Okay. There's Thanks. gloves, like work gloves. Yeah. Yeah, like somebody Tarps. just kind of went out there. Like some some of those like aluminum stands where you cook. Yeah, yeah. Water yeah. bottles. Like fire, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a very good point. If that was found by the by the teams that do come here, they would have removed it mm -hmm. without any doubt. All right. So we read the stories and then we go over there. Yeah, read the stories to complete this. Or should we go over there in the morning after we sleep? Let's read the stories and then yeah. decide. Yeah, read the stories and then, and then yeah, decide what if our free. lights go out, that's pretty... That is very true, yeah, because I think, like, if we're going there, it's for, like, a respectful reason exactly. of being able to, like, Find report it. it. I agree. Um, so, yeah, maybe we read the stories. Everything is spiking here tremendously. Yeah, let's focus on what we started. with light, mm -hmm. we can go over there and... and, and I was 13 and living in a small farming town. It was close to Halloween, so the change in seasons was in the air. My friend was staying the night with me, but by 10 p.m. we were bored and decided to walk to their house that was about two miles outside town. We reached the edge of town and the last streetlight illuminated, wow, the start of the empty country road we had to walk along. We didn't think twice about anything scary. It was mostly fields and tree lines, with the worst predator being the occasional coyote. We walked far enough down the road that the street light behind us was a distant oasis of light. It provide, provided just barely enough illumination to remind us it was not all empty fields along the road. There was also the cemetery that ran for a short section behind this part of the road. My friend tried to jokingly say scary things, but their words echoed hollowly in the silence. Just as we reached the end of the cemetery and the tree line that separated from the fields, we heard a noise. There was something in the trees and it was big, very big. That's what we were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. It was making a lot of noise, but it was not thrashing wildly. It seemed to be moving toward us slowly, but purposely. The sound of the dead tree limbs breaking as it pushed back them sounded like explosions in the darkness. This was the first time in my life I understood the saying, deer in the headlights. Even though my heart was hammering in my chest, adrenaline was being poured into my system, I was frozen. The primal part of my brain was screaming danger, but it was not providing me with any choices to pursue. It wasn't until a blur of movement crossed in front of me that my full mental faculties engaged. I was able to process the fact that the movement was my friend running past me down the road as fast as they could. I decided that was a valid option and took off after my friend as fast as I could. Eventually, we reached my friend's house safely. We spent the rest of the night theorizing what that was in the trees. In the morning, I walked back down to the road to town, past the cemetery. During the day, the eerie atmosphere was gone. My parents and I were taking a tour at a house we were looking to move into. I remember when we walked past one of the rooms downstairs, I got goosebumps when I looked into it. The lights were not working at the time. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. You did? It was like a, it was like a little growl. Past one of the rooms downstairs, I got goosebumps when I looked into it. The lights were not working at the time. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. You did? It was like a, it was like a little growl. The lights were not working at the time, so the realtor left it in dark, making it even creepier to me. Fast forward a few months, we moved into the house. I hadn't really thought about the room since then. One day, I was just kicking a ball around downstairs out of boredom. At one point, I swear I could see something out of the corner of my eye. I looked towards it and actually stayed for a split second, and then it vanished. It looked like a little girl wearing a bright white nightgown, and it was standing in the doorway of that room. It scared the crap out of me, so I ran upstairs and told my parents. They laughed it off and told me I was just spooking myself. A few weeks later, I was doing the same thing, kicking a ball around downstairs. Again, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. This time, I didn't look at it right away. I made an attempt to kind of glance at it and make it out just in my peripheral view. It was a tall, dark figure this time. Then I decided to look at it again, and it stayed for a split second and vanished. It was definitely a taller, dark male figure standing in the doorway of the room, and it was pointing inside of said room. Needless to say, I stopped kicking the ball around downstairs. Weeks later, I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. When I came back and tried to go to sleep, I heard knocking on the wall. My room shared a wall with the spooky room. 
It would knock a few times, then I heard what sounded like a baby crying in that room. Then the knocking would start again, then repeat. It went on for a while, I was too frozen with fear to investigate. I eventually fell asleep and had a dream about me walking past that room and I saw a tall man hanging from a noose in the middle of the room with the girl in the white nightgown crying in the corner and a little boy running in circles around the hanging man. Since then, I haven't had any other experiences with that room. My family thinks I'm just trying to spook them when I try to tell them about it. I am now living on my own and glad to be away from there. This one starts off strong. My friends and I watched someone jump off a bridge. Yeah. It's a Saturday night and we're hanging out by these cool rocks, our usual spot at the bottom of this canyon and near this old concrete bridge that's a few hundred feet high and goes over this little rocky canyon. We're just talking and having a good time. I think it was somewhere around 2 a.m. and a few of us see this young lady walking alone along the bridge, which honestly is a bit <coughs> weird to see in the middle of the night and it's a bridge that doesn't really go anywhere near something that you can walk to. She keeps walking at an odd, slow pace until she stops. At this point, we all see her. All of us 1000% saw her. Then she climbs onto the handrail, at which point every single one of us starts to realize what is about to happen. And we are now yelling and screaming. Anybody hearing that? Yes. Yes. What? They just happened twice. Yes, yes. It was, oh, oh. It sounded. Do you hear it, Evan? No. Okay, good. I'm glad you heard it. Yeah. Because it was the same sound that you were talking about before. It was... Okay. Because it was the same sound that you were talking about before. Okay. That was loud. Yeah, just, I mean. No, whatever that just we're was. We're really as far well. away from the road. We're really far from the road. Uh, I don't know. Alright. Yeah. Sorry. It was like drumming. Like... Get the I'm sorry if I'm blinding you guys, I'm just making sure. Freaking out is what I'm doing, okay. We are now yelling and screaming as loud as we can. Stop, no, let us come talk to you, just absolutely anything we can. It didn't matter. She falls forward and we hear this. That's not a car. It's like 3.08 in the morning right now. What is that? Oh, it sounds like a helicopter. It's like wrapping around. Dude. And then it stops like that. Almost like a horn. How did it go from there? What the fuck is that? I have no idea what that can be. Am I tripping? They wrapped around it us. It's hard, it's hard to hear where it is, where it's coming from. On a real world level, that's physically impossible. Yeah. To go from there to there, there's, it's like eight miles of forest. And then to get over there. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I don't like this. That doesn't make any sense. And then it's stopping? I hear it again. It's like going through I the forest. I hear it this way now. What could be making that sound? I don't even know from like real world. I, I can't think, I can't of, think of anything. anything that, in it's not car, motorcycle. No, it, it was like horn-like. It was almost horn-like. But what kind of horn could make its way around us like this? We're and deep also in the like forest. As low as that. A helicopter. It's not like there's a road that's in a circle around us. Yeah, helicopter. Helicopter is the only like, but there's no absolute no way. The way that it stops. Not at three. We would have no. Yeah. Not at three in the morning like this. No way. We literally just hit like 3.10 in the morning right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay, let's, I mean, we're on the final story. 10, stretch. 12, I don't know.
And I don't know how many stories are left. Okay, it didn't matter, she falls forward. We hear this blood-curdling scream. Oh God. <laughs> we all freeze looking at each other. It felt like an hour. We hear the sound of someone falling, crashing through the trees, and then hitting the ground hard. We're all freaking out at this point because someone just jumped off the bridge. We haul us over to the area where we heard the noise, ready to help whoever it was, but when we get there, there's no one, nothing. No broken branches, no leaves, no dust kicked up. We searched. All of us used our phone flashlights and checked every possible area, probably a football field sized area. We searched and searched, calling out for anyone who might need help, but it's like we're completely alone. No evidence or any sign at all of someone in the area. I can still hear that scream echoing in my head. Wow, that one's close to this place. The relationship I have with my own personal ghost. He's never spoken, never reached out, never done anything but smile, that vile smile from the darkness. Yet his silence speaks volumes, feeding into the narrative of my life, a narrative I've carefully constructed around his presence. Tonight as I sit alone in my room, I sense him again, the familiar chill running down my spine, the edges of my vision darkening until he is all I can see. The hat man, my constant companion, my tormentor, my muse. He's closer now than he usually dares. His smile is wider and more grotesque. And as the nausea builds, a thought occurs to me, more terrifying than any special visage ever could be. What if the hat man is not the one clinging onto me? What if I'm the one? What's up? What if? It just turned on. What happened? Someone just poked my hand. I thought I like put my hand on a stick. Really? What? Did you put weight That's on it? That's why I just checked. I was like, did I just put my hand... Okay. Did you put any weight on it? No, I just, my hand was like this and I felt it just go... Hey, yeah, you were just standing there. Weird. You were sitting there. Okay. What if the hat man is not the one clinging onto me? What if I'm the one clinging onto him? Unable to let go, afraid of what my life would be without this dark figure to blame my fears and failures on. The realization hits me like a punch to the gut, stronger than any wave of sickness he's ever induced. And then, just as I'm about to confront this thought to delve deeper into the implications of my own dependence, the hat man does something he's never done before. He steps forward out of the shadow into the dim light of my room. His smile widens even further, if that's possible. And for the first time, I see something like anticipation in his eyes or invitation. The room feels colder now, the air thick with expectation. And as he raises a hand beckoning, the story of the hat man and me hangs in the balance. An unfinished tale that's taken a sudden, unexpected turn. My best friend lost her significant other at a fairly early age, fairly young age. It was a shock to everyone and just horrible. They were very much in love and had a happy marriage. The temporary moved in with her after, shortly after his passing. During the few months that I lived there, she often went out of town to visit family while on long-term leave from work. I would pet sit their animals when she was away. They had one dog and three cats that were like children to them. The bedroom had two twin beds that were her significant other's childhood beds. Her dog would sleep with me and my little and my little dog in my bed even though it was crowded. Now several things happened that I knew were a result of him letting us know he was there during this time. Some are so unbelievable I won't dare share them. I was asleep one night after working a double as a waitress. Very tired, I woke up and saw a blinding white ball of light over the twin bed and their dog was just staring at it. The light was about the size of an exercise ball overall and brighter towards the middle. I was terrified. I screamed the dog's name so loud it hurt my throat and squeezed my eyes shut. I hid under the covers and fell back asleep. Some of these experiences I kept to myself because my friend was getting upset that these things were happening to me and not her. For whatever reason, he used to tell her he was with her. She's since met someone and gotten engaged. I never felt anything again once I moved out of the house. When I was 16, I woke up on a Wednesday night about 2 in the morning and there was a ghostly figure walking up in the middle of my bedroom floor. I froze and reached for the light on my bedside locker, but it wouldn't switch on. So as a coping mechanism, I decided the only thing I could do was to hide under the duvet and hope it all goes away. After about 10 minutes, I peek out and notice the light is now on. The room is empty and I managed not to urinate on the sheets, which is always a good thing. The female that was in my room was dressed in black and I could make the outline of her face out. She spoke softly saying, don't mind me. That didn't settle me in any way. In fact, I think it made it worse. 
So fast forward to that Saturday night. I had friends over and I had a new phone, which at that time was pretty cool because it had a camera on it. We were taking pictures and messing about. Two days later, I noticed in one of the photos that this lady was sitting, sitting at a chair in my kitchen table right behind where my friend was sitting. I freaked out. It was her and I thought I was losing my mind. For about a week after this, I noticed strange things in the house, like the cupboards in the, in the kitchen all being open and the front door being unlocked when I knew I locked it. I had terrible nightmares for, for this week too. I finally stopped bottling it in and told my parents what was happening. Once I had told my parents everything and showed them the photo, they took me to our uh, parish priest who, to my surprise, immediately came to our house with us. He opened the front door and back door and said prayers as he blessed the house and said a few words. An interesting thing he said was about the area I live in. He said it has seen so many strange things and frightening things on the hill, which he can speak about, but claimed what happened, which he can't speak about, but claimed what happened to me was minor compared to what others had endured. I asked more questions until he finally told me everything. We live on a mountainside in Ireland above a small town, which has become very built up with houses and activity. About three miles away, there is a narrow water castle around 3,000 years old, which is notorious for its hauntings and cruel history. I was informed that anyone killed in the castle would have been buried in the land where my house is, and there's a lot of activity and a lot of lost souls in the area. Hold. That's the last one. Okay, let's clean up. Yeah, let's clean up, okay. bring it down to one candle. Yep. Okay. Okay. Five and a half hours, maybe six hours later of doing this. Cold, isn't it? We are on the final, final yeah. story. Yeah. Is it cold, isn't it? It's hilarious. That's yeah. funny. Cold, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is cold. Final story, the 100th story, the 100th candle. And this is, according to legend, supposed to rip open a portal right where we're standing and suck us into the core of hell. Okay, well. Trees bear silent witness. Trees bear a silent witness. That is so oddly fitting, but also still as cryptid as it was last time. Back in June of 2020, my best friend, his wife, my dad, and some other friends all went on a ghost investigation at Benson Gris Mill. It is a 100 plus year old mill that was made by one of the leaders of the Mormon church at the time. Once I got onto the property, I instantly felt like I had an apple lodged into my throat. I thought it was anxiety, but I just brushed it off. We entered into a house that was on the property and tried to get an EVP recording. I felt like something was trying to shove me to the ground. I then met up with my friend in the basement of the mill and I began to cry for no reason. His wife helped me get out of the mill and calm down. After about 30 minutes, I felt the presence of a child telling me to go to the schoolhouse, as if the child was trying to comfort me. I found out later there was a little girl who died near the mill. I woke up the next morning with bruises on my neck. I went back again and something else happened. The next time we went there, we stayed in the school because there were too many people. We were able to get in contact with someone during our investigation. We don't know who. I felt like it was the child again. I asked who was their favorite person in the room and they said, you. I'm pretty sure it was a little girl. Hopefully not the spirit that attacked me. Ethereum. LOL. It's showing somebody on the floor. Right, right here. Right here. It's recording, yeah? The circle spinning? Mm-hmm. Okay. What just died? Final candle. K2's almost dead, too. Last. Okay, you don't want to go It won't go out. Holy. Three tries. K2. K2 is spiking immediately. Shadows awaited. The shadows awaited. Wow, I mean, literally the last candle and now it's spiking. All right. The ritual is complete. Summoning ritual too. I don't feel like I'm falling into the air, thank God. The first core. Can anyone teach me the grave? That's a tripwire. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone able to demon? And your SLS went off. The same it went time. off. Looking at it, and it's right there. You can map Whoa. it. You see it. It says figure. there's something right there, right yeah. next to the box. Hey, my chains. We're not sure what's supposed to happen now. Do 
the first positive thing <laughs> yeah. it's ever said. It yeah. said joy. It, it keeps One word. Showing me that there's somebody right right here. I actually, like, don't even know what was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, did yeah. I actually expect the earth to crack open? Did it work? You know? Should be that the veil is dropped again, right? That's the goal. Or... This is supposed to be like now there is a direct connection to like the spirit world. Yeah. Well, who, who do you want to talk to? Breathe. Said breathe. Breathe. I'm gonna flip it just so I can breathe it. Joy and breathe. Is there more? Is it because this, we open the? At least I don't know what we're supposed to do. Could be open breathe. positivity. Right. Is it because? Is we're it Never alone. Yeah. Maybe you open a, a portal for some positive spirits to come in. Is there anybody here with us? Anybody who wants to talk? Silence and ghost you. Is there anything able to enter to this circle right here that has never been in this forest before? We invite you. Gentle. Huh. Gentle. Gently invite. Maybe they haven't done like had this before. Are we getting like a weird flow of things now? Mm -hmm. Can you show yourself that you're here by putting your energy into this entire circle? We'll be able to see your presence by the light. Me too again. Oh, oh wow. Orange. That's the list this one off. We spent hours. Don't look back. Don't look back. We spent hours doing this to see if maybe you can give us a sign to strengthen you, to open up your connection to us. Whispering your name. Whispering, Whispering your name. name. You wanna do it? Whisper, Whisper our own name. I think so. I think that's what he's saying. Silent. Completely. K2, REM pod, even the rope is The darkness haunts you. Back it's here. getting more positive. When has this been this positive? The darkness haunts you? I thought said hugs you. It oh, it does say hugs you. Whoa. When has it ever been this positive? Did we just open a portal or, whoa. I saw something going across there. Where? What the heck? What? Something just went from here. Just like Elton said. When has it ever been this positive? Did we just open a portal or, whoa, I saw something going across there. Where? Yeah, I saw it. Earlier, Elton saw an apparition that we thought was good. Is that who's here right now with this us? This is not just a forest. This is not just a, a oh, forest. Is that, is that just a forest? This is not just a forest. What the heck? I swear there's somebody sitting on the box. Whoa. Or they're coming multiple, through. multiple, they're multiple. There's one, two, three, they're coming four. Out. Everywhere. They're coming out of it. They're like crawling through it? Yeah. It seems like they're like yeah. on top of it. getting bigger and bigger. And, and there's bigger. multiple of them. There's, yeah, one, two. Just a thought I realized right now. If we actually ripped open a portal and they can finally break free of wherever they were, why the hell would they stop and talk to us? Right. Okay, they would leave. 
right? Uh, if the we... doors break open on a prison, I don't think you're gonna stop and talk to the guards. Yeah, but it would be like a win. It's like a uh... maybe they don't know where to go. Yeah, like they're just ripping through, and yeah. then just that's what you just saw. You saw someone just come There's... up, and then boom! I look K2 spiking now. What if that's what you actually just saw? We just we captured it. Energy wise, what? 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 Am I <laughs> what am I seeing? Something it, just went over that way again. What does it look like? It, it's to you? this this like. What if that's what you actually just saw? We just we captured it. Energy wise, what? What, what? am I seeing? <laughs> what am I seeing? Something it, just went over that way again. What does it look like? It, to it's you? this this like. I'm not hearing it. I can't I can't put my finger on it, but it's like it's just. A, a, Is it a light? A light. I guess you would call it actually an apparition? But it's so small, so faint. Whisper. Just a whisper. I wonder if like, maybe we'll hear it. You tread on bones. What do you see? You tread on bones. Oh. Capturing evidence of just it coming through behind you. behind you. What happens if you step back, Depends like outside the ropes? Me? Or if we all step outside the ropes, do you still see it? Watch out for the rampart. It's more. I'm watching you. Did we just open up a portal and freed everything that's trapped here? You know? The like all here. the souls that's been like... In the ground. Right, that's all been lost in the ground. Still here. I don't know. I always thought portals open connections, but I believe you could... What if they're not crawling out, they're crawling in? Oh, yeah. What if they're not crawling out, they're crawling in? Yeah, what if this then, is actually like an escape and that's what you're seeing? And then where is it going? Uh, out of here. Yeah, but where to, you think? I don't know, Ooh, but free. if anything is better than here. Right. Because they've been stuck here. Portals aren't one direction. Ha! On the nose. Hey. Maybe that's what it is. And all these things that are sitting on top of the box are getting down to it. That's why they're not saying much, because they're leaving. They're out? Yeah. Everyone's leaving. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, I hate that. Did we just help trap spirits leave? The lady in white. Can you acknowledge if that's what just happened? It's still there. Yep, it's there. Multiple. One, two. Bunch of them on the box. <laughs> oh my god. Now that you say it, it does look like that. It's oh like my that. god. And they're all in the circle. Yeah, it was it's it's where all of it was. Yeah. Let's see what happens if I move this outside of the circle. Because now we're getting positive things. Which again, joy. Gentle. Right. Final warning. Final warning. Warning. I moved, moved it outside it out of the there. circle and I get final warning. You are not safe. Now it's all negative. Huh. In, your In, In your sleep. In your sleep. Oh my god. I will stop. Stop. It will stop when we sleep. You're cassissy. It's going so fast now. What are you saying? You're cassissy. Mm -hmm. What did you say? In your guard. That's not There's English. There's no words. There's no words on it. That's not English. What is happening? I am Akuma. What? Are you not making... I am Akuma, A-K-U-M-A. Is that an actual see name? You soon. And see you soon. Akuma. Akuma? Akuma. That, that sounds Japanese. It Akuma. does sound Japanese. And three three times in a row, it wasn't English, right? But it wasn't no, Japanese no. either. It was gibberish. It was like kuskiski, kuskisi. Yeah, but why would that ever do that, you know? Hasn't done it yet. Why would it speak gibberish? Uh-oh. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, that haven't happened in a while. Remember? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, we were wanting this time. Thermal. That's what we wanted. Thermal's dead? Thermal's dead. Thermal's dead. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. That was going on. There hasn't been anything. Ever since it said he was a kuma, it stopped. It said, this is in this your is sleep, I will stop. I will stop. And then it went blah, 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 blah. I am a Akuma. Akuma. See you soon. Yeah. Yeah, Celeste is dying. Everything's dying. Drained everything, taken all the energy out. It's given us a bunch of stuff. Is it possible it knows it's drained all of our energy? See you soon. See you tomorrow. It's yeah. now done. It says when you sleep. We're getting closer to four. Oh, yeah, when you sleep. Oh, sh**. Uh -huh. that. Uh huh. So you see when you, it's, it even said in, in, in your sleep, I will stop. I will yeah. stop in something, your sleep. Something, something, something. I am Akuma. Akuma, see you soon. Yeah. So it'll stop when we so sleep. So it could be relevant to tonight or I guess to tomorrow. But if it knows we're sleeping here, which it seems to always know everything we're doing. Right. Yeah. Then it'll see us when we sleep. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever it is, you're going to see it again tomorrow. Hello. I think also this is like the long without saying anything. Definitely. Do you want to try one more Panasonic session? Definitely. It's it's it past four. Eight. If it's four oh eight. Huh? Four oh eight. Wow, so we opened, wow. we did the, we got the final story in at like 3.30, 3, yeah. 3.45 in the morning. Which is still like devil's that. hour. Yeah. Yeah. And what we normally notice is around four, things started getting slower. Yeah, and that also means like if there are like spirits that are like trying to make their way here, they only got like 45 minutes because we, we believe that the forest can kind of shut down mm -hmm. the sun when the sun rises. I think it's kind of been proven. I mean, look at that. I, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like that's like nothing. That theory is right with the portal. Yeah. Seeing what what Corbin's seeing over here. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you getting quieter? Yeah. It's getting quieter. I think it's dying. Yeah, and I can't even hear it. What? Do you want to try to turn it off and on? Yeah. Well, I've never, never seen that going. I've never experienced this going going loud to silent. Yeah, well, it must mean that it's dying. Yeah, it's just like power's on, but no, no audio. I'm not even touching the audio knob. Batteries are obviously good. It's another one down. Look at the K2. It, does it look like that light's going down? Yeah, I think the K2 is going to be gone soon, too. I think we're going to lose, like, every single tool by the time we're asleep. It's taking everything out. The only thing left is the rope. I think these two REM pods are still here. Yeah. This one. They're still bright. I'm down to do Panasonic, and then I feel like we can set up yeah. bags. Yeah. I think so, too. If someone can oversee this portal, who oversees this forest. Can you tell us if what we did freed any spirits trapped here? Are there any spirits that are left around us Was the evil spirit that we were talking to named Akua?
If that wasn't your name, or there's another person here talking to us, can you state your name? Can you tell us anything about the campsite you led Jerry and I to? Before we have to leave here and look up the answer, can you tell us what Akuma is? Ending. Someone can oversee this portal, who oversees this forest. Can you tell us if what we did freed any spirits trapped here? Are there any spirits that are left around us? Are there any spirits that are left around us? Are there any evil spirit that we were talking to named Akua? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us another person to talk to us? Can you state your name? Who's devil? Does it say devil? Devil. No fucking way. Is that do it again, do it again. Dude, the devil, the devil, the devil. Oh, Listen to that Are you saying the devil? The, is that what are you? Idiot? It's so. It's very faint. Yeah, it's something that's you can It sounded yeah, the, the devil. The it devil. sounded like the, the devil, devil, which I've heard before. I heard that, I think, in Warren Museum. I heard the devil. Did someone just whistle? No, that was me. That was me. That was me. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, just, right. I'm just, yeah, it was a very, like, stucco pattern. Da, da, or staccato da, da, pattern. Da, 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 it's yeah. very interesting, yeah. though. Especially at the end. Uh, and now it's going red. Oh, it's going yellow. Yeah, it's set of bags, then we'll try something. Once we're in our bags, I want to just let, like, leave this to record while this we're all quiet. This guy's still going. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Jeez. hey, dude, not a time to sneeze. <laughs> that was a good time and place wild. to sneeze. This is neither. This is neither of those things. Sorry. That was a crazy sneeze. Relax. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah, <laughs> control your body. Yeah, it's sunlight pretty soon here. You already see blue sky. Yeah, probably with oh, the next yeah. hour ish. Oh, we're we're just taking all of our ghosts here, still on us. Yo, you took your f shoes off? Can you keep no. them on? Make sure you knock them out yeah, for spiders dude. tomorrow or in the morning. You took your shoes off. Bro, I'm I'm operating as if something's gonna kill us in the middle of the night. I'm gonna have to run. Yeah, you took my knife away, you <laughs> dude, I did it for all of our safety. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What happened? What happened? You scared me so bad. What happened? <laughs>
What just happened? Jerry! Dude, something crawl into my ears. Don't fucking, fucking say that. Don't say a bug. <laughs> Bro, you threw your ghost tool. Your thermal is like out of your bag. Did it really? really? Bro, put yeah. that in your in the zipper pot in the Velcro one right there. Oh my god. Let me zip myself up real quick. Okay. Once you lay down, I'm turning off this camera so it doesn't keep dinging. We're gonna sleep like an hour. You think we're gonna sleep? I'm gonna sleep because you're gonna can stay up and talk. <laughs> you don't want to feel like I mean, You look like a burrito. <laughs> Go ahead, lay down. So like like Shut, test your core strength. Lay down right now. <laughs> <laughs> test your core strength. <laughs> I feel like a uncircumcised penis. <laughs> you're very much so circumcised. <laughs> I can see your head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it has something. Oh. It's too early for this shit. That's what happened while we were sleeping. Oh my god. Wow. I was not expecting that. I miss. Is that another one? Was it lit after that? Yeah, it uh, stopped recording. I don't know why. I looked at it and I saw it wasn't, so I recorded a new one. Yeah. This is the unfortunate part, but... Oh, we got to. Yeah, if we know where this person is, which seems like we might. We gotta do what we gotta do. I think you get the lead. I mean, you, and Evan, you, got, you and Evan will stay behind again. We also could still very well get lost, because it's a whole different thing. So. I mean, I can almost see all over the road now, too. This is my first time actually seeing it yesterday in the light. I've never seen it like this before in person. It's actually insane to see how intricate it is. Damn, I really went crazy on the tape, didn't I? No, but that was so good. It helped I'm a so lot. I'm so glad you did. Dude, I'm so glad you did. Last night, these two pieces of tape felt like a thousand feet apart from each other. We went, oh, it was right there. Right. Oh, I see, ah, good, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Dude, at night, this feels like it's a mile away. It does. Oh, red tape is yours. Oh, yeah. this is where you guys went off to. Yeah. Okay, so we're getting that shoe patch right here. We're getting very, okay. Careful, so now from here on out, there's gonna be a lot of like dips like these. Okay. They go pretty deep. Oh yeah, that's like a brief a drop. Like into the cave system we thought. Yeah. Yeah, watch out for all these holes. You guys went this far in this way? Yeah. More. More. 
way more. Oh wow, yeah, I can see your tape. Yep. Okay, now, now this makes it all a little bit more like real, like you guys found, you know what I mean? Holy this would God. make sense that no one would find this. Like I would never even try and walk this. No. Yeah, so over there, everything over there, you know, we'll start to see it. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. wow. Okay, here we go. Oh, holy sh**. You found an entire camp. What was the, reflect what was the uh, ribbon that we found? Evan? Uh, it was slightly further back. The red, uh... Oh, the, the one in the middle of the camp. Um, in the middle? No, remember it was on a red... Uh... It was, yeah, it was, that one was further back. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll check that one out later. Okay, here we are. Everything from here. Just... Gloves, trash. Wow. Plastic bags. Yeah, this is definitely like... This has been here for a while and animals have found it. And have come through. Bunch of lighters here. A bunch of rope right there. That's a lot of rope. A lot though. Um. Okay. Maybe we just mark some more red tape back to yours. And that way, it's easy to let them know. I don't have red on me right now. I do. Okay. Okay. That way, we can at least call and uh, let them just follow the white tape to the red tape. And then that way they can come here and let them figure it out. Search, but yeah, I don't I don't see any point in us being the ones to search. I feel like that's not our role here. I think they can probably assess this and yeah, this is a pretty vast amount. Kind of really hope this is just like another group of friends like us that wanted to, you know, and they just left it trashed, but... Okay. But it seems so big and, like, spread out. Yeah, I mean, they made a fire. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it was one person, right? No. No, it was big and... Oh, like, I don't know. I feel like this is where we should stop. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll mark. I'll start marking trees backwards. From here out. All that led us here was the Dowsing Rods. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Wait. What happened? The Dowsing Rods are how you got here? Like hunt, yep. like just, I mean, yeah, why else would you randomly walk this way? Both twice. It was this and this. And it was always the opposite. And we keep, uh, yeah, we just chose to keep going, right? We, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 
Yeah, when you like look at it in the day, you kind of like start to see like how ingrained the trees are Truly. with like the earth, you know, like you actually can see well beyond the roots. That's incredible. Yeah, we know there's a cave system and below the cave system is the lava magma channels. So like these trees are like directly connected to like the earth's core more so than any other type of tree I would imagine. You can clearly see it too, just these holes in between all these different places. Yeah, I mean look at that cabin like right wow. there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's like almost like these trees are like connected to the depths of hell. You know, you'll think of the core of earth, like yeah. what? That's what he said. Oh uh, really? Yeah, I mean, more, I, I can't think of any other trees that you could ever see like this. That like, I've seen trees with roots above sand, above dirt, but nothing like this. This is absurd. So yeah, Jerry and I were, would be on the trail and we'd point forward and one would go forward, one would go backward. And eventually we got to this mark here and decided let's just point it this random direction. And the dowsing rod just twitched. Huh. And we're like, well, it's moving a little bit. We might as well just go that way. And that's how we just went in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Jeez, that's crazy. And then every half way, we're just like, should we keep going? And then it goes. I can't believe you guys found a camp this deep. Yeah. Wow. We did it. Yeah, I'll probably say, I'll say thanks when we get out. Got my knife back. Nice. <laughs> it would be a really cool thought to know if like, that portal ritual actually allowed them to escape. The fact that you saw like two and she's run through we, on the SLS, you see everything on the ground, specifically in that area. Yeah, and only in that area too. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a really crazy thought. It's incredible if it's if that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. yeah, I mean, we have all the tools to, they're coming either out or in. So, yeah. I don't know. All right. Should we speed walk it out? Yes. Okay. We will say goodbye and thank you. That's good. Are right, you going to start to see the glow of the sun in here? Yeah. Any other paranormal channel, the TV show channel. You actually go like 10 hours straight and basically not sleep. And sleeping? Yeah, I mean, I said not sleep. <laughs> yeah, but actually, like, yeah, sleeping bags on the ground and carry all this shit then. And there's no like production, you know what I mean? There's no like PAs or production people, it's just us. Bye, Forrest. Thank you, Forrest. Bye. I got the examples. Thank you. Bye. See you tonight. Oh yeah, you're you're coming back. Holy guacamole! Hey, nobody's here. Wow. No, no one's here except for the beautiful sun and the snow. The snow's still here. You say bye, Evan. Goodbye, Forrest. You were beautiful. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are, of course, at Akigahara Forest. I'm completely by myself right now. And I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not excited to do this at all. I don't really want to, but I feel like this is something that I need to, not only personally, but additionally for the channel. As a paranormal investigator, and just the way things have gone the last few nights. And of course, if you have seen the last two nights, you know what I've already dealt with. Night one was just hor horrible, horrible pain. Getting confirmation that it was this forest, these entities doing it to me. Last night, the threats and my challenging of the demonic entity that is this forest that 
brought me to tears last night and I tried to kind of recoil that emotion and just go through the rest of the night without really showing it, but without any doubt it, it affected me because I want to see if I can actually get some kind of an answer or better understanding or evidence as to how what has happened these last two nights was ever possible. Knowing that it's just me here and no one else means that anything that happens is directed at me. Apologies in advance if anything I say or do comes off as jokey. I am uh, by no means trying to be disrespectful. I'm just scared. We've made a few videos in the past where we said if we had 150,000 likes on it, I would come back to Side Forest alone. We never got close to that. I'm doing this, I'm here tonight by myself because I want to prove to all of you that I care sincerely about this channel. Yes, I go on record as saying I choose to be a skeptic even though I've had all of these monumental things happen to me. I'm not naive to that but that is part of how I do this. That's how my brain works, so that way I can try and figure out things. It, that's just how I am. I enjoy doing this. I love making these videos and going to these places and learning about them and doing so with my friends and seeking out answers and sharing these experiences with you. So tonight is not only about me seeking out more answers for what's happened to me here in the last 48 hours, but it's about showing all of you how much I care about this channel and that I will always give you 110% of every single thing that I have to make sure that we are doing the best videos we possibly can. And that's emotion activated light. So I'm gonna pop this on and we're gonna get going. a heart rate monitor tonight. It's a chest monitor. It is a not Bluetooth wireless, just a little small one with a chest mount on it. And uh, we have that as well. This is very hard to see. So again, audio gun. Here's everything in rain. You can turn it up. shade for a little bit here. Okay. Back in the forest. So the objective for me tonight is to get further in to basically where we were leaving off last night. The one thing we've learned over the last Two nights here is that as you go further in, the energy, the power, the spirits, whatever it is that it could be or can be or all of the above only grows stronger as we get further towards the cave system area, the area where everything is roped off and where uh, people are typically found. So I really just want to focus all of my energy there. Let's just listen in for a second here.
so insane. Now I hear normally, now it's supercharged. Hello again. I promised you I would be back tonight by myself. As you can see, I've kept my word. I've honored my promise. I know you can hear me no matter where I am in this forest. I even think you know everything I'll do tonight. He predicted everything to a T. Almost as if you wrote our fate. So whatever it is that you have in store for me tonight, I do hope you're willing to give me some form of more concrete or clear answers as to how you exist, what you feed upon, what your purpose is. Any of those answers would be incredibly appreciated. I know I challenged you last night. Part of me would like to think I regret it, but I'm not. Because you showed me something that I never thought possible. You were able to put an image of reality into my eyes that did not exist. It was so real, I started crying. And that is not something I do often. So I will not challenge you tonight. I don't need to do that anymore. I kindly ask that we can have a conversation. I was told by someone that I apparently have a little bit of a bond with the dark side, with the demonic. I have a little friend over my shoulder. And that's why I feel so comfortable in these types of places. So maybe we can use that bond and that connection to communicate tonight. Although I think everything I just said, you already knew I was going to say. Okay, the audio gun has had nothing so far. In night one, it was immense amount of feedback. The thing is, we all think all the power comes from the earth and the ground and it's just soaking up water. Water is life, life is energy. So the longer I'm in here and the more it rains, the more powerful it's going to be. Ah, ankle. Almost rolled an ankle. That would absolutely be terrible if I rolled an ankle here tonight. And I have to limp out of this, oh boy. Please don't let that happen. That would be awful. That's my own footsteps. That was my own footsteps in the mud. That scared the sh Okay. I feel like the mic is null and void here. Nothing on it. Worth trying though. I'm just gonna put this right here. Mark the tree it's at. I guess who, who here is really gonna show up? Okay, now I know that's there. Okay. K2 on. Okay. Spirit Talker's now back on. K2 is already spiking immediately. I turned back on your favorite device. I can see that you're here. I can already sense your energy right here. OK. 
Can I ask one favor tonight? Can you try not to hurt me? I had a good life. You had a good life. Why are you saying that in the past tense? What did you do in your life, in your existence, that made it good? Or is a good life to you mean bringing harm to others? Let me rest. Let you rest. I'm more than happy to. I promise you, I will leave you alone. Stop asking questions and opening up these lines of communication with you. If you can just provide a few answers. Can we make that work? Hazel. That's my eye color, hazel. Are you referring to my eyes? And the way you were able to communicate with me last night? Man, I, I, I don't know how to explain this, but I never get back pain in real life, like regular, everyday, normal life. You can watch hundreds of TFIL videos and you'll never see Hell. I have back pain every time I do these types of places, the heavier ones. It hurts like hell. What are you implying about hell? Are you directly connected to it? That's what we've been asking. Is this forest truly rooted deep into hell? We can see that the trees are rooted into volcanic rock, just stem to the caves, stem to the magma. House. House. Hell. House. Hell house? Hell house. This is a hell house. Is this a home for the demonic? Is this where demons come to live? Above the surface of Earth? Can you move location? Yes. I'm glowing closer to the caves. I'm going closer to the portal that we opened last night as well. We left it open for a reason, by the way. Because we believe it was allowing spirits to escape from here. The positive ones. The ones that should have never been drawn here in the first place. That would make so much sense if this forest is a literal hell house. A home on the, on, on the surface of Earth that has a direct connection. If you think literally to the demonic, to the below. And this is where they can come to pull in souls. This forest has like so much history, mythology and legend, folklore, factual basis, whatever you want to refer to it as, for drawing people in here, luring them Hi in. Not everyone. Not everyone. Me too. 
And that would also make sense why everywhere we were looking on night one, the SLS was constantly popping up figures. They were just all throughout. And we were originally thinking it was, you know, the resting place of people who had lost their lives here. But those could have just been actual demonic entities as every step went on. And this right here, I think right about here, is where I saw like, what I'm referring to as the lady in white. Basically stood directly in front of us to stop us from going any further. Do any of the demonic entities here want to share what you did, what created you? How did you become an evil entity? Were you once a human? Were you once an angel? Elric. Derelict? Doesn't, doesn't derelict mean like broken down? Encrypted? Back to where we left last night. Immediately going to red. Immediately going to red as we walk in, and rain's now picking up. Come on, breathe, dude. The reason why this area is kind of has that warning sign is now the cave system starts kind of popping up a bit more. Here. What's your name? My name is Elton. You must have not been here these last two nights. So, it's nice to meet you. I think. Hopefully it will be nice to meet you. What's your name? This is where we did the ritual. Right here. This is the portal that we opened up. That took six and a half hours to do, I think. Still going on. Do you know what this is right here? Is this a portal? I threw something. You threw something the first night? Was it I remember the first night. That's how we knew that you could understand us. That it didn't matter what language we spoke. We threw our camera. That still doesn't mean I know your name. Was anyone able to come in or out through this area? Get away from here. Am I blocking anyone from leaving? Can you tell me? Are you trying to protect me? Telling me to get away from here that way? Are you telling me to get away from here? Because I'm blocking your path. I'm sorry. For what? Everything I've learned about this forest is that it already knows what's gonna happen to me. I'm sorry makes me think that something not great is going to happen to me tonight. It's apologizing in advance. Falling on markers again. Would you mind just telling me now what's going to happen later? 
are we keeping it a surprise? Saying. Literally this morning, we left here having marked red tape everywhere, which is what this is, because Evan and Jerry found a campsite, a pretty elaborate campsite. It looked like it had been there for a few months. Yes, I did. The eggs were expired in January, early January, which makes us think that in December is when it was from, holiday season. And we did call it in. We told them everything we can. Um, they said thank you. And uh, that's kind of where we left it. So I'm not going back to that area. We obviously do not want to find anyone. That is not the goal of being in here whatsoever, to disrespect anyone's. Yes, I did. But again. We're talking about this mess twice. Yes, I did. So, we're gonna obviously leave that for the people that are responsible for clearing this area and checking it. But again, as a reminder to everyone here, I'm just here seeking answers in regards to the spirit realm. I'm only here as a paranormal investigator. Something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, something is wrong. Thank you. This is where I started getting sick last night. It's happening again. Uh, okay. Died very recently. Died very recently. Yes, I did. As we were talking. As we, as I was talking about campsite. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. I can't ignore that. Okay. I'm not going to go to the campsite. But I will go closest to the area. Martha. Martha. Hello, Martha. I'm so sorry. For Attached. Attached. Martha, I am truly so sorry that you, you endured the sadness that you did that brought you here. But please, I'm asking you, do not attach yourself to me. Go further. Martha, please, don't. Doing so will not help you, will not help me. I can understand. I can understand being alone and lonely and wanting to cling to someone. Is there some other way I can help you? Could you tell me how to help in a different way? Can we, can we compromise? Just crawl. Just crawl? Go further, just crawl. Can we make a compromise? 
You can stay with me tonight. Use my energy. Whatever it is that you need to talk, to communicate. And during this night, you can attach to me. But before I leave, you have to tell me how to help you. Floating. Okay. You have to tell me how to help you so we can set you free. I actually have purifying spray on me. It's from all of the holy waters, all the sacred waters throughout Japan. It was given to me by someone who's a healer, a positive energy worker. If at the end of the night, maybe we can join hands together and I can spray the purification at the exit, right at the border, not here, because doing it here I don't think would work. And that can set you free. Let's do that, okay, Martha? Yep. Join me as much as you'd like tonight, Martha. But I do need to let you know. I am trying to speak to something dark here. And I don't want anything to happen to you, anything worse. See. See. Okay, you see what I'm trying to do? It stopped. It literally stopped. As I warned her. I'll come back, Martha. And we'll walk out of here together, okay? plan tonight was to light these candles again, but I don't know how that's going to be possible. Is this where it happened to me? Yeah. This is it right here. This is as far as I made it last night. This is exactly where... Coffin torture. Coffin torture. Oh, great. Oh, great. This is exactly where I saw something and then I started getting nauseous. And I started feeling terrible and I could barely walk out. Great. I'm not here to challenge you tonight. Wrong area. Wrong area. Should I go further? I haven't been any further into the forest than this. I'm on a clear path. Oh, man. man. My biggest fear really is just coming across someone. I might need to edge. Edge. This does nothing in this forest. This little light does absolutely nothing in here. I'm gonna have to watch the battery on this because I actually did not bring a second one of these lights and that is probably one of the dumbest things I could have done. Go to the edge of the forest. <coughs> I worked here. You worked here? Oh.
they worked here means they were in here often. And I'm sure over time, the forest can start to get in your head. What was your job here? String. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> it's so hard to concentrate on the investigation when I'm also trying to concentrate on my surroundings. Why does it feel like ever since I pieced together the Hell House questions? All of that stopped. It really is so hard. Music. Music, okay. Um, I don't know what song this is saying right now. That would not feel incredibly disrespectful. So can I just hum? I'm assuming, Martha, that's you asking for some music. give you power I haven't marked anything in a while oh, it seems clear for now oh Jesus my singing is absolutely atrocious I feel like I'm probably one of those like American Idol contestants that thinks they sound somewhat okay and then you realize you are terrible Do you need more power? More singing? Prayer? You heard me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sing. More power. You heard me. Okay. Da 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 more ribbon right there I am getting so scared I don't like what I'm doing tonight but I have to do it because I care and I will sing to the demons so they may scream so they may come and torment my dreams dreams I found more ribbon here it's bringing more and more fear and I hope that this end is not near I don't know what to do but I hope it's with all of you Because if I don't upload this video, it means I died This is the edge Is 
This is the edge, right? Or do I have to go further? Fortune. I think this might be a good place to post up because we're now officially. Oh, it does keep going. Whispers beckon. Whispers beckon again. I've heard that like four times across four different devices. up here. I think for even the sake of my head and this helmet. Where do I have enough shade? Uh, from the Emma. Emma. Why Emma? Okay. I guess it's a 360 camera. So it won't Doesn't need to be perfect. It's not me. It's an interesting thing to say. Uh, almost what you're about. If you're warning me that what's about to happen isn't you, Martha. Okay. I'm ready for it. This is what I said I was coming here to do. Another body camera go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I lost a body camera. Wait. Wait. Wait, what the f they cl I How the f did I lose a body camera? How the f how the f did I lose a body camera? Oh no! The only thing I can think struggling. of struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling to find the camera that disappeared. I would have heard it drop. The only thing I can think of is it said I'll throw something. And the very first night, I had a body camera thrown, and I was asking who it was. And then my body camera- Eyes. Eyes. You're taking away my eyes? My evidence? Or are you saying you're gonna show something to me in my eyes again? Well, I am absolutely bewildered. How the actual hell tattoos? Oh shit! Yes, I have tattoos, and I know that's a a sign here. Typically, you're not supposed to have tattoos unless you are in a gang. I am not in one. All of my tattoos have positive meaning. One for my dog. When I hit a milestone on a YouTube channel, it was a very cool moment for me. Another one for fun, a great enthusiastic memory. All others are from Margaret. Trips. C. C again. What does this mean, C? What does that mean? That's the third time. You want me to close my eyes? And like, see? Do you want me to channel you? Like, I don't... Last night you could put an image into my head at will. Should I try and do this intentionally? Can you put energy into this box? You are able to do it last night. You just tap it, put enough energy into it to give me confirmation that's what you want me to do. 
gonna try something I have never tried before. I was sick. I have honestly, as far back as I can remember, do not believe I have ever tried using gousing rods. And I think that would be a better way to start than just closing my eyes and seeing what I see. I was religious. I'm gonna close my eyes. Whatever images you wanna put into my head, I will do my best to see them. Suicide. I won't let you put that image into my head. No. I know that's what you want. I know that's what you do. That thought is not allowed in my head. He pushed. Yeah. One of your demon roommates are here in this hell house pushed a little too hard. I'm here to talk, I'm here to listen, I'm here to communicate and let you channel through me, but that is not one of the thoughts you'll be putting into my head. Understood. I'm not challenging you. This is an agreement that we made together. I came from a dark place. Yeah. I came from a dark place. Is that how you were created? These rods, if you can point them in, that's a yes. Outward is a no. Were you created Immediately went to no. The spider was attached to me. Four. Were you a human? No. I've never done these before. And this is actually bizarre. Were you a demon? Or are you a demon? Are you just demonic? What would be below a demon? Are you a negative entity? Okay. Not choose. A, not a demon. You're a negative entity. And you choose. You chose to be a negative entity. Did you do that so you could live on and be immortal? choose to be a demonic entity, a negative entity, so that you could bring harm to others. Did you bring harm to others in life? You weren't human. chose to be a negative entity so you could bring harm to others. But you are not a demon. Do you have a physical form? Josephine. Can you be seen? Is there a shape to describe you? Are you behind me? Can you point in the direction where you are existing? Can 
Can you point to me and tell me where you are? You're in one direction, go that way. Or if you are everywhere, spin the rods around. Can you spin the rods around fully? I'm not sure if you're behind me, in front of me. Can you clarify, please? Damage. That was around. I literally did that to dig my- I like it here. I did that to dig my feet deeper and connect deeper into the ground. That didn't happen for me stomping. You are a negative entity. You are all around. You are the forest. That has been our thought for the last few days. Do you know where your energy stems from? Does it come from Earth? Is the core of earth, the heat, the movement of the plates, the elements beneath us, does that create your energy? Help me. Don't know how if I don't know what you are. Cross for yes. Your energy is coming from the earth itself. Be negative. Your energy comes from Earth itself. The top. Good job. Straight. Do you feel as though you have purpose? Do you have intent? Do you do things like by by choice? Okay. You do things by choice. You're self-aware. You know your negative entity. You do things by choice. You are not demonic. You're not demonic. You're not heaven. You're not hell. Demons are a construct of, of religion. You are older than religion. That would make sense. You are older than religion. Religion is a human construct. The earth came way before. Okay. So you are well beyond. That's why you're not demonic. Is that correct? Have you existed long before religion and before humans? Here. Here. That thought has never crossed my mind. We always believe it's a demon or a negative entity, but we think of it as a, as a spirit, a, a human form, or, or a demon. But this is just... House. And this is a house. This is the house that you have built on Earth as a negative entity. And by entity, it's not... I think of an entity as a single single unit, a single person, but this is an, an entity. This is something so much bigger. Okay. You are older than humans, older than religion. I snatch the soul. Snatch the soul. You know what a soul is, and again, a soul is something well before us. Is the devil real? Is there such a thing as 
the demonic. That's a stronger yes than this. So the devil is real. If you made a bond with the devil, with the underworld, to allow this to be a place for those demonic beings to live on earth. Are you the devil's landlord? Have you given these demons permission to exist on earth here? Children around you. Oh, shit. You consider demons to be your children. devil himself one of your children facts facts you are the father you consider them your children I have no basis of knowledge right now for what this could even be. I've never allowed myself or gone down any trails of thought or research about the demonic beyond hell, beyond the devil, beyond Satan. I've never considered it. Like, yes, elementals, but I've always considered even them. This would be an elemental? Do you know what an elemental is? I know it as a force rooted in earth, a power created by earth. That's, that's what I know it as. Is that what you see an elemental as? Yes, okay. You know what an elemental is, which means now you would know if you are one. Heal. Heal. Do you consider elementals to be your children? Are you an elemental? All of it makes sense. We came in with the theory. Don't antagonize. I'm not antagonizing. I did that last night, I won't do it again. Ah. 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 There better be a bug bite on my neck when I check. That better have been a fucking bug. I'm not going to antagonize. I'm learning, I'm trying to understand. No fucking way. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. They're all gonna die. Oh no. Uh. No. I'm gonna run out of cameras. No, 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 this is not what's gonna happen right now. No, you're not gonna kill all my cameras and then kill me. No, no, holy, I know these last eight hours, they made it all the way through. 
No, I'm not gonna trip. Okay. My favorite place. Yeah, I know, I know. How, how, how are you dying? How are you dying? How? You... I'm turning it off to save the cliffs. I'm now out of body cameras. And you're going in my back pocket. That light's gonna die too. Oh. Oh no. Why do I feel like I'm about to lose all of my lights while I'm in here? I'm sorry, but I'm gonna get lost in here. And I, if I recall, I literally said as soon as I get answers, I would leave. I got my answers. They said don't antagonize. And I know firsthand we ran six body cameras last night. They last eight hours, no problem. Rain doesn't matter, they're waterproof. I'm not trying to be a b right now, guys. I promise you that, that is not what's happening. I just don't actually wanna be lost in this forest. And I made a deal, said when I got answers. That would be it. I have a weird feeling that is about to die too. Love that, one battery. Throw. Throw, not throwing up. Nope, 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 nope. Kick. Throw and kick, no. It's all dying. It just dropped down to one bar. Thank you for the answers. I understand what's happening, I got it. I'm leaving as we agreed. Martha. You still here? Martha, you can join me, okay? Oh, f body camera. I, 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 it's gone. I see it, I see it, oh well. I just don't wanna be, I, I, I have no tape. I have nothing back here. I'm sorry everyone, I am not trying to uh, get out of this but I feel as though I honored, they honored their word. I need to honor mine. And that's how this should be. So don't antagonize after giving me all of the answers I could ever want. Shot. Throw, kick, shot. The rain is picking up. Please no more threats. I understand, I'm leaving. Martha, follow me, okay? There's the white one, okay. Heart rate through the roof. I move things. Yes. Still let one of those things be me. Oh wait. No. There's the red tape, okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. Oh, thank you, sick. Uh, uh, red tape, okay. Red tape, red tape. Uh, what are the lights? Uh, uh, the lights are how I see, how I get out of here. If you can see them, it means you can see me, right, Martha? Uh, this way, okay. Follow the lights, follow me. Killing. Killing. No. What are the lights? Oh, you're killing. Yeah, yeah, one bar. Precisely on time. Please don't kill the lights. Please don't do that. This is not expected. Look, I come prepared with batteries. I come prepared with lights. Yeah, I only brought one flashlight. That was dumb. But all the other lights are getting cooked. Okay, we're at the rope. Oh, back's hurting now. My favorite place. Yes, I know. I know it's your favorite place. And I know you want me to see. And I know you're an elemental. I get it. Oh, my mouth is going so dry. Right now. Okay. Oh, yeah, I had water in 
resemble. This sucks right now. Elton, you idiot. Elton, you absolute... Tape. Tape? Tape. Oh. Okay. I found it. Oh, body camera. Oh. Oh. I found it. I found it. We are delighted you're here. Thanks. My main fear about going alone was I've gotten sick before. Three investigations, really bad. The one, the worst one was pressing castles. And I got so sick, I slept for 20 hours straight after. We missed the investigation we were supposed to do the next night because I couldn't wake up. I just remember falling asleep in the grass and then eventually crawling to the motorhome. And I guess the guys tried to wake me. And I just, I didn't remember any of it. I just remember waking up in the motorhome and no one was there. And it was night and it was the next night. You came back. I did come back. That's my biggest fear is if that happens again and I just pass out here. I don't know. Maybe smaller locations. Ones where people know where I am the next morning, but no one knows where I am in here right now. They know I'm here in the forest. They have absolutely no idea. Me. The attic. The attic. Martha, I'm just gonna set some things down, okay? I'm not leaving. Coming right back. All is well. Okay. Thank you. I'm not breaking my promise. Where the f is the spray? Oh, it's in here. It's in here. It wasn't there. Oh no. Oh no. I put it in here. Oh no. I know I put it in here. What the fuck? It fell out? Oh no. It fell out. I don't want to go back in. I think it fell all the way out when I was packing the kid up. I have to go all the way back in. Oh man, I have to go all the way back. I have to do it. I have to go all the way back in now. This sucks. I have to go find it. I, it had to have fallen out. It was in the box. So it had to have fallen out when I was packing up the box. Jeez, dude, I gotta go back like two miles in right now. And I can't lose that spray either. That was a gift. And it was meant for all of us to use at the end of the trip. After our final investigation in Japan, we're supposed to purify ourselves with it. So it's not just for me or Martha, it's for everyone else. Jerry, Evan, Ginger, Corbin, we all need it. Whatever is here is not gonna be happy about this. Elemental, I don't know what else to call you. So by saying that, I'm not being disrespectful. I know you told me to leave, not to antagonize. It's not my intention here. Although I am sure you're not gonna be very happy about me trying to 
help free a spirit from here. And you said you take souls. But I have to do this. It is crazy how far back I have to go. I took the vest off because how much I was sweating. And yeah, it's 40 degrees and raining. I should be freezing cold. Here's the worst part. Because they don't have the vest. I have none of the devices to know what it's trying to communicate. Which I guess, if I can't hear its threats, not scary. All the last things it said were throw, kick, shot. You know, all things you want to hear from an elemental negative entity that refers to Satan as its children. Man, if I go all the way back there and it's not there. Oh boy. I know where it is because it's the second clear cling wrap ribbon. Whew. Distracting myself from feeling terrible. Now I want to sing again. I don't know why. I feel like the, when I started singing that time, it kind of like dulled away all the negative. Hey, little Sadie, if you are here, bud, can you negotiate right now? That'd be really cool. If you can negotiate ceasefire, oh, almost tripped again. If you can negotiate some kind of a, of a stall here, a bit of a truce for the next half hour so I can get in there, grab and get out, okay, bud? I'm gonna keep singing. And you negotiate, okay? Let me know what the terms are. But as far as I know, I'm going in to grab this and I'm leaving immediately. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that was the first song that just popped in my head right now. We're not gonna make it. But in my head it was, we're not gonna make it. That was the first thing that actually just popped in my head that was a real song. It was, we're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it anymore. That's not good. Why is it in my head? Come on, Sadie. Negotiate for me. Oh, it's getting heavier right now. Let's go. Uh, uh, here. Yeah. Okay. Wait, right there. Right. Right. Right there. Right. 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 I don't remember. It was a white, a clear, clear rope somewhere. Further? I don't remember going this far. I don't remember going this far. <gasps> Found it. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh my God. I fucking found it. Thank you, Sadie. Keep stalling, bud. Keep stalling. Oh, I feel like I'm getting a fever. Woo. I feel like when you know you're gonna get sick, and you just feel like your body get really hot and cold, and like cold sweats. That's happening right now. Oh, I feel so horrible. Keep thinking, keep thinking. Hey Sadie. How long have you been with me, huh? Kinda feels like my whole life you've been with me, you know? Kinda always. 
felt like I had a little devil on my shoulder as long as I can remember. If any of you have been watching this channel, well, not even this channel, TFIL. If you've been watching TFIL long enough, you probably saw the uh, first like abandoned video we did, the, uh, the abandoned mall. <laughs> and if you remember that video, you remember that my dumb left like the GoPro and then and then an SD card fell out of my pocket. Like I left the GoPro on my back and then when I got that I dropped like an SD oh my ankle. SD card. Yeah, it feels like almost exactly what just happened here. I couldn't remember where the where I lost the GoPro. Oh yeah. And then instead of the footage, it was the spray, the promise. Life feels weird right now. Oh. Oh I feel so good right now. Oh, I feel so good right now. It feels like the complete opposite of back pain just happened. Like just a full release just happened on my back right now. Holy shit, that feels incredible. Oh my God. Feels like this soothing, like just cold breeze is just on my neck, my back, and like my arms. I don't know what that was, but that was great. Feels like someone pulled like all of the stress that I've ever had in my entire life out of my body and just. I just want to like want to walk like this right now. Martha, was that you? I wonder if Martha was the lady in white. That one seems not connected. Feels like the lady in the white is like a projector here. Martha, you here? Yeah? Okay. Just making sure. We're almost to the edge, okay? Almost to the edge. Okay. Spread into the air. And all of this is supposed to be able to purify you and let you leave. I hope it works.
hearing bangs on the passenger door. So I kind of leave the area. I don't know what that was, but I heard two. Another one later. I'm just gonna drive slow because I really just want to sleep right now. I just want to get home right now. soaking wet. I did not realize that at all. So right now. Oh, my lips are so dry. It's skin. It's peeling off. Right now. Yeah. Gotta be honest. Oh. Okay. We're back. We did it. We made it. Whoa, big deer! Oh my god. Massive deer. Holy shit. Holy shit. Last turn. Huge deer, huge antlers. Wow. Right in the corner of the road. Any more? Oh my god. I just got so close hating that deer Seriously. Your road I gotta drive up like the road looking house I'm the only one in this house because everyone already left Okay. 
Okay. We did it. I really felt like if I was going to stay in that parking lot any longer, those knocks were Martha. But the promise was go to the exit and help her break free, and that was it. All right. Take a breather.